Walt Disney Home Video and Buena Vista Home Video presents a Thames Video Collection and Polygram Video and Glade Pictures Animation Studios film Finding Lumpia, Walt Disney World in Florida based on Funny Nemo. Do Sounds it. interesting. Yeah, it's a introducing the characters. Yeah. Starring Mr. Conductor, Lumpy, Stacy Jones, Adele, Harold the Helicopter, Scar, Rawr! and Eakins. Meow. Meow. And Eakins. Tiger. Rawr! Mouse. Squeak, squeak. Bear. Rawr! Puppies. <coughs> Bouncing clouds. Boing, boing, boing. Finding Heat Nemo hotel game from the characters of Disney Dinosaur. Aladar. Ema. Baleen. Earl. Nera. Bruton. <coughs> Crone. Carnotaurus. Jitney. Pachyronosaurus, Paralosaurus, Baby Paralosaurus, Baby Aladar, Velociraptor and Raptors, Petrodon and Petrodactyl, Herd of Dinosaurs. Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Cleo, Yar and Suri. Cleo. Cleo. I thought it was Cleo. Zini, Zini, Young Zinni, Darren Day, and Saskia. And Sweeper and Spider Man. Monkeys, Falcon, and Dragons. Tigger, Roo, Seagulls, Fairies. Lord Fardquar and Dag on the bobsleigh ride, Matterhorn from California, based on Diesel 10, from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. I got that on video and DVD as well. Yeah. Coella Deville and Coella's car. That's Lord Farquad. Yeah. Finding Nemo, the musical with the cast of people. Goofy and Mumphy. Mr Peabody, Sherman, Jim Cole. Harold's Pilot, Dogs. And the first school kids. Yeah. So here we go to the story. Once upon a time in Walt Disney World. Wow, said Mr. Conductor. Wow, mmm, said Stacy Jones. Wow, said Mr. Conductor again. Wow, they both said again. Mr. C. You know, I see. It's beautiful, she said. So Stacy, well, so Stacy, well, you said you wanted a Walt Disney World view, but you didn't think you'd get the whole Florida, did you? Huh? He added. Mr. Conductor was at Old Key West with Stacy and took a deep breath. Oh, oh yeah. How a human can breathe out here, said Mr. Conductor proudly. Did your man deliver? Or did your man deliver, added Stacy Jones. It wasn't so easy, said Mr. Conductor modestly. Because there are a lot of other humans have their eyes on this place, said Stacy Jones, I bet. You better believe it. Every single one of them, he said happily. Mmm, you did good. Stacy Jones was happily, and the neighbourhood is awesome, she said. Stacy Jones says happily. Says happily. Stacy Jones says happily. There in Old Key West, there were some kids playing on the slide in the Old Key West pool. They laughed happily at each other. <laughs> <laughs> And the dolphin fountains looked wonderful, and they saw Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad in the car driving to Old Key West. Mr. Conductor and Stacey Jones were both cheerful. 
so do you like it, don't you? He asked cheerfully. No, 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 I do, I do really like it, continued Stacy. But Mr C, what? He asked innocently. I know that a drop-off is desirable. Oh, do you really need so much space? She asked Modern C. Great school, do you really need so much space? But Stacy, honey, these are our kids we're talking about. Think they deserve the best, continued Mr Conductor. Look, 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 now wake up and poop their little heads out and see a sweeper right here and right there through the bedroom window, he said excitedly. Mr. C, you're going to wake the kids, she whispered. All right, all right, he said softly as they went to the tree and saw the eggs that they're hatching together. We still have to know. Uh, oh, look, they're dreaming, she said softly. We still have to name them. What if we name them um, right now, said Mr. Conductor? Well, um, this half, Mr. Conductor Junior, and then this half, Stacy Junior. Okay, a done, he said. Lumpy, says Stacy Jones. Oh, I like Lumpy, says Stacy Jones. Lumpy, says Mr. Conductor. Well, we'll name one of them Lumpy, but I like most of them to be called Mr. Conductor Junior, he added. Just think in a couple of days, you've got to be <coughs> speaking parents, she said in a squeaky voice to Mr. Conductor. Parents! Yep. What if they don't like me, said Mr. Conductor frowningly. I said in a squeaky voice. Yes. Stacy, you know, Mr. C. Oh, really? There's over 400 eggs. Odds are one of them is bound to like you, added Stacy as they played and teased each other, sharing their dreams of home at Old Key West. What? Asked Stacy Jones. You remember how we met, asked Mr. Conductor. Well, I tried not to, said Stacy Jones. Oh, I remember, continued Mr. Conductor. Excuse what to be. Stacy shoved. Mr. C, can you check her to see if, if your little Stacy, um, Mr. C, well, you got a little closer. It's all the way in, he, he said. You're getting away. She squeaked, and there's a cutie here, cried Mr. Conductor as they ran outside, and there was nothing around the Onky West. <clears throat> Where's everybody go? asked Mr. Conductor, but there was still no one around here, but suddenly they saw a huge tiger from the zoo. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The tiger was breathing heavily on the Old Key West Bridge. Mr. Conductor gasped in surprise. <gasps> The tiger snarled at them, edged towards them. <sighs> Stacy, get inside the house. Please, Stacy, said Mr. Conductor. But she was worried about the eggs and edged towards the tree. But they're already there. But as... No, Mr. Conductor tried to. Mr. Conductor tried to stop her. No, no, Stacy, don't. They'll be fine. Just get inside right now. He shouted, but as Stacy broke for the eggs and hid behind the tree, then the tiger roared loudly. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Conductor. The tiger attacked him, then... Ow! Oh! Ah! Oh, there's a tiger's tail knocked him out cold. Ah! But then he went flying through the air. Whoa! Oh! Oh! 
Oh. Echo in war. But when he came to, there was only silence. But one night, Mr. Conductor was out, was cold outside the old Key West. He then saw Stacy was being attacked by a tiger. Stacy was gone and won't come at there at all. And so he stand up, but then, Stacy! He yelled as he climbed out of the water. But there was an owl hooting and insects playing, buzzing, twinkling with joy. But then he saw the tree was empty. Stacy, Mr. Conductor. Stacy, Mr. Conductor gasped with surprise. Stacy, he sobbed. Stacy, but Stacy wasn't there. She'd vanished. Oh, no. <clears throat> so, where the eggs had been gone, eaten by the tiger. Stacy sobbed, Mr. Conductor, but Stacy was killed and got lost, and everyone took her to the old Key West Hospital. Mr. Conductor was very disappointed, so he doesn't know what to do with Stacy. He was crying. <laughs> but then he noticed he saw the last egg slightly damaged as Mr. Conductor ran into the tree and cuddled the egg in his hand. There, 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 it's okay. Daddy's here, he whispered. Daddy's got you. I promise I will not let anything happen to you, Lumpy, he whispered to the egg as he waited and waited and waited till the sun come up in the morning. Shh, wait, 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 wait. There, 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 it's okay. Daddy's here. Daddy's got you. <laughs> I promise I will never let anything happen to you. Lumpy. Walt Disney Home Video and Buena Vista Home Video presents A Thames Video Collection and Poly A Thames Video Collection and Polygram Video and Ghislaine Picture Story Production Film Finding Lumpy at Walt Disney World in Florida Yay! That's our first movie on the story <laughs> Lumpy's first time ever Because I want to ask us if we find him a doubt in Switzerland Time goes by. As time passed, Lumpy grew into a heffalump. From Pooh's heffalump movie. <coughs> like Mr. Conductor from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. First day of school, said Lumpy excitedly. First day at school. Wake up, wake up. Come on. First day at school, but Mr. Conductor was still asleep. Oh, I don't want to go to school. Five more minutes, you Mr. Conductor. Not you, Dad. Me, says Lumpy. OK, says Mr. Conductor. Get up now. Time for school. 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 Boy, oh boy, oh boy, jeered Lumpy happily. Oh, no, no, no. It's time for school, frown Mr. Conductor. But then, woo, cried Lumpy. And bonk. Lumpy fell into a tree root. Lumpy called Mr. Conductor. First day at school, said Lumpy in an echo voice underneath the root of the tree. Oh, hey Lumpy, move, don't he called. He will never get... We will never get something. Well, well I do. Uh, Mr. Conductor pulled with all his might uh, until... Uh, um, pop! <coughs> Mr. Conductor pulled Lumpy out of the tree with his leg. All right, all right, where's the brake? Where's the brake? asked Mr. Conductor. He still breaks something. Catch up, and it's fall. He's rushing to the area now. Any rushing through it, I don't have to, says Lumpy. You're losing Mr. Conductor, maybe, says Lumpy. How many purples do I have? asked Mr. Conductor. I'm fine, says Lumpy. Answer the purple question, he asked again. Three, says Lumpy again. 
No, shouted Miss Conductor. You see, something's wrong with you. You have one, two, three. That's all I have. Oh, you okay? How's the spiky tail? asked Mr. Conductor. Lucky Lumpy says happily as his spiky tail began to wave and shake. As Mr. Conductor... Lucky! <laughs> ...reached his hand out and high five to Lumpy's feet. Yeah, they said. I'm sure you want to go to school this year. Because there's no problem. You could wait for five, hour, six years, continued Mr. Conductor. Come on, Dad. It's time for school, says Lumpy. Uh, uh, forgot to brush the towel, Lumpy. Sigh of relief. Oh. Do you want, is an em what you want is an emery to sting you, he asked to Lumpy. Yes, says Lumpy, brush. So Mr Conductor, as he blew his whistle with lots and lots of sparkles to Lumpy's towel. Wow, look, that's beautiful, he said. Hey, look at his towel brushing, says Mr Conductor, with wonder, as Lumpy brushed his spiky towel, until it was good as new for the name of the Hundred Acre Wood. OK, I'm done, says Lumpy. Mm, uh, 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 Mr. Mr. A Spot, laughed Miss Conductor. Where are uh, Lumpy? Mr. Spot. There, says Mr. Conductor, the tickled Lumpy spiky tail, both laughing. <laughs> and when they got out of all the trees, it was time to go. All right, we're excited, says Mr. Conductor. First day, school, here we go. And ready to learn. Get some knowledge, that's what's the first thing to remember about. The road at Old Key West, he asked. It's not safe, says Lumpy modestly. That's my heifer boy, finished Mr Conductor. So first we check to see if the coast is clear. We go out and back in, then we go out and back in. And one more time, out and back in. And sometimes if you want to do it four times, says Mr Conductor. Dad, moaned Lumpy. All right, come on heifer boy, said Mr Conductor. And it went to the bus stop. Hey, Dad. Here we go. Hey, Dad, do you have to have a loan or be alone at school? I see a lion, said Bumpy. If I have any doubts that one, said Mr. Conductor, if I meet a lion, I ask Bumpy. No, I don't plan to, said Mr. Conductor. How are the seagulls and fairies, asked Lumpy. Again, seagulls and fairies, I don't know, says Mr. Conductor. Road Sandy Pankton from next door. He says his seagulls and fairies, if, 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 they live in a hundred years old, asked added Lumpy. If you know, if I ever meet a seagull and a fairy, continues the conductor, I'll have around them, talk to the lion, okay? But then they, then they saw some cars wishing across the road towards them. Woo, 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 woo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, a crusty cried. Hold my towel, hold my towel, he said, as he grabbed his towel like a dog. Dad, you know what we're going to do with this petting zoo, you, you know, replied Lumpy. Hey, there's snakes about to change, continued. Mr. Conductor, oh well, do you suppose we must go? He asked. Continue, Mr. Conductor. Huh? Continue, Mr. Conductor. Continue, Mr. Conductor. Oh well, do you suppose we must go? He asked, there were some kids who said, bye bye to mum. Bye mum, said the kids. I'll pick you up after school, says mum, as she went back to Old Key West Villa. Ha ha ha, said the kids as they grabbed the ball to the other kid. Come on, you guys, stop, give it back, he shouted. Another, she gives the ball back to their kids. Come on, we'll try over, said Mr. Conductor, as soon as they reached the bus stop. There was Goofy, Jim Cole and Mr Peabody from Mickey Mouse cartoon and Goofy movie. Thomas and friends and Mr Peabody, Peabody and Sherman, Mr Conductor, walked up beside them. Excuse me, is this one of rename? Uh, this teacher asked Mr Conductor to the others. Well, look who's out of the Emery, said Jim Cole. Yep, Lion, you know, said Mr Conductor. Conductor says, Jim, yep, Mr Conductor, yeah. Goofy, Jem, Peabody, they said to each other, you, you're, you're funny, right? Hey, tell us a joke, says Goofy. Yeah, they laughed. Yeah! <laughs>
Oh, gosh. Give us some funny, sickly things. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, that's a couple of uh, Mr. Services continue, Mr. Conductor. Heffalump, you know, funny. Then the other two. Oh, come on, Conductor, said Goofy. Yeah, do something funny, he says. And the other two. And the other two. Yes, I know. One joke. Ahem, said Mr. Conductor. Mm, there was a bollisk. Uh, <coughs> Uh, there's a mollusk, um, you see, and he walks up to his door, uh, up, up, he walks up to, and he doesn't run up to, uh, there, and he walks up some, actually, the mollusk isn't moving, he's in one place, and the street cucumber, well then, um, oh, I mixed up, uh, there's a mollusk and a street cucumber, nothing could back a walking stick, you know, it's a famous, uh, but, but, but then, Pinocchio, get out! And losing your hands, stop now! shouted Jen Cole. But then out of the trees there was a dog from the pet shop. Oh woof 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 Alright you kids. Oh where? Where do you go where do you go? Where? Where did you go, Bart Dog? As the kids moved away from the dog. Hey Dad! Dad, can I play too? Can I? said Lumpy. I was to bet if you go to play with all the slides and SpongeBob, said Mr. Conductor. SpongeBob SquarePants. As the other kids were sliding down the water slide, they bounced on all the sponge beds. And, and then. Fun! Free! Their mother gasped and the baby was crying. That's worth to play, said Mr. Conductor, as two friends come beside them. It's needed holiday. Oh, I think we can take care of ourselves. That's wrong. He's bad. He looks funny, said Chairman. And then Jem Cole's hand smacked his bum. Ah, oh, cried Pinocchio. Hey, what do I want to do, he said. Be nice. It's the first time for school, snapped Jem Cole. He was born with the, with these kids. We called him his magic spiky tail, added Mr. Conductor. But I think we could take care of ourselves, he said. But suddenly, they heard a strange rolling and thundering noise. Uh-oh. Get out of my way, they yelled as they whisked past the kids. <gasps> Whoa! Gasped Mr. Conductor. <laughs> I have, I have finished, I have unfinished business here, said the evil lord, and I want to finish it fast, yelled the evil coyote. Wow, Lord Farquhar and Dag on the bobsay ride, and they are so scary, they screamed. Mr. Conductor. Oh, oh, Lord Farquhar and Dag on the Pompsay Riders, and they're so scary. Yes, what was that, asked Lumpy. Hmm, maybe that is a problem. It was Lord Farquhar and Dag on the Bobsay Ride from the Matterhorn from Disney in California. I think it's Lord Farquhar from Shrek, added Mr. Conductor. And Dag from Barnyard, said Lumpy. But they're really scary, Lord. They are really scary. Lord and the Coyote, says Mr. Conductor. Lumpy, but Dad! You see this hand is actually small in my, my energy, but you can't really tell, especially trolling like this, said Sherman. I'm H2O. Entirely, said Mumphy. Adieu! I'm half noxious, says Pinocchio. But just there, you heard a familiar buzzing in the sky.
It was Harold the Helicopter from Thomas and Friends. Routine flyby, chaps. Hello, he said. Harold? They cried. Come on, lumpy people. Harold! Wow, wow, you better stay with Miss Said. You better stay with Mr. Conductor. As soon as Harold landed safely on the ground and arrived, just in time. Ha, oh, I wonder where my class has gone, asked Harold. They're under here, they said. They're under here. Oh, there you are. Climb on board, explorers, said the helicopter as they climbed on board to Harold the helicopter. Come aboard, explorers. They saw Harold's pilot had come to join in. Dad, you must go now, said Lumpy as he climbed up on board Harold. Why, hello, who is this? asked Harold. I'm Lumpy, said the Hef Lump. Well, Lumpy. Hold to explorers was the answer to Diesel's question, continued Harry. Lumpy, really? You live in what kind of home? asked the helicopter. In uh, uh, Anna, Emma, uh, Emma, Emma, uh, Emery stuttered Lumpy. Okay, okay, I'll hurt, you'll hurt yourself. Welcome aboard, explorers, called Harold. Welcome aboard, explorers. Just that you may know, he's got a little tail, said Mr. Conductor. I'll find out he hasn't at all running. Dad, it's time. He'll take a break, 10, 15 minutes for you to go now. Oh, we'll take a break for 10 to 15 minutes. Dad, it's time for you to go now, finished Lumpy. Don't worry, we're going to stay together as a group, World Harold. As his pilot climbed on board, Harold, and they took off into the sky. Here we go! Okay, class half one is up to the right. And remember, we can keep yourselves dangling to ourselves, finished Harold. That means Pinocchio. Oh man, says Pinocchio. Oh man. As Harold fly through Walt Disney World in Florida, by Lumpy called Mr. Conductor, by Dad called Lumpy, by Son called Mr. Conductor again. As Harold flew away, be safe, says Mr. Conductor softly. Hey, you're doing pretty well for a first time, I said Goofy. Well, we can't hold on forever, for the forever kids, added Mr. Conductor. Yeah, well, he's just on my own, he's just on, on his own, as well as a drop-off, and a gem coal. Well, he's going to go off to the drop-off. Off? They're going to the drop-off? What? I wouldn't... You wanted to, you're all insane. Well, we just, why don't we just fry him up now and surf him with chips, shouted Mr. Conductor in, a, in surprise. Hey, Conductor, calm down, said Jem Cole. Don't tell me to calm. Be calm, pony boy, yelled Mr. Conductor as he ran away from Old Key West. Pony boy, says Goofy. You know, Pretty human, he really is not funny, so I could be Trevor's driver for finding Adele at Switzerland, said Jen Cole. Yeah. Pity, said Mr Peabody. In Old Key West, a few, few days later, Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad were still in the villa. Luke told him the news. Guess what, Joe? It was that the evil villains called Lord Varquois from Shrek and Dag from Barnyard, said Luke. Oh, yes. So why was it block? Why was it on the bobsleigh ride for Matterhorn? Said Joe. So tell me, what you have heard? Have you heard the news? Oh, so it went on the ride in the ca at California. So I got on the bobsleigh ride and went around the mountain, and saw a monster called a Yeti. Continued Luke. So what's it called, Joe? He asked. The Matterhorn said Joe excitedly. So Lord Farquhar is an evil lord, villain, villain, villain. And Dag is an evil coyote, said Joe to Luke. Yes, says Luke. He's got small circled wheels like Diesel 10 from Thomas and Magic Railroad and calling all engines. Oh, yeah, I see. I remember, I remember I went on like Disneyland in California. Yes, I see, said Joe. So I'd like to watch what that, what, like to watch that on DVD before The Lion King on television before it's great to be an engine. Finished, of course. You'll be promised 
You, you will promise, Joe. Go ahead, Luke, and watch it before The Lion King. But Luke saw lots of lots of DVDs in a pile getting ready to watch Thomas and the Magic Railroad before The Lion King. Finish, Luke. Finish, Luke. Something's missing. Where? Luke. Finished, of course. Oh, I see. I made a blooper. You will be promised, Joe. Go ahead, Luke, and watch it before The Lion King. But Luke saw lots and lots of DVDs in a pile. Getting ready to watch Thomas and the Magic Railroad before The Lion King. So Luke put the it put it all in the DVD machine as they began to watch before The Lion King. Luke and Joe saw Columbia and TriStar DVD logo on the TV. And so it was about to begin to watch Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Let's play a Columbia TriStar DVD. Here goes. Wow. Meanwhile, Harold flew over Walt Disney World and flew over to Magic Kingdom. He loves flying up in the bright blue sky. Over in Magic Kingdom Castle, he looks forward to go over, go on the Peter Pan ride. There were some kids, people and humans in Magic Kingdom, so Harold flew over to Peter Pan's flight. Harold the helicopter loves flying up in the bright blue sky. Over the arm of the sand, or he looks out for anyone in distress. Peter Pan's flight, here we come, called Harold, and over we went through Peter Pan ride. Harold saw a sailing ship inside. Harold knew he would catch up to the ship, so people went on the ride and they were off. Harold hugged, it, hugged up his rotor blades and together they chased after the ship. Here we go. Come on, everybody. Here we go. So Peter Pan with a voice inside the ride. Off to Neverland called Bumpy. So went through the ride like an aeroplane. Harold saw Nana. He says, hello. Hello, Nana, said Harold. And as we went through London. Harold swooped over London and they saw Big Ben. Wow, that was the name of the clock tower, said Lumpy, because it's next to the House of the Parliament, said Pinocchio. And then Harold saw boats that sailing through London Bridge and here they're all seated on the big boat. He was pulling a garbage barge. Harold and the ship flew over the town and saw some twinkling stars inside the ride until they went over to Neverland. We saw a pirate ship sailing towards the sea and a man was fired out of a cannon. Fire! He shouted. Boom! <clears throat> wow, what was that, says Lumpy, it was a cannon firing on the ride, said his pilot. Harold went over the volcano and he saw all the pretty mermaids <coughs> and drumming Indians playing drums to their tune. And so he saw his friends, Peter Pan, Wendy, John and Michael. The Lost Boys, Smee and Captain Earth and other pirates on the big ship. And then Harold saw a crocodile who was ticking on the water. Harold was on his way out into the sunshine, but then... Smee, help me! cried Captain Hook. Help me, Mr. Smee, help me! cried Captain Hook. Oh, get out of here! He called, but as they saw Pixie Dust on the ship, he was tinkering like magic. 
As they all bust out of Peter Pan's flight and together they burst into the sunshine. Help me, Mrs. V, help me! I'm gonna better. Harold the helicopter loves flying on Peter Pan's ride, so he flew out of Magic Kingdom and flew over to the monorail. Then the announcer said, Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Please stand clear of the doors, but all of the, all you see is a handle with a swears if you do that. Please stand clear of the doors. I said in Spanish. It is, yeah. It's very good. Shh, shh, shh. Please stand clear of the doors. Okay, carry on. At last, Harold landed on the ground, safe and sound. Okay, the drop-off, he called. Okay, keep view. You know. Keep it up one more on creatures from the form to stay close as you can, kids. As they climbed out the helicopter and everyone was very happy. Harold. Oh! Harold says. Harold says, strange dawned to beside her, at her gathered, said Sherman, as Harold told him all about a marvellous helicopter ride through Peter, Peter, Pratt, Peter Pan. Continuing consisting, one even contested expert, said Harold as he rumbled on for, on the others. There is, or many poke poke potatoes to get in here for saving entire theme parks. Come on, let's go, Mumphy. Come sing with me, Harold. Harold singing. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. As Lumpy raced through to tell the others. <clears throat> Hey guys, wait up, cried Lumpy, as he ran up beside Sherman, Mumphy and Pinocchio. We were waiting for them. Wow, he said as they all gasped with an amazement. It was Coella Deville's car from 101 Dalmatians. Cool, says Lumpy again, as they went closer and closer. But then, save a life, says Pinocchio as he pushed Sherman and he began to fart. <laughs> Oh, you guys made me fart poo, said Sherman sadly, and they laughed and laughed. <laughs> made me fart poo. What's that, says Lumpy. I don't know what this one is. Ah, oh, Rogue Sandy Plankton, someone he called. He said he was called a, a hubcap butt, added Pinocchio. Oh, well, that's a pretty big hubcap butt. They said together, but then they just heard another strange rumbling noise. He just trying to touch the hubcap butt, and he was just trying to make this for the better rides for tunes, says Sherman. Mr. Conductor says the heart you need work for less. You need Lord Farquhar and Dad to help, added Lumpy. You in a evil voice. <laughs> <laughs> the Tin Kids kids gasped with surprise. All the Tin Kids gasped with surprise. Oh, wait, you always need help, said Dag the Coyote. Because Tin Kids, said Lord Farquhar, I can't worthily crank. I can't worthily crank you. One of the hunks of metal, feet, toes and claws, said Dad, who couldn't hurt a fly. No, I've, I'm not, said Sherman. Yes, you are, says Dad. 
aren't grumbled Sherman. Oh. Now continue Lord Farquhar. I'll come back to find the lost two kids. If I'm going to destroy here, then you'll eat, you said Lord Farquhar. And then you'll be nothing but useless scrap, he said. Right, Lord, Buddy said that as they went on the Matterhorn Bob Save Ride and set off to see Wolf and Eakin to Animal Kingdom. You two big bullies grumbled lumpies. He watched Lord Farquaad and Dad ride, rode off slide slowly out of sight. Mumf, Mumphy thought it would be a good idea if he could touch the hubcap bat. Oh, look at me, giggled Mumphy. I'm going to touch the hubcap bat. And he blew his nose. <laughs> Sherman and Pinocchio laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you could be getting closer, added Mumphy. OK, said Sherman. Beat that, he called. Come on, Lumpy, how far can you go, says Pinocchio. Oh, um, my dad says it's not safe, moaned Lumpy. But just then, Mr Conductor arrived at the drop-off and then... Lumpy! No! Called Mr Conductor as he bumped into Lumpy. Daddy, he said, and then, uh, you're about to run in the open parks, he shouted angrily. No, I want to go. Us, but Dad, no, cried Lumpy. Mr. Conductor, Mr. Conductor says, Mr. Conductor says, he's just, you sure you want to go? Sorry, he doesn't have to go, cried Sherman worriedly. Yeah, he was too afraid, said Pinocchio. No, I wasn't, says Lumpy. This does not concern you two kids, and you're lucky I don't tell your parents. You don't tell your parents. You will go out there, you know you can't run well, snorted Mr. Conductor. I can run fine, Dad. OK, shouted Lumpy. No, no, it's not okay, Mr. Conductor said crossly. You shouldn't always be anywhere near it here. Okay, well, I was right, you know. We'll start school in a year or two, said Mr. Conductor, but then... No, Dad, snapped Lumpy, but just because you're scared of the theme park... Clearly you're not ready and you're not coming back until you are doing the thing you could do you think you could do this but these things but you just can't lumpy snap mr conductor i hate you bumbled lumpy <laughs> just then harold arrived there's nothing to see gather gather over here now grumbled harold excuse me is there anything i can do to help but i could observe but what i was really but I was really inter interrupted. But I was interrupted. Excuse me, let me do as I I was really very interrupted. I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything in to interrupt things, said Mr. Conductor, sadly. He isn't a good runner. Uh, I just think it's a little too soon to be out here unsupervised. Well, I can assure you, he's quite, he's quite safe to say with me, sighed Harold. Yes, I'm sure he is, he continued, Mr. Conductor. But you have a large class and it could get lost here from the site. But if you're if I'm looking, I didn't mean to, but I'm not looking. Oh my gosh, cried the kids. Lumpy is running out down the road. As Lumpy ran towards the car on the services, Mr. Conductor yelled after him. <gasps> Lumpy! He shouted, What do you think you're doing? You're gonna get stuck out there! And then I'll have to get you for another tune to go get you back here. I said, get back here now, he yelled. Stop, he called. You take one more mis move, mister, said Mr. Conductor. The 
don't you dare. If you put one foot on that car, you'll be listening to me, he said as Lumpy touched the hubcap. Don't touch the c- c- car of the car. Don't touch the c- car. Lumpy, he called. He touched the hubcap box, whispered Pinocchio. You just trot, you think, right back here, Lumpy. That's right, says Miss Conductor. You're in big trouble, young elephant man. Do you hear me, big? But as Lumpy trotted across the road, suddenly Quella de Ville appeared behind him. Shh! <laughs> big! Big! Mr. Conductor! Ah! Surprise. Come in, Lumpy, yelled Mr. Conductor, up, but then it suddenly a tiger appeared in front of him. Oh, he gasped. Oh, get under me, kids, cried Harold as he ran outside. to her car, but Mr. Conductor was so scared, but the tiger was so angry that it roared at him and flashed the camera. Oh, oh, Lumpy, yelled Mr. Conductor as the tiger followed after the car. Lumpy, Lumpy, no, he cried. <laughs> Lumpy, Lumpy, no, cried Mr. Conductor. But then... (laughs) He screams. As the smoke billowed on the car pipe and they raced away to Magic Kingdom. Lumpy, Lumpy shouted Mr. Conductor as he ran after the car and the tiger. Corella de Ville's car was racing through the Magic Kingdom as Lumpy was, ca- was captured in the boot. <laughs> Lumpy whimpering. <laughs> Lumpy was so scared as the tiger lumped past Tomorrowland and went to the Transit Authority. <laughs> wow, hold on, called Corella de Ville as she showed through the ball ball out right of the window and she raced away as fast as she could. As the ball ball fell onto the ground, as Crenderville drove onto Winnie the Pooh ride. A few minutes later, Mr. Conductor tried to find Lumpy, but he couldn't because he was captured by Crenderville. de Ville. Mr. Conductor searched frantically. Oh, no, 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 it's gone, he panted, it's gone. No, 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 it can't be gone. No, Lumpy, 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 no, he cried. But as he tried to find Lumpy, he couldn't find him. Some cars and vehicles are racing towards him. Miss Conductor gasped with surprise. Lumpy, Lumpy, shouted Miss Conductor. No, 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 please, no, he yelled as he saw people at Magic Kingdom. But Mr. Conductor still couldn't find him at all. No, no, he gasped. Has anybody seen a car, he asked. Please, a red car, he caught up my son. And he, he's caught my son and he's got caught by Claire de Ville. As he pushed past the people, he still couldn't hear him either. As soon as he went to Tomorrowland in search for him, my son, help me please, shouted his conductor. He was trying to find his son. But as he was trying to find Lump- Lumpy, he, but he didn't notice the giant crane. It was unloading a huge ship boiler. 
suddenly the crane swung and the boiler knocked and knocked Mr. Conductor right off the ground. Look out! She shouted as the boiler hit. Mr. Conductor fell down into the ball pool. Ball pool. on his side. Oh, ooh, oh, sorry, because I didn't see you. You, she cried as she climbed down out of the crane and saw Mr. Conductor lay down on his side. Oh, poor Mr. Conductor. She came up and seemed if he's all right. Oh, sir, are, are, are you okay? She said as she walked up to him, looking very embarrassed. He's gone, sighed Mr. Conductor sadly. There, there, there. It's all right, she said. He's gone. No, he's gone. He went. Oh, he went on sadly. He'll be okay, she said again. No, no, they took them away. I'm going to find a car, so Mr. Conductor, who was feeling better by his side, wasn't badly hurt. A car? Hey, I saw a car, she added. You have, he said. Uh, uh, it passed, fine. That's so long ago, she added. A red one, says Mr Conductor. Hi, I'm Adele, said the famous singer lady, who was from the Royal Albert Hall in London. Where? Which way, he asked. Oh, uh, it went, uh, went this way, Adele called. Follow me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, he added. No problem, she said, as, she followed, as he followed Adele. Look for Lumpy! Adele and Mr Conductor raced through Magic Kingdom and went past the rides at Disney and they saw Lumpy in the distance and they raced through Adventureland until they couldn't find him. So they raced across the bridge. Mr Conductor painted, painted heavily as they went all the way back to Tomorrowland. Hey! <coughs> Wait! She panted as he sneaked up to Adele and ran all the way to Transit Authority. you quit it she said what asked Mr Conductor well I ran here but it's also bigger than for someone like you for like that like that said Adele no problem buddy ha ha do you do you do you do you want to peace with me I only said huh huh do you do you do you do you want to peace with me yeah do you want a piece of me yeah yeah oh I'm scared now why she said in an awkward way but wait a minute, he said. Stop following me, OK, she cried. What are you talking about? You're showing me which way the car went, asked Mr Conductor. A car? Hey, I see a car. It passed fine not so long ago, added Adele. It went uh, this way. Yeah, it went this way. Follow me, she said happily. But Mr Conductor didn't think that was very funny at all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on? You've already told me which way the car is going, he asked again. I did, she said. Oh, he sighed. Oh, no. But this isn't a kind of practical joke, is it? It's not funny, shouted Mr Conductor. And I know funny. I'm a human conductor. No, no, I know. It's not, sighed Adele, as she shook her head, sadly. I'm, um, I'm so sorry, she said, sadly. See, uh... I suffer from short-term memory loss. Short-term memory loss, explained Mr Conductor. I don't believe this. No, it's true. I forgot things almost instantly in front of my family, continued Adele. Well, I mean, at least that I think it does. Uh, um, where are they? As she looked at Mr Conductor. How could you find Lumpy? Can I help you? She asked. Oh, oh bless you. Oh, thank you. Something's wrong with you, said Mr. Conductor. Really, you, you're, you're wasting your time. I have to find my heifer lump sum, he said as he went up to the smooth escalator. But then suddenly he saw a killer lion. Hello, he said in an evil voice. Hello. Well, Hi, said Adele. The killer lion 
So I do understand why. Oh, name Scar said the killer lion. So I do understand why you don't trust the lion, right? And then Scar snapped his teeth as hard as he could. <clears throat> Mr. Conductor was surprised, and Scar laughed and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> As he came up beside Adele, Mr. Conductor, so you want a, what? So you want? To, so what do you couple of bites want? Like, do you like? Do you little so matey? He added. Nothing. But we're not doing anything. We're not even out," replied Mr. Conductor. Great," continued Scar. How would you like to, you muscles, to come for a little or a little get together or whatever? Do you mean, do you like me like a party at Animal Kingdom, Master Dale? Yeah, yeah, you're right, a party at Animal Kingdom, Chuckle Scar. <laughs> what do you say? He asked Adele. Oh, I love parties, replied Adele. That sounds like fun at Animal Kingdom. You know, parties are fun at Animal Kingdom, says Mr. Conductor, and it's tempting, but we can't get out of here. And... Oh, come on, I insist, finish Scar. Let's get on to the Transit Authority. OK, that's all that matters, said Mr. Conductor, and they all went on the Transit Authority. Hey, look, trolley trains. Is it Tomorrowland Transit Authority, Adele said happily, as they went on the trolleys. And then they saw Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad get, get onto the trolleys as they waited for the rides to begin. It went slower and slower and slower. As Luke was using his head camera and they all stood clear of the doors, which are closed together, and they were off. Mr Conductor Scar and Adele were enjoying going on the ride. Here we go! As they went around the curve, along the way, and together, they keep their eyes peeled for, for the view. As they went... Here we go. They have never seen Stitches Gate Escape before as the trolleys went around the curve and went into the tunnel. Dad, for some reason, Stitches Gate Escape is closed and it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. They're building a new ride. Yeah. So in the night, and a very dark in the tunnel, as they saw a model centre of Epcot. Here we go! Through the tunnel we go! And they remembered that there were tigers running through the tunnel of Smallland Transit Authority. Then Adele saw an astronaut and a robot on a spaceship as they saw a toy shop at Tomorrowland Transit Authority until they come out of the tunnel and it burst into the sunshine. Mr. 
who's the conductor went over to Maryland Speedway as the cars raced through Transit Authority Bridge until they saw Tron was being built. Tron will be coming in 2022, said Lee. Yeah, Tron will be coming in 2022. So if I am going to make another long story of Finding Junior at Walt Disney World in Florida based on Finding Nemo in 2022. Yes, said Mum, you can do better than that. The kids arrived at Tron every day and night at Tomorrowland and they went into another oh, not yet, they went into another tunnel called Space Mountain. Through the tunnel we go! I love Space Mountain, besides it's really darker down here, he said to Adele. Yes, the tunnel's gone pitch darker, said Adele modestly, as the tunnel went darker and darker and even darker, until they saw some space shuttles in the space ride. We went up and up and up, and until they saw a blue light work, were written on it in the tunnel, as Adele saw the model space, <laughs> space miles on the bottom of the space ride. As the space shuttles come rushing past through the tunnel, the tunnel got lighter and lighter, and then when they come out of the tunnel at the space mountain, they then burst into sun again. Here we go, we're going to tunnel again. Luke, here we go! Luke was very proud to go on Space Mountain, so was Joe, Mum and Dad. What a high flying adventure, said Luke happily. I could go in on like Rob as a chair chase and other stories, of course. You would say, Joe, so be careful, it might get scared and very dangerous. So, Joe, I could be doing just Morgan, the hairdresser. Me too! And it's right, said Lee to Joe. Yes, she can do that, says Joe, but we're going into Buzz Lightyear like Space Train to spin. You said as they were approaching, Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. I wish I could watch Crazy Chairs as a... I wish I could watch... I wish I could watch Crazy Chairs as a Disney. And I'm looking at Lodge, Oki West and Bay Lake Tower. And I'm on my eye, too. I wish I could pass Rich Mountain people on the Hedge Show and my crazy chair chase. You can watch it on the USA on DVD. Disney! Around and around the curve until they went through the last tunnel called Buzz Year's Light Ranger Spin. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, now for the carousel. Carry on. Here we go. 
As Miss Conductor saw a robot, was talking to an electric voice. As Mr. Conductor saw the people shooting all the aliens in the road, until they went out of the tunnel and together they burst onto the sun one last time. Scar and Mr. Conductor saw Monsters in Love for and the Monster City show Scar and Mr. Conductor had never seen the Monsters Love for before until the Transit Authority ride was over. Conductor, Scar and Adele went out of Tomorrowland Transit Authority and they walked away from Magic Kingdom and they went to Disney's Animal Magic Animal King, Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. A few weeks later, Lord Farquhar and Dad are at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. My Lord, will you catch me if you if you if you would? I can do it. I could cry, said Dad, but just then there were some more evil tunes from Pokemon. All right, listen, you two. I got a job for you, evil tunes, said Lord Farquaad. Actually, Evil Wolf said, Evil Cat. And Eking said, Evil Snake. Why, got, why, got two, I said, both names. So Dwarf Farquhar, uh, well, said Wolf and Eakins together. I'd come back to find the tunes, said Dad modestly. Oh, but that's easy if you like. You would say, you would said Wolf, anything you wanted said, wanted to say, Eakins. After what I want, continued Dwarf Farquhar, said escaping once before. As long as she exists, continued Dad, but if she can be destroyed... To be honest, if she can be destroyed... The destroyed wolf said to Eakins, but did you say destroyed? The D word at Eakins. Uh, the destroyed wolf said to Eakins, did you say destroy? The D word at Eakins, I'd forgotten. Yeah, destroy, replied Dag. Oh, well, there's one more problem. There you two, replied Wolf. Yeah, but Scar... Adele and Mr. Conductor is coming, continued Eakins, and you won't let you... won't let you destroy, and now you'll make... you'll make your not, added Wolf. I can do whatever I want, yelled Lord Farquhar. I can, I can him with my claws, said Dad, as he laughed and laughed, but then he s smacked on Lord Farquhar's back. Ouch, Dad, he cried. I hate what I do when you do that, he said, 
and more Fanukis both laughed and laughed. <laughs> 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 Soon they reached Animal Kingdom. Hey, look! Animals and balloons, cried Adele. It's a party at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. Scar chuckled of an evil joy. <laughs> Mine so, distant so, those animals are going to be crowded around those balloons. Going to be a bit dodgy. You won't want to be around them to pop or get Scar said Scar as they went to see more Fanukins at Disney Blue Dinosaur Road. Mr Conductor had never seen animals and balloons before. He mumbled and groaned. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear, groaned Mr Conductor. It's really hard work to walk, he said, and it's too far away from the road until they all went to Disney Road, Dinosaur Road. Wolf Eakins called Scar as they saw the two evil Pokemon friends waiting for them. Meow, Eakins! There you are, Scar, said Wolf, finally he said. We got company, said Scar. It's about time, mate, said Wolf. But we're only gone for a, a sacrifice. We're starving, said Eakins. We've also had a feed, but Maul said indignantly, Mr. Conductor was worried. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get to the size of it, said Eakins as the bell started to clang. Clang went the bell. As Scar to say, began to say. Ding! Right. Then he called the meeting, it's officially come to order. Let us decide of the pledge. And they all said together, I have a nice lion. They said, not a mind deceit, mistake. If I am to change this image, I must first change myself. Tunes are friends, not food, they said to each other. It's some snakes and penguins, said Wolf. Penguins? They think they're so cute, said Eakins. Oh, look at me. I'm a flipping little penguin. And I am shifting. I know. What shall I say? What shall I do? He asked the scar. Right then. Today's meeting is step five. Bring a tune, friend, continued scar. Now, do you all have your friends? Got mine, said Wolf, as he held a mouse in his hand who was squeaking at him. Hey, there she said. How about you, Ikeen, said Scar. Uh, well, um, I seem to have misplaced my own things, he said, as he got his rattle tail. Mr. Conductor gasped with surprise, and Ikeen's tail began to shake. It's all right, Ikeen's, but a few to be to suffer to help me. Some of my friends smile, Scar. Oh, thanks, mate, smiled Eakins, as he gave Mr. Conductor a hug on his towel and tickled him a little. Chug of charming, he said, as Mr. Conductor laughed and laughed. A chunk of charming. <laughs> I'll start the test of at least... Hello, my name is Scar, he said. Hi, Scar, they said. It's been three weeks as well, my last tune on my honour, or maybe chopped up onto my undersuit. He added, and they all clapped with joy. You are an ins inspiration for all of us, Tuckerican Smooth. Amen. Right then, who's next? Said Scar. Oh, 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 oh! Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me! She said <laughs> in a cheerful voice. Yes, little Sheila, get on the front. He said, "Woo!" Adele, come on, up here, said Scar, and he walked up to his conductor more fleeting. Oh. Hi, I'm Adele, she said. Hi, Adele, they said again. But, well, well, I don't think I've been eaten. A tune, she added. Oh, that's incredible, added Eakins. Good on you, mate, yelled Scar. 
Adele sighed. Ah, oh, well, I'm glad enough to help my, get this off my chest, she said. All right, anyone else, Oscar? Hello, how about you, mate? What's your problem? Me, he said, but I, I, I don't have a problem. Ah, oh, okay, Scar. Denial, they said as he slapped his butt with his foot. Oh, he screamed. Start with your name, he said to himself. Just start with your name. Just start with your name. Okay, uh, hello, my name is Mr. Conductor. I'm a human conductor, he said. Human conductor? That's really great, said Eakins. Go on, tell us a joke, said Scar. Oh, I love jokes, said Eakins. Well, I do, I do, you know, it's um, pretty good, said Mr. Conductor, modestly. Uh, there was this mollusk and he walks up to the uh, street cucumber. Nobody wanted it all walking about, but a bit of a joke anyway. Talk. So the street monster says to cucumber, he said as he told Adele, Scar Morphin Eakins, all about Lord Farquhar and Dag on the bobsleigh ride from the, from the Matterhorn. But who was got captured by Craig Deville? yelled Lumpy in an echo voice inside. Lumpy called. Lumpy? Ha ha ha, Lumpy laughed Eakins. Oh, but I don't get it. But a heflump is not that funny, said Scar. No, 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 he's my heflump son, mumbled Miss Conductor. He was taken by these devils, Adele gasped with wonder. Oh, you poor tune, heflumps, she said sadly. Humans, they think they own everything. Probably American, said Wolf, utter deacons. Now there's a father. Look, a brave little boy, a sniffled scars, had begun to cry. But then Mr. Conductor saw who was writing on the ball ball in the dinosaur way. Um, what do these markings mean, he asked, as they heard his scar crying. Never knew my father well, Scar. <laughs> Come here, you're all right, said Eakins. You're okay here, mate, replied Wolf. Group hug. I can't read humans, thought of Mr. Conductor. Well, then we're going to find this place. I can read. They say, look, Brian, Adele shouted excitedly. But no, 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 Adele, called Mr. Conductor, as he tried to stop her from giving it back. Hey guys, 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 you have my son. Hey for lunch. She said, no, oh, 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 no, Adele, he cried, no, no, hey. That's mine, she said again, Adele. He shouted as they pulled together so much that they got a fight and bumped her in the nose. Give me it back, she shouted. Oh! Bump. Oh, cried Adele. Oh, oh. Adele, are you okay? Uh, oh, I'm so sorry, Sir Mr. Conductor, sadly. Yeah, you're, you're really... You really clued me off, Adele said, sadly. But you were bleeding. Oh, Sir Mr. Conductor, as the blood poured out of Adele's nose. Oh, oh. Ow, ow, she said in pain. Adele said, Scar, are you uh, uh, okay? He, uh, he said. As the blood sucks into his nose. Oh, that's good. He oh, grinned. But oh, then. That's good. Interventions! They squeaked as they pushed Scar onto the ride. Just a bite, yelled Scar. Well, if you could get me, mate, yelled Wolf. But remember, friends, friends, tunes are friends, not, not food, yelled Eakins as Scar ran through the dinosaur ride where a jeep was coming behind them. Adele, look out, yelled Mr. Conductor. Ah, oh, she's good. I'm having humans tonight, yelled Scar as we raced away to follow Mr. Conductor. Adele on the jeep. Remember the steps, mate, for your Ilkins. The steps, he shouted. There's a jeep a race, racing through the ride after them. I'm having toes tonight! They screamed. Just one bite, shouted. He shouted. Ah! Ah! They screamed again. Ah! 
That's the cheap road through the way. They saw a car at all coming up towards them. Good day, Lord Star. Rawr. <coughs> as he saw the car at all on the way, as he ran in the wrong direction. Bang, went the door. Ah. Oh no, there's no other way. There's going to be a way to escape. Tried the structure. Bang in, bang, 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 bang. Went the door again. Who said it, Adele? Adele, help me find the way out, he cried. Sorry. <coughs> okay, we'll come back later. So he tried to escape, but then with a cane. But there's no way out. There's going to be a way out, so this could actually be baby. Look, here's something called... a uh, step. That's what it means. It's funny, it's spelled just like the word escape, she said. Adele speaks in French. Yeah, speaks in French. Let's go, we call her to screen. Stop there. Down. Scary, by the way, the Wait a minute, you can read to me if that's all. I can read to the day. That's right, I can read to Clive. Well, B, but... Here, read us now. He said, but then there was trouble, Scar crashed through. Both oh! ah! The exit door from the dinosaur ride as they run away the screen. Ah! 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 They tried as they run away from there. Star was roaring. Ah! He roared badly. Ah! He really doesn't mean it. We never knew his father, said Wolf. Don't fall off the wagon, shouted Higgins. Ah! Screamed the down, screamed that's up, but then it happens. Lord <laughs> Star, bang, went the big tree. Oh no, it's Block Cried Mr. Kibatsa. Star roared and roared and banged with all his might. But then more Philippines came up beside him. Rah! 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 No, Scar. <coughs> I'm sorry about. Scar, mate, then put Elkins as a quick Scar kept on banging. He's really a nice guy, shouted Wolf, as Scar still kept on banging. I need to get to the ball boy, said this conductor. You want the ball boy? Okay, said Adele, but then... Whoa! Whoops, Adele. No, 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 no! You're Mr. Conductor. As they branch snapped beneath them, and Scar caught the branch in his mouth. And he growled by the, he, but then he growled by the branch. <laughs> Quick, grab the ball boy, grab it, exclaimed Mr. Conductor. But as Scar grubbled and grubbled and grubbled and wedged between the branch and his mouth, he then spat out of his mouth. Rah, rah, as the branch throw high up into the air. Run away, run away, cried Scar, and all went to the Rainforest Cafe. But Adele was worried. Oh, it's just the party over, she said weakly, but then the branch landed in the water and the balloons were... Oh, no, Scar, moaned Elkins. What sniffed, Scar? But then as the branch come down, and then... Run away, run away, cried Scar, and all went to the Rainforest Cafe. But Adele was worried. Oh, it's the party over, she said weakly. 
but then the branch landed in the water and the balloon was a great big splash and a great big bang! It was very quiet in the Ark of Abomination. A Spider-Man was ready to go. Nice, he said, as he swung off to hear Lord Farquaad Dad going past on the metal bus road. <clears throat> Oi, McKeevil. Oi, McKeevil had a plan. He, 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 sang song Lord Farquaad. With a roar, roar here and a roar, roar there. And sang Dag, here a roar, there a roar. <laughs> I cracked myself up. He laughed as he rode all the way to Walmart. Later, back at Old Key West, Luke was watching Disney's Dinosaur on the television at tea time. Mmm, Joe, this burger tastes really nice. Lovely, delicious, said Luke. 88 minutes long after Thomas and the Magic Railroad for 84 minutes long. So I'm watching the Hotel of the Art of Animation, said Luke. Oh, oh no, he's in trouble said Joe on the oh dear asked to phone dad said Luke as he picked up the phone no one spoke to him it goes like this old Mick Diesel had a plan <laughs> with a pinch pinch here and a pinch pinch there here a pinch there a pinch <laughs> I cracked myself up hello he said who was speaking to us on the phone to Dad? Have you seen Lumpy? He asked. Yes, said Dad on the phone to Luke, but he's heading for the Finding Nemo Hotel. Is he? Ah, oh, no. He's in trouble now. Oh, yes. So I'll ring you back later. I love you, Dad. Bye. He said as he put the phone down and carried on watching Disney Dinosaur for Trek on two discs. So Luke thought it would be a very good idea um, lost. Oh yes. So Luke thought it would be a very good idea if he could choose full frame of dinosaur or widescreen. But check on check on two discs, yeah. widescreen and full screen. But there's something strange happened on that day. On. When Lumpy arrived at the Sweet Art Animations, animations, he landed on the hotel floor. Thump! Dad said, "Lumpy," as he arrived at the Finding Nemo Hotel. Dad. Da -da -da Dad. Daddy. He said again. Well, there's no one around here, but then he saw a strange noise. <laughs> Arr. As he tapped the glass window. Oh, 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 ow, oh, oh, he gasped. But the windows wouldn't break very easily because Lumpy was nervous. The Finding Nemo hotel room was so quiet in the art and animations, but then he saw who was the strangest man alive. Barbara. He asked, don't want to kill you with the crown, if you please. And we uh, will need a, a, a few more cross sets. But at least he said as Lumpy saw Dad at the dentist in the Finding Nemo Hotel. But then suddenly... Hello, little fella. He said, ah, oh, said Lumpy, as he hid through the door in the bathroom. It was Darren Day from Classic Nursery Rhymes. From the video of the Channel 5, RCA Columbia Pictures, International Video, Watershed Pictures and DVD of Universal. He is beauty, isn't he? I found that guy straight and full of life out 
out of the old Key West. I saved him, said Darren Day. I've got classic nursery rhymes on video. Yeah. So you know. And on DVD. Ooh. So that you know of the guys to. Uh... I saved him from Darren Day so you know the gang could get in there. He said to himself as he walked away to find the character of Disney Dinosaur. As Lumpy went to the toilet, he saw some bubbles coming out of the loo. Bubbles? yelled a lemur. It was Zinni from Dinosaur as he ran to the bathroom to push the handle to flush the toilet. Bubbles! <laughs> My bubbles! said Zinni in a deep voice. My bubbles. He likes toilet bubbles, said Suri as Lumpy hid into the bath. He was so scared. Ah, no, no, ah, oh! He cried as he saw more friends of dinosaurs. <laughs> Bonjour, he said in a French voice. Ah, he screamed as he ran out of the bath to see what the matter is. As he came towards the friendly dinosaur called Aladar. Ah, hi. Ha, ho, ho, slow down, little fella. There's nothing to worry about, said Aladar. Oh, but he's scared of death of, of Pilo. I want to go home, said Lumpy. Sadly, do you know where my dad is? Honey, your dad's probably back at the pet store, added Zuri. Pet store, added Lumpy. Well, you know, like uh, Loves from Teens Bark, said it, Aladar. A palace, said Earl, Dida Rama, Dinah Rama, said Ema. Mal Hotel, said Pilo. eBay, said Zuri. So which one is it, said Ema. Uh, I'm from uh, Magic Kingdom, says Lumpy. Ah? Oh. Magic Kingdom? Magic Kingdom? Ah! Uh, oh, he screams, he gasps with surprise. Ah! He hasn't eaten me for topping me again. Young Zinni, he called. We'll clean him out. We'll clean him. We! Oui, said a young Lima from a friend's voice. Young Zinni speaks in a French voice. Magic Kingdom? Hello, said young Zinni as he got a sponge from the bathroom and scrubbed and polished Lumpy's body. Sponge, scrubbing and polishing. <laughs> Voila! Polishing. Voila! He's clean, said young Zinni. And thank Lumpy and jump back into the bath to see what we're doing. Well, the big blue. What would you like, asked Zinni. Uh, big and... Blue, stuttered Lumpy. Well, I knew it, promised Zinni. Can't think of anything you could need us to ask your auntie Philo. And that's me, chuckled Philo, or fan a remake, if you skewed to my sister Nera. Hi, how are you, she said in a posh voice. She chuckled with delight. Don't listen to anything, my sister. She is nuts. She laughed, but she heard a muffled voice. Can't hear you, Zuri, said. Aladar, I simply got a life one. I got a life one here, she says, and tougher. And together they come up to the bathroom to see what he was doing. Go mm -hmm. here, Siri, said Aladar. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, mur murmured Aladar. What have we got, said Philo. Roots Hotel by a little bit of x ray. He's not going to be pretty, added Zuri. But just then the drill world on Dad's throat. Oh! Screamed Dad as the drill world faster and faster. <laughs> what do we got? Root Canal. And by the looks of those x rays, it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> ah! Robo Debo Clamp installed, said Aladar, as they watched Darren Day go into the dentist's work. Yep. She said, what they used to open, asked Zinni. Gade and Whirl and Drill, it seems to be fair, in a wide open, inquired Zuri. But Lumpy didn't say any more. He just stayed at the Finding Nemo Hotel. But I can't see Nera, said Pilo. Dad mumbled as Darren Day got a screwdriver to clean Dad's throat. OK, you're getting a little too, but then... Ah, 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 the screamed as the screwdriver clanked around his teeth and throat. OK, I'll go... Ah, ah! <laughs> Now he's doing the shoulder technique, says Pilo. Or he's using a head strum file, continued Aladar. 
That's not a hedge drum foal, laughs he? That's a K-Flex. He's got a new few drop sessions. Clearly a hedge drum, says Aladar. No, no, K-Flex is in the A. Hedge drum, said Aladar. K-Flex, I am. Hey, shouted Zinni. There we go, fall around over ah. here, groaned Aladar. I'll go and uh, deflate him, said Philo. And she deflated Aladar's body. <laughs> All right, go ahead. And Ryan said, Darren, as he got a water squirter and Dad spits out of his mouth. Rinse. Oh, <laughs> water gurgled everywhere. Ugh, human remarkable. But this is a disgusting place, said Zinni. But just then, Spider-Man swung up and to the Find the Nemo Hotel. Bang went the window. Glass as he opened the window frame. Hey, Spider-Man, oh, what about the mess of mayonnaise? A mess of mayonnaise. He asked Root Hotel, is it a dozy? He said, oh, Root's, Root's Canal Hotel, where they used to open, asked Spider-Man to the dinosaurs. He's been faithful with it. One can see Spider-Man. I hope he doesn't get to service you. But the signals don't get to that service from the independent term terminus. Hello, he said. Lumpy gasped with wonder. He'd never seen Spider-Man in the Finder Nemo Hotel before. That they huddled up to Lumpy. Who's this? said Pilo. New guy, says Zuri. The dentist has took him off in the old Key West, says Ema. And howdy, says Zinni. Full word, if you would say, continued Spider-Man, I plan to snap at your tunes. Gonna run and walk, and Monkey's gonna eat bananas, he said. <gasps> Sorry, I've had to snap at you. The tunes got... Uh, Sorry to panic snap at you. Toon's gonna run and walk. Monkey's gonna eat bananas. He said. <gasps> hey! No, no, no. Go on, get off, Toon. There, my Toon. Go on, go on, go on. Shoo, 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 shouted Darren Day as he pushed Spider-Man out of the window and he swung away. But then he shut the window until he saw the picture glass had been damaged. Oh, it's the picture's broken, Darren Day says sadly. It's he, it's Saskia Mayo from Inclusion Project in 2019. She's my niece, she's going to be eight this week, says Darren Day. Hey little fella, say hello to your new mummy, she's going to be here Friday to pick you up. You're a present, she said. Oh, sh 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 it's a little secret, he whispered. Well, Mr. Tucker, now let me see if you see her about a wallaby. Art and animation finished Darren Day as he went to the toilet to have a wee. As Lumpy walked over to see the broken picture of Susquehanna, who was plainly dead. Oh, Saskia moaned Aladar. What? W what's wrong with her? asked Lumpy. She wouldn't stop shaking the box, said Zinni. But then they saw that Saskia was a heffalump killer. Poor Chuckles grown out Aladar. <laughs> she was a perfect last year, sob Philo. It's the ride on Pocalata Express, replied Aladar. She's a heffalump killer, cried Ema. Lumpy was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah, I can't go on without her. I've got to get back to my dad. Well, Lumpy, but suddenly a rectangular air filter whooshing in the air and it sucked into Lumpy. Oh, no, oh, 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 pop, went the air filter. Daddy, help me, he called. He was stuck in the air filter. Oh, no. Oh, no, he stuck quite very low. As the dinosaur and Lee was trying to pull Lumpy out. Nobody touch him, said a voice right behind them. There in the Finding Nemo hotel room were, were three more dinosaurs who come to rescue him. It was Nera, Bruton and Crone, and another lemur named Yar. Nobody touch, said Bruton. Nobody touch him, says Yar, as they came up towards Lumpy, who was stuck in the air filter. But as he tried to get out, he couldn't. <laughs> Can you, can you help me? He asked suddenly, sadly. No, said Yar, you get yourself in, you can get yourself out. Uh, Yar, said Pilo. She tried to encourage him. I just want to see him doing it, okay? Now calm down. 
He said, Lumpy whimpered, he couldn't get in in time. Now alternate wiggling, your bottom, your towel, says Jar. I can't, but I have a bad towel, Lumpy whimpered sadly. Never stop me, grumbled Jar. But he soon found out why, as Lumpy watched. As he hoped, hopped up to Nera, Brutal and Cron, but just then, anchor, another dinosaur came out to rescue him. It was Baleen, but she's got a very long neckline, neck, like a giraffe, Lumpy gasped as he saw Baleen coming towards him. Everyone, hello everyone, she said. Hello Baleen, they said. Have you come to rescue Lumpy? She asked, but he's stuck in the air filter. We'll just have to get him out, said Zinni. Right away, says Aladar, and they all went to help Lumpy. Meanwhile, Yar was trying to get Lumpy out. Just think about what you need to do, said Yar, as he grabbed Lumpy's nose and he pulled as hard as he could. Come on, Yar, you can do it, called Aladar. Come on, said Zinni, as they pulled together. <laughs> Lumpy wiggled and heaved and pulled and wrinkled until finally he popped out the air filter and he was free. Perfect, said Yar. Thanks, Yar, says Lumpy. Happily be glad to be useful, smiled Yar. One, two, three. Yippee! You did it, they cheered. How Yippee! did you do it? You did it, they cheered. How did you do it? Zinni, love you, love me, said Zuri. You look squirtman, laughed Hilo. And everyone laughed and laughed and laughed as Lumpy told Aladar all about Lord Farquaad and Dag on the bobsleigh, bobsleigh ride on the Matterhorn from Disneyland in California. So what's important is to stand upon old feet to Lord Farquhar and Dag, said oh, Aladar. Aladar's right, said Crow. Lord Farquhar and Dag knows that the lost tomb is a legend, really exists. Rubbish, said Ema. The legend is a good thing for a plan. So what do you think a young Zinni is going to meet more dinosaurs in the next hotel room? He asked, yes, he is the next room, said Zinni, and he's with the Carnotaurs. So this is really important to find Darren Day, 42 Animation Findings Nemo Hotel series, said Ziri. Nemo, ah, Nero. <clears throat> yes, it is, said Bruton. If they could get to the Finding Nemo Hotel with a gang of dinosaurs, Disney of Toons, who makes magic, then more powerful that Lord Farquhar Dad will ever be, continued Bruton. I'll send them packing so he could get to Darren Day, 42 Art Van Animation Finding Nemo Hotel. And that's what they want to find them, he said. Then we'd be better better find them first, said Lumpy. Maybe I can help. Of course, said Zinni. Now leave it to me. I'll show how to watch rides at Magic Kingdom, he said, as he hops away. Wow, in the theme park of the Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and two water parks called Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon, said Zuri. Just like you, Yar. Yeah, said Yar. Suri chuckled with delight. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that before, added Suri. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking tonight we'll give the kid a proper reception, added Yar. Okay, kid, you're going to name of one finished Aladar. Lumpy, I'm Lumpy, said Heffalump, as he told them all about Darren Day, who was a dentist called Dr Sherman. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, back at the Animal Kingdom, Mr. Conductor and Adele were soon fast asleep under the tree. Mr. Conductor said sleepily, Lumpy, Lumpy, he said again, Lumpy, he said again. Adele said sleepily, Lumpy, Mr. said Mr. Conductor, Lumpy. But the tree wasn't staying upright at all. It then started to creak. But Mr. Conductor was still asleep and so was Adele. Be careful with the hammer, she said again. Huh? said Mr. Conductor in surprise, but suddenly the tree began to move. Mr. Conductor gasped in surprise. Mr. Gutter Conductor was surprised. Then the tree started to fall down. Mr. Conductor woke up with a start. Quick, Adele, come on. Get up, yelled Mr. Conductor. 
Come on, get up, yes, I'm a natural blue, she murmured. Get up, she shouted, I forgot to lie and could eat, but then I looked away. She yelled all of a sudden, the tree began to tumble to the ground. screaming tree comes humbling down. Lucky no one was hurt. <coughs> wow. Dusty, she said happily. Mr. Conductor gasped the bauble. Where's the bauble, he asked. The bauble suddenly started to fall down the, in the tunnel. No, no, no. Get the bauble. Get it, get it, get it. He shouted as he tried to find the bauble, but he couldn't. The bauble was vanished. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. It keeps going on. Down here, said Adele, as she went through the tunnel. There's an echo, echo, she said. An echo voice. Hey, what you doing? She asked, it's gone. I lost the ball boy, growing Mr. Conductor. Why did you drop it, she asked. You dropped it, he snapped. Now it's my only chance to find my heifer-lump sum. Now it's gone, he said crossly, but Mr. Conductor still couldn't find it anymore. Adele knew she could find the ball ball in the tunnel. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills, Gills, she said in a deep voice as she began to sing. When I get down there, what are you going to do? She added, I don't want you to go down, going to do, said Mr. Conductor. Just keep waiting, just keep wait, just keep walking, just keep walking, she sang as she grabbed Mr. Conductor and went into the Animal Kingdom tunnel. Just keep walking, 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 what do we do? We walk, sang Adele. Adele, no singing, Grandma, well, Mr. Conductor, as Adele chuckled with delight. Ha 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 I love to walk in, she went on singing. Mr. C, Adele walking, she went on again. Oh, wow, I love to walk if you want to, oh. I want. You see, I'm going to get that stuck in, that now, with, I'm now going to get stuck with, now with that song. Now it's in my head, said Mr. Conductor. <laughs> Sorry, said Adele, as they went into the tunnel. What? You're going to get sucked up in that song in my head. Sorry. You can swim in Dorian when you want to swim. You want to swim. I'm going to get stuck now with that song. Now it's in my head. Sorry. In the dark tunnel at Animal Kingdom, everywhere was very quiet until they noticed there was no one around here. <laughs> Adele... Do you see anything, Mr. Conductor? asked her. Uh, something's got me, she cried. That was me. I'm sorry, he said. Adele gasped. <gasps> Who's that? she asked Mr. Conductor. Who's that? Uh, could it be it's me? added Mr. Conductor. Uh, uh, are you my conscience? asked Adele. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm your conscience. We haven't spoken for a while, continued Mr. Conductor. How are you? Mm, can't complain, added Adele. Yeah. Good finished. Mr. Conductor, now Adele, I want you to tell me, do you see anything? He asked Adele. Uh, I see, uh, I see a light. She said, a light, he said, yeah, over there. Hey, Conscience, are you my dad? She explained. Yeah, 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 I see it too, said Mr. Conductor as he went to see what it was. Uh, what is it? He asked. Wow, look at the light's beautiful. It's so pretty, said Adele. I, I'm feeling happy, he said proudly, which is a bit big deal for me, he added. I want to touch it, she said happily. So she touched the light with a, with a lamp so her hand won't get hurt. Out, she said. Hey, come back, come back here, said Mr. Conductor. I'm going to get ya, she said. I'm going to get ya, I'm going to get ya, she said again. You know I'm going to get you. I'm going to swim, you sang Mr. Conductor. 
I'm gonna be your best friend. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna swim with you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna be your best friend. I can't see who or where I'm going. Cried. I did that. I can see. I did it. I. Oh, he's gone. Missing page. Oh no. So can we go? Yes. I, I can't. Go on, tell me. So both. Oh yes. What's that about? The patient mother up together. Sorry, Matt. What's that from? There. Where's it, where's it go? Yeah. There. There was a grizzly animal. They saw what it was. What it was? It was a bear from the zoo. Good feeling. Gone, said Mr. Conductor. But suddenly the bear reached out its claws and began to roar. Good thing it's gone. Rawr. Both screaming. <laughs> Is they saw a ball boy at the dark tunnel at Animal Kingdom, but it was next to the, the signal. Wow! Screamed Adele, the ball boy, in the sign. Who shouted? She bumps into Mr. Conductor. Oof! They said, "What ball boy?" And she sighed. She asked, "Ra, ra, the bear, rod the bear." Ah! Screamed Mr. Conductor. Okay, I can't see a thing. Said Adele. She looked at the sign. Oh, geez! He cried. Hey, look! The sign. She said, "Read it." He shouted as the bear ran up towards him. Rawr, went the bear. And then... Rawr, roared the bear again as the ah. conductor ran, be, ran away behind the bear. Uh, I'm sorry, but if you could just light it, a monster, it'd get me the light, said the bell. That's right, that's right. There, she said. Keep it right there. Yeah. Just read it. Shout to Mr. Conductor. Okay, okay. Mr. Bossy, she said as she read the sign. Darren Day, 42, Art of Emanations, Finding Nemo Hotel. Uh, da, da. Okay, Darren, da, 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 Darren Day. I'm not sure. It'll... It could be a sign she stuttered as bear, the bear wedged Mr. Conductor into the rock and she growled and growled. Rawr, I went to bear. Uh, ah, the first one is Darren Day, she shouted. Darren Day doesn't make any sense. Ah! 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 Okay, continued Adele. Now, the second is 42 Art of Emanation. But she couldn't remember the sign. Adele, Adele, what do you mean? Is ah, she screamed, the bear snapped his teeth like a crocodile. But then the light started to go out of his mouth. Light, please, as she said, as it turned back on again. Utter, utter, ah, uh, and, uh, animations, and it began to spit it out of its mouth. Ah, 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 screaming, screaming, that's the bear snatched his teeth again. Ah, 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 It's anyone's 42 Art of Animations, said Adele excitedly. That's right, just finished up. And it's speed read, and we would give our pr pressure, said Mr. Conductor. Pressure again. Now in pressure, he yelled. Finding Nemo, finding Nemo Hotel, she read. Finding Nemo Hotel, finding Nemo Hotel, it's finding Nemo Hotel, she quite excited. But then, duck, cried Mr. Conductor as the bear came closer and closer and closer. Then it crashed. Ah, screamed the girl. Got crashed into a big rock. Mr. Conductor panted breathlessly. Oh, 
I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm died. I'm died, panted Mr. Conductor in pain, but then he saw the bear was dead. Oh, uh, ha, 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 Mr. Conductor was laughing. <sighs> Mr. Conductor, we did it. Oh, wahoo, he laughed as he began to sing. We did it. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, said Mr. Conductor. No eating, eating, right. Woo! Eat tonight, they sing to each other. No, no, eat and hit tonight, wanna die, uh, sang Adele, said uh, uh, Mr. Conductor. Adele, Adele, we, and she stopped singing. So what did you say? What did the sign say? Asked Mr. Conductor. Darren Day, 42. 42 Art Animations, Funny Nemo Hotel. She said, and she gasped with excitement. I remember what it said. I usually, of these things, but... I forget, but I remembered that time, said Adele. Darren Day, woo, 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 wait, wait now, where is that, I asked. I don't know, she said again, but who cares? Ha ha, I remembered. But then, rah, went the bear. Roar, ah, she screamed as I went all the way to Epcot. Darren Day, ah! 42, Art of Emanations, Finding Nemo Hotel, said Adele. I remembered again, as they went out of Animal Kingdom and all the way to Epcot. That night, Lumpy was finding was in the Finding Nemo Hotel, but it was very quiet, so that cars and Disney buses roaring down the road at night and hearing the monorail whirring down the rails. As Lumpy was fast asleep in bed in the Finding Nemo Hotel room, he was snoring. <sighs> Lumpy slept through the night when he heard a strange clattering noise. Psst, Lumpy, he whispered. Lumpy, he sang to himself as Lumpy woke up with a start. Lumpy. Suivez moi, said Zinni in a French voice. Follow me, whispered Zinni in an English voice, and together they walked through the Finding Nemo hotel room to see what had happened. Lumpy and Zinni was walking through the room at night. They heard dinosaurs and lemurs, lemurs even, playing, chanting and in idea, Indian. Oh. Ha ha hoo hoo, do you want to do a bit? Yeah, it's like this. but then they heard a strange noise outside at night. Somewhere at night, Lord Farquhar, Dag and a Matterhorn bobsleigh rolled up to the Art of Animation finding the motel where the crane was unloading the pipes from the lorry and it was next to the shed like Brendan Docks. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> minutes later that night, Yar was drinking milk from a glass. A few minutes later that night, 
Yeah, I was drinking milk from a glass. Just a little sweet, sweet, so I said, I think, said yeah, as he carried on drinking. All right, Dag. My inner bucking and badness, said Lord Farquhar. Time to feed yourself, said Dag. Feast yourself, said Dag, as they reached out his hands to drop the pipes from the crane. Yar was still drinking milk, as it tastes lovely and sweet. Ah, now that's better, said Yar happily. But he was finishing milk, and they suddenly heard a strange crash. Scared, but then suddenly they heard another loud crack. When they said as it came tumbling down. Crash! Oh shit, it came tumbling down. as far as he fell to the floor and knocked his drink over and spilled milk all over the floor. Toppling trumpets, it's Lord Farquhar and Dag, cried Lumpy. Lord Farquhar and Dag? Oh no, well done, Adar. Oh no, no, as Lord Farquhar and Dag laughed and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was very frightened as Aladar came up to the window. Hello, Dino, called Lord Farquhar, looking out of the window glass. I've got a plan, he said, and you're not in it, said Dag, evilly. You can catch Lord and the coyote, said Aladar. He and... can't catch me, Lord and Coyote. Said Aladar, as he roared furiously at them. Ah. Ah. Dag was still laughing. <laughs> look, look at him roaring at them. What perfect time, laughed Dag now. What is it that? Where is that lost heffalump? asked Lord Farquhar. You won't find him here, continued Aladar. You're never clever enough to stop me, said Farquhar. Oh, yes, I am, said Aladar. No, you're not, said Dag, but then. Ah, oh, what is it they cried? It's flour. Oh, that's right, it's flour, you two, shouted Aladar. And I'll throw it into their bobstay and I'll seize you what you've got and the bob bobsled rolled away to see what happened Grrr, growl dad make the most of it tonight oh god said Lord Farquhar because she won't like tomorrow says dad neither will I of kind of tin kettles and Lord Farquhar should my lord finish his dad as they rolled out to the front of the motel and away from the art of emanations and then there was silence, as Aladar put the flour down to get the ingredients ready for tomorrow. State your name, said Jar. Uh, l -l Lumpy, said Heffalump. Dino Aladar. Proceed, said Jar, as Aladar came in front of Lumpy. Lumpy, said Aladar in a deep voice. The new colour of purple, a trumpet noise and a spiky tail. You have been called forth to the summer de Mont Wakahuki to join with us in the fruitful bond of sweethood, said Alabar. Alabar, even. Ha, pondered Lumpy. You're watching the club, kid, said young Zinni in the bath. Really? He pondered again. <clears throat> it continued, Alabar. Are you able to swipe him through the ring of fire? Young Zinni was ready to do the ring of fire, and Zinni was going to do the turn the tap on. If you are able to sweep through the ring of fountain fire, oh. young Zinni was ready to do the ring of fountain fire, and Zinni is going to turn the tap on. Turn off the ring of of fountain fire, muttered Aldar. 
The ring of fountain fire. Oh, yes, you can do it, said Zinni, as he turned on the cold tap of the bath. The ring of fountain fire yelled out at us and began to chant Indians again. Here we go. Here it goes. Ha ha woofie. Ha 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 woofie. Ring of fountain fire! Ha 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 
The next day, back in Old Key West, Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad are having breakfast. Luke is watching Chicken Little on his DVD player before The Lion King. So Luke was eating toast and Joe was waiting, watching Brother Bear on disc one. But Luke might be a good idea if we could watch another one asked this two after this one. Before we could go to the water park to go to Typhoon Lagoon. But Dad asked Mum if Lord Farquhar pulled the rope cable off the crane and dropped the pipes every night. And Dad pulled the legs of the big shed and the pipes hit the shed and it came down with a smash. Yes, Mum, said Dad, as they were still watching DVDs and they carried on eating breakfast. Carry on. <clears throat> when they arrived at Epcot next morning, Adele and Mr. Conductor walked past people. Are they going to go on the Finding Nemo ride? Darren Day, 42 Art of Emanations, Finding Nemo Hotel. Darren Day, 42 Art of Darren Day, 42 Art Animations, Finding Nemo Hotel. Where are you going? I tell you, said this said Adele to Mr. Conductor. I'm going to Darren Day, 42 Art of Emanation, Finding Nemo Hotel. That's where I'm going. I'm good. Adele agreed happily. Where am I going? I'm good at this. Oh, I'm good at this. I did Adele. Happily. Where am I going? Darren Day 42, Art of Emanation, Finding Nemo Hotel. Mr. Conductor granted with a gump, grump. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I didn't hear you reply, Adele. Darren Day, 42 Art of Admonations, Finding Nemo Hotel, she added. Excuse me, said Mr. Conductor as he came up to the puppies. Er, uh, uh, excuse me, he said. Uh, how? How do I get? Hold, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, wait, wait. Can you tell me? He asked to them as he raced after the puppies. Uh, hey, hold it, he shouted. Wait, wait a minute, I need to talk to you, he said, again as the puppies raced around Epcot. Hey, uh, hey, come back here, please. Hey, why, one more question, I need to land it all again. Oh, Mr. Conductor sighed with relief. Darren Day, 42 Art of Emanations, Finding Nemo Hotel. What do I have to tell you all, all over and over again, continued Elm? I'll tell you again. I won't get tired again, I'm sure. Ha, huh, she asked Mr. Conductor. Okay, Adele, um, uh, who is it? asked Mr. Conductor. Uh, uh said Adele. Uh, I, I just, I think it's best if I have, um, I, I'll carry on from where nearby. By myself, added Mr. Conductor. Uh, okay, said Adele modestly. You know, alone, said Mr. Conductor. Uh, oh, said Adele. Without, without, well, not without you, said Mr. Conductor. I mean, just, well, I don't want you with with me, replied Mr. Conductor. Huh? She asked. Uh, I don't want to drift. You said, do you want me to leave? Asked Adele. No, I mean, uh, yes, yeah, it's just, uh, I, I just can't afford any more delays. And you're one of those tunes that cause delays, added Mr. Conductor. But it's so much. It's a good thing there's a whole group of tunes. They're delay tunes, replied Mr. Conductor. You mean, <laughs> she snivelled, you mean, you don't like me? <laughs> Adele, sadly, she began to cry. <laughs> No, of course I like you, because I like you. I know. I want to be with you. It's complicated, emotional, says Mr. Conductor, as he saw Adele crying at him. Oh, don't cry, Mr. Conductor. I like you. But then a voice said, Hey, yeah, you, Lady Dose. This guy bothering you, said one of the puppies, as they saw Adele and Mr. Conductor. Uh, uh, I don't remember who you are, who you are, asked Adele sadly. No, 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 we're just, we're, whoa, hey, do you guys know what you please, asked Mr. Conductor to the puppies. Hey guys, we're talking to the lady, not you, said the second puppy. Hey, do you like impressions, asked the puppy. Adele thought she wanted to go to find the Nemo ride.
okay just like um giving you help some helpers some gentlemen said another puppy as he ran up to tell the others so what are we so why don't you take a guess said another oh i've seen one of the arrows of the sword With thin arrows like a sword, said the fourth puppy. Adele, wait, wait. Uh, it's a sword knight, only Mr. Conductor. Hey, Conductor boy, let the lady guess, said the fifth puppy. Where's the putter? asked the third puppy. Oh, it's an under temple of my jellyfish, Adele moaned modestly. Hey, jellyfish, replied Mr. Conductor. So then another, lots of wings fly to Florida, said the sixth puppy. A hey, sweeper. It's a sweet propeller. I tell you, landed on your head with a sweet pr propeller. They sang as they pushed over the other puppy and it screamed, Ah! screamed the puppy. Hey, would somebody please give me directions, continued Mr. Conductor. What a lovely is to give me directions, laughed the seventh puppy. Adele giggled. <laughs> <laughs> yes, serious, said Mr. Conductor. Blah 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 another puppy. Thank you, says Mr Conductor. Oh dear, thought Adele. Hey, hey, wait. Hey, what's the matter? asked Adele. What's the matter? Oh, doing those silly impressions. I'm miles from home with a tune that can remember can't even remember her own name, said Mr Conductor. Oh, but what this this oh but this frustrating mumble Adele now where are, where are my son Heffalump is out is at? I did, Mr. Conductor. Is it Chanicho? Chanichio? She asked Mr. Conductor. Lumpy said, Mr. Conductor. Right, I got it, said Adele, instantaneously. Well, it doesn't matter, go on, Mr. Conductor, because no tunes. It isn't a f in interior Florida. It's going to help me. Well, I'm helping you, muttered Adele. To Mr. Conductor, wait right here, she said. Uh, hey guys, what is it bothering you again? said the puppy. No, 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 he's a good guy, said Adele. Go easy. He's gonna lose his son, Heffalump Fabio. If you've heard of Darren Day 42 Art of Animations Finding Nemo Hotel, added Adele. Art of Animations Finding Hotel Nemo Hotel, said the other puppy. Oh, sure, he said, as he ran up beside them. Why, said, said he's a, uh, what's that look? Con, Conrin. Why, she said, is a, Conrin, Finding Nemo, Art of Amination Hotel Room. Said another, you know, you can do. He said, oh, hey, they know Art of Animations, Finding Nemo Hotel, cried Adele. Mr. Conductor gasped. You wouldn't know how to get there, would you? She asked the other puppies. Well, you wanna. What you wanna do is follow the DAA. It's a piece of Disney art of animation. The animators can give up this with this. And that's a direction, said the puppy. And then you're gonna follow that about, oh, I don't know. What are you guys thinking about? Three links. Well, then the Tower of the Baby, gonna put you right past the art of animation, finding the hotel, said the third puppy. And then, ta ta! They cheered. Great, said Mr. Conductor. That's great, Adele. Excuse me. Look on YouTube. Ta da! <laughs> great, said Mr. They cheered. Great, said Mr. Conductor. Oh, that's great, Adele. You did it, he said. Oh, geez, I just have a little helper. That's me, she said. Oh, listen, fellows, thank you, finished Mr. Conductor. Don't mention it, continued the puppy. Loosen up, okay, buddy? Oh, you guys, you really nailed him. Bye, Adele said happily. Oh, hey, man, one more thing, finished the third puppy. Yes, finished, Adele. When you cross over the bridge, walk, walk over it, not under it. Under the railing, said the eighth puppy. Yes, bridge, said Adele. Over it, not under the railings, remember? She said as the puppies waved goodbye and she ran back to follow Mr. Conductor. So, 
they're near the Inter Bridge. If they could go on the Finding Nemo ride on the on the clam. Uh, hey, hey, hey! Wait up, partner! I've got Adele called Mr. McLaughlin to Mr. Conductor. Hold on! Uh, wait, wait! I got it. I've got to tell you something. She said. Uh, wow! What? Nice bridge! Exclaimed Adele as she tried to go to the Finding Nemo ride. It was quiet. Hello. There was a voice echoed everywhere. Hello, hello. Okay, let's go, said Adele, and she went over the railings of the bridge. No, no, no. Bad railing bridge, Adele. Bad railing bridge, said Mr. Conductor, as he grabbed Adele down from the bridge railing. Come, we're going to walk over this thing. Uh, well, oh, pardon, a little red flag going. Uh, somebody's telling me we should walk across it. Not over the railings, said the bell. <clears throat> I, you, even looking at this thing, I've got death, but not over the railings, quite the Mr. Conductor. I'm sorry, but I nearly, really, I think we should go walk across it, she said. And I'm really, really, really done talking about this over and over again, we said to Adele. Come on, trust me. She said, trust you, he said. Yeah. Trust is what friends do, replied Adele. Look, something shiny, called Mr. Conductor. Where? she asked. Oh, it's just over the walk over the bridge. Come on, we're going to follow it, said Mr. Conductor. OK, said Adele, as they walked across the bridge and went all the way to the Finding Nemo ride. Boy, it's sure clear up here, she said to herself. And look at that, there's the seeds of Nemo and friends. Oh, sorry. Exactly, said Mr. Conductor. And look at that, there's the seas with Nemo and friends. We should be there in no time, he said to himself, and together they went into the seas with Nemo and friends. It's very dark in the Finding Nemo ride, and it's very quiet inside. What's that? he asked Mr. Conductor as he looked for his son, Heffalump. But he couldn't find him, and then he saw it was on a model sand pit. It was a sign label that was sticking in the sand. What's this, he said. He picked up the sign off the sand who someone had written on them. As Mr. Conductor looked at the sign, he read, I noticed that you left your thinking cap behind. Try these instead. They're good for the brain. Gone fishing, says Mr. Conductor. Gone fishing rabbit, says Mr. Conductor. I know she left the thinking cap behind. Chinese instead, they're good for a brain. Gone fishing rabbit. Gone fishing rabbit, laughed Adele. The rabbit's gone fishing to catch Nemo. Oh, thank you, young lady, says Mr. Conductor, as he put the sign down and picked up the carrot. Oh, well, well, well. How very thoughtful, he said, as he began to eat the carrot. But not for long. Ooh. Norma Farquhar and Dad <laughs> was arrived. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, Mr. Gertz, I was thinking, said Adele, as they saw Lord Farquhar and Dad at the Find the Nemo ride. How does Lumpy travel to the Find the Nemo Hotel? asked Adele by the gang of the movie called Dinosaur. Added Mr. Conductor as they watched Lord Farquhar and Dag mending the Matterhall bobsleigh. Dag was mending the bobsleigh wheels with his spanner. Lord Farquhar was painting the bobsleigh green and white. Dag was polishing the bobsleigh and Lord Farquhar was oiling and greasing the bobsleigh wheels. Uh, sometimes, I have sometimes something to tell you, Mr. C. Continue there, maybe. There's a lot, there's a lost sun heifer up too. Um, it's Art of Emination Finding Hotel, Adele said to Mr. Conductor. But the journey gets bumpier and bumpier. That's what Lumpy told him about Darren Day 42 Art of Emination's Finding Nemo Hotel, as a Mr. Conductor. As he carried on eating a carrot. Oh, he talked about Finding Nemo Hotel in a sleep, she added. Finding Nemo Hotel was meant meeting the gang of the Disney dinosaur from the Art of Emanations. Nonsense, said Adele. That's not true. But I think that's how he travels here on a secret theme park in the Finding Nemo ride, said Adele. 
as she watched Lord Farquhar and Dad going into the bobsleigh ride, fastening their seatbelts until they were ready to go. Belonging to the lost son Heffalum, smiled Mr. Gnutz as he watched the bobsleigh roll away. Adele, you are clever, he said as he, st he st started to carry on eating his carrot. Mr. Duck conducted Crunch to carry it in his teeth, but then he remembered what the puppies had said. Plain drain, said Mr. Conductor, as he spoke, speak, speaks his words with Adele, so they could find his son. Heffalump as they carried on eating a carrot again. Mountain, fountain, he said. That might be something. I think I'm going to try the celery. As he put the carrot down, Mr. Conductor began to eat the celery, and as Mr. Conductor crunched in the celery in his teeth, who says, Sausage, bicycle, hump, <coughs> said Mr. Conductor. But as he had to hiccup word, toothpaste, beach, finding Nemo ride, <coughs> he said again, as it crunched the celery again. Wait a minute, he whispered to the Adele. Finding Nemo Ride, said Mr. Conductor. Finding Nemo Ride, that's it, that's it. Ha ha, laughed Mr. Conductor. Adele laughed and laughed and laughed with joy. <laughs> we have to go on the clown ride to see Nemo and friends, Mr. Conductor, and then we have to look at the fish to go under the water. <gasps> and together they went off to see the clams. See all the clams there. See? Mm. What's that? What's this? I don't know she left the thinking cat behind. Chinese is dead, they're good for the brain. Gone fishing rabbit. Oh, well, well, well. Carry on. 
there it was. Plans are waiting, the ride. So Mr. Conductor and Elle got, got, got the girls got onto the plans and they were off. The plans went into the underwater tunnel and they saw new long friends waiting for them. Here we go! For the school kids, and there was Mr. Ray who was singing in the background. Then Adele saw Marlene and Gory in the school with orange and white stripes. Our story was racing away, and there was Splurge in the school too. Look 
town. Back in the Finding Nemo Hotel, young Zinni was talk. Boy, I said it. Zinni was talking to the other dinosaur. Back, back, back. Oh, sorry. Back in the Finding Nemo Hotel, Zinni was talking to the other dinosaurs in the second room. It's beautiful, but Lumpy was in the first room and he's in trouble, said young Zinni. I think Adele and Mr. Conductor are in the Finding Nemo ride and they're looking at the fish, said Chitty. It was Aladar's mother who came a very long time ago in the Finding Nemo Hotel. The raptors and the carters were talking all about Lord Farquhar and Dag on the Matterhorn bobsleigh ride who had come from Disneyland in California. The carnotors are very scary, said young Zinni. If Darren Day was still in the dentist, he needs to brush his teeth. If the raptors are going to get them, they're going to be very scary indeed, added Jitney. Jitney. But if Mr. Conductor finds him to go to the Find the Nemo Hotel... But my towel doesn't feel so hot, said young Zinni. It feels warm and snug. But the Velociraptor, the Velociraptor Raptor, and the other raptors are so scary to me, grumbled Jitney. And nasty fumes from Lord Farquhar and Dag, he said. Lord, Lord Farquhar and Dag was after the lost son, Heffalumps, continued young Zinni. So I have to look for Lumpy, he said, as he went to see the four more dinosaurs in the second room. That's what I said. It's not sunny because Mr. Steve's under the windmill. I looked. I think his sparkles all gone. My smoke box doesn't feel sunny. It feels stuffed up. Nasty fumes and danger diesel, hmm? And diesel was out of the lost engine. And if he finds her, we're going to show us all. What if the dangerous book is me? Yes, Gordon, even you. Carry on. Petrosaurus. Baby Parasaurus. Baby Parasaurus and Baby... Pachyrosaurus and Parasaurus, Baby Parasaurus and Baby Elodar are waiting for him. You're a young Lima, said Parasaurus. <clears throat> I know, said young Zinni, and I was wondering if Lumpy is in the first hotel room with the gang because he's got captured by Claire Deville and a tiger running through Tomorrowland Transit Authority. Mr. Guts Conductor tries to teach me how to stand out, out fishing out at our fishing not finding Nemo hotel room. And then goes off and goes to the art of animations. Young Paul Lima supervised Paralosaurus. I knew all about Lord Farquhar and Dag on the Matterhorn bobsleigh one. Crept into 42 animations find the Nemo Hill. I'll soon send him packing, young Zinni. was filled with... Emotion. Was filled with emotion. Admiration. Oh, admiration. Right, sorry. Was filled with admiration. He didn't know that Parasaurus was looking after baby Elodar. Pacrosonius and baby Parasaurus and sometimes didn't tell the truth. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the Finding Nemo ride, Adele and Mr. Conductor are trying to find Lumpy, but they could they couldn't find him, then they tried looking for him in the fish tank. But they still couldn't find him either. It's no good, I've lost my heifer lump sum, complained Mr. Conductor. I'll look at the fish, sighed Adele. They all so they all went to look at the fish as they began to say the sight see began to say the signs Darren Day 42 Art of Animation Finding Nemo Hotel said Adele proudly. <clears throat> I noticed you left your thinking cap behind. Try these instead. They're good for the brain. Gone fishing. Rabbit, says Mr. Conductor. They're all saying signs together. Let's do it together. Okay, what is it? Darren Day, 42, Art of anim Animation, Finding Nemo Hotel. I notice you left your thinking cap behind. Try these instead. They're good for the brain. Gone fishing. Rabbit, they said. And together, they looked at the fishes, stingrays, sharks, divers, seahorses, sea turtles, puffer fishes, jellyfishes, and a saw and a starfish lying down on the seabed. Adele and Mr. Conductor had never seen fishes in the aquarium before. Darren Day, 42, Art and Animation, Spider Nemo Hotel, from Classic Nursery Rhymes. I know that she left her thinking cat behind. Try these instead, they're good for the brain. Gone fishing rabbits.
So they might be really good idea if they could go underwater like a diver. So Mr. Conductor put on a diver's mask, helmet, snook snorkel, and a costume on to go underwater. So Mr. Conductor jumped through the magic glass and went under the water below the ocean. Wait for me, Mr. Conductor called Adele as she put on her mask, helmet, snorkel and costume and jumped through the glass and went under the water below. Beep! Adele and Mr. Conductor are pretending, are pretending they're swimming giant divers like finding Nemo in a deep blue sea. Well, said Mr. Conductor, it's so beautiful, said Adele. I love going underwater below, below, below between divers. Mr. Conductor looked down at the bottom of the seabed and saw starfish below, so together they all went down to look at the starfish. That night, young Zinni was talking to the herd of dinosaurs in the third room. Listen you, everyone, have you heard the news about Lord Farquhar and Dag on the bobsleigh? asked young Zinni. Yes, we know it, they said to each other. So, I heard if Adele and Mr. Conductor are going underwater to find an emo ride by the aquarium at night, said one of the herd, as they asked young Zinni all about Lumpy, who has got captured in the Finding Nemo Hotel of Disney's Art of Anim Anim Animation. So, if Lord Farquhar and Dad comes into the shed and Lumpy comes to distract them, hey, let, let's at the window and see you at night, said Jiang Zinni. So they went to look for Lord Farquhar and Dag on the bobsled ride out the window. Look, yelled Jiang Zinni, as they saw Lord Farquhar and Dag coming into the art of animations. Working in Disney, they sang Who We Live All Day. They went on, oh, we've been working in Disney, they sang Who We Live All Day. They went on as they crackled with joy. Who wants to work, live long day anyway? We've been working in Disney, who will live all day? <laughs> who wants to work and live long day anyway? Uh. Um. At the Art of Animation Hotel, uh, everyone was very quiet, so Lumpy come up to the shed outside while all Farquhar and Dad were waiting. Here it is, whispered Lumpy, as he saw Morph and Eakins come into the shed. Come in, come in, and join the party, evil Pokemon, said the, they said evilly. <laughs> hooray, hooray, we're going to have a party called Morph. I love parties, said Eakins, who's got the balloon, said Morph. I love balloons, smiled Eakins. What? Lumpy asked. Correct. Join the party. That's over, said Lord Farquhar. <clears throat> Just like Singer and Twinkle Toes, Art of Animation's going to be over, said Dad. But Lumpy didn't want to join the party anymore. He wants to distract them instead. <clears throat> Gone like the lost tune and the aquarium glass. This would lead them, said Lord Farquhar. And I'm going to Epcot to test, to go on test track, added Dag. So Morph and Eakins told them how to go to test track on the bobsleigh. You two, we're go well, you two, what are we going to do, asked Eakins. Oh yeah, it's, uh, how much could you get them, re oh, you two, what are we going to do, asked Eakins. Oh yeah, so how much you, could you get them, replied Morph. It's timely to f it, it's time to finally say put swing at stingers, twinkle toes, and claws out," said Dag. "Huh? Huh?" They whimpered. "This is a job," said Lord Farquhar. "Both for the boss," as they said as Dag snaps his teeth loudly. <coughs> I've got to delay them. I've got to distract them. <laughs> hissed Lumpy crossly as he blew his horns with a loud toot. <laughs> it's the old teapot! Half a lump! shouted Lord Farquhar. Quiet Wolf Leakin, smash him! shouted Dag as they wrecked the shed. 
Leave their hands. Watch out, they shouted. They groan, but then Dag bashed the roof with his hands. Poor hands, get back here, screamed Dag as Lumpy laughed and laughed. Who just scoffed, <laughs> who just scoffed off the claw hands? If you're going to do ants, you're going to do this, yelled Dag. Good show, laughed Lumpy, and he stomped away back into the Finding Nemo Hotel. Lord Farquhar, Dag, and the, and the bobsleigh ride and Wolf and Leakins are trapped. Uh, you mean to... Uh, you two, boss, did you mean to let the roof fall in? Asked Wolf uh, all the way to the Grumble Deakins. I always snapped, Lord Farquhar. I mean what I do, you rattle traps. Snarled Dag and moaned and groaned. <sighs> Mean what I do, you rattled traps. Next morning, back at Old Key West, Luke was watching Finding Nemo Disc 1 widescreen on the television. Mum, I love watching Finding Nemo Disc 1 widescreen at breakfast, said Luke. If I have to eat my toast and then I have to carry on watching so I could watch cars widescreen after Finding Nemo widescreen, just like my DVD player. So then I can watch another Finding Nemo disc too, full frame, before Brum, Crazy Chair Chase and other stories. On the television, just like California, see if I can watch 2013 Finding Nemo before Cars full screen on the television, added Luke to Mum. Of course, said Mum, and she makes some more toast for Luke. Later, back in the Finding Nemo ride aquarium, Adele and Mr. Conductor are both fast asleep under the water. <laughs> oh, it's really nice to go underwater, said Mr. Conductor in a bubbly voice. He was thinking about going Finding Nemo the musical. Well, you really should have seen him, said Adele in a bubbly voice. So she could hear some divers coming above the ocean, so they could see fish, stingray shark and a driver swimming beneath the ocean. Stingrays are swimming in the sea as they pass the and Mr. Conductor. They had never seen stingrays before, but then they saw some divers swimming by. The divers are playing with the stingrays and have some other fish. I wish I could be part of the world, added Adele, and I wish I could have a bounce on the cloud. No, no, grumbled Mr. Conductor. I don't think this is a good idea, lady, young lady. It's too thick, too soft and too dangerous. Because I'm going to fill out the sky, she ex Adele explained, I can be very careful. I can have a cloud bounce ray, she said. That's a good idea, Mr. Conductor. Come on, let's go and see what happens, he said together. And they went back to dry land. <coughs> At last, Adele and Mr. Conductor are back on dry land, but they saw what it was. Look at that. There's Test Track. You should be there in no time, he said. Come here, little guy, said Adele, greeting the cloud. Do you want to go over the bridge? Hey, come here, little guy, said Adele, greeting the, to the cloud. Do you want to come over the bridge and want to find Nemo ride and go to the underwater all night long, Mum and Mr Conductor, as Adele tried to reach the cloud to fill the air. I shall call him softly and she'll be mine, added Adele. And he shall be my softly, she said, and she'll talk in a baby voice. Come here, little softly bait, come here, little softy, she said in a baby voice. Come, little softy, come, baby, 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 baby. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my hand is cold. <laughs> <laughs> Say louder. Adele. 
that's a soft cloud call, Mr. Conductor. Bad softly. Bad softly, bad softly, snapped Adele. But then Mr. Conductor threw the cloud out of the way. Shoo, 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 get out of the way, he called. Come here, let me see, let me see, let me see. Try to touch Adele's hand. <sighs> don't touch, don't touch, don't touch, it says. I'm not going to touch it, I just want to look, said Mr. Conductor. Oh, Adele, oh. <sighs> Hey, how come it didn't shiver you? She shivered sadly. It did. Just hold still, he said to Adele. Oh, oh, shivered Adele. Her hand was very cold and chilly. I live on this anemone anyway, and I'm used to these kind of softs, he says. But I could, I got you. Ooh, 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 she shivered again, but her hand was still cold. It doesn't look better. You'll be fine, continued Mr. Conductor. But now, we, we now, don't we? We know now don't we it doesn't look uh... we now know don't we not to touch these again says mr conductor let's be thankful this time it was just a little one but then it happened uh-oh they screamed as the clouds grew bigger and bigger and... oh ah! they screamed as the clouds grew bigger and bigger and bigger even bigger <gasps> Don't move, whimpered Mr. Conductor, as the clouds started to grow even bigger. This is bad, Adele, exclaimed Mr. Conductor. Hey, watch this, she called. Boing, 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 boing. Boing, you boing, boing, me. boing. You can't catch me. Mr. Conductor was surprised. Adele, he shouted. Adele, don't bounce on the soft tops. They will not shiver you, he said. The soft tops, don't shiver that. Sit. Uh, Adele, listen to me. I have an idea, said Mr. Conductor. Again, he added. Again? Again? Oh, pick me, pick me. I love games, said Adele. Pick me. Now, here, the game continues, Mr. Conductor. Uh, hop as fast as you can out of these clouds. And then whoever wins, then someone wins, asked pathetically. Okay, she sits heartily. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, whoever can hop the fastest out of these clouds wins. Rules, 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 he continued. You can't touch the soft cloud, uh, only the soft tops, finished Miss Conductor. Okay, something about the softs finished Adele on the marks. Get set, go, she cried, and we're off. Shh, shh, wait, 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 wait. Now! No, 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 wait, 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 not something about, there's something about some Miss Conductor as we follow the Adele bouncing the clouds, raising each other. Whee, she cried. Whee! Fast, would you want to win? Adele called Mr. Conductor. Boing, 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 boing. She laughed as she carried on racing. <laughs> oh, Adele. <laughs> oh, wee, cried Adele. So, what she could get there? Asked Mr. Conductor. This we do. We're having fun at the same time, he said. Adele, I can do this. You must be careful. Yeah, careful. I don't make you cry, but I win, she cried. Oh, I don't think so, says Mr. Conductor as he carried on racing and bouncing. Adele laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> give it a Woo! go, give it a go. Final liaison, now it's built for speed, said happily. The question is, Adele, are you hungry, says Mr. Conductor. Hungry, said Adele, is about to eat my bubbles, he said, but he couldn't give up to win. Duck to the left, duck to the right. He panted until he made it to test track. <laughs> the conductor man is the winner, yelled Mr. Conductor happily as he made it through. Woohoo, we did it, look at us. But then suddenly dark clouds were gathering, but then it's starting to rain. <gasps> uh oh. Adele, said Mr. Conductor, but he saw her trapped in the clouds. Oh no, he cried Adele. Adele! Called Mr. Conductor, he raced back into the clouds. <laughs> Mr. Conductor found Adele, who has got caught by dark clouds. Adele cried Mr. Conductor as he grabbed Adele, and then, oh, oh! He screamed as he pulled her out of the thunder, was getting weak and tired and bad, and the clouds began to rain. Oh, oh dear, it's going to start to rain! I am dis discreetly moaned and Adele lazy. No, you're not. You're doing fine. You're actually winning, says Miss Conductor, but you're going to stay awake. Uh, now, where does Darren Day live? He asked, disqualified. 
Garanday 42, oh, Art of Animation, Finding Nemo Hotel, she said weekly. That's it, he called, as they raced out of the clouds. Die! You're fine, you're actually winning. Could you get a stay awake? Now, where's this picture of Pete Sherman, 42, Wallaby Way City. That's it, now! But suddenly, the thunder crashed and lightning flashed from beneath the clouds. Oh! He shrieked away. Stay awake, stay awake, stay awake, stay awake, he shouted as I got out of the dark clouds and it started to rain. Stay awake, stay awake, stay awake, stay awake, stay awake. Like Darren Day, 42, Art of Emanations, Finding Nemo Hotels, she said sleepily. Stay awake, Mr. Conductor. Weak as he began to sleep. Wake up, you lumpy, he said. Oh, Adele, stay awake. Oh as the rain poured down through Epcot. Meanwhile, back in the Finding Nemo hotel room, Lumpy was feeling very sorry for himself. Sometimes he could jam the bar filter, but sometimes he felt he had no energy or strength at all. You miss your dad, don't you, sharp bait heffalum? Asked Aladar the Iguanadon, said Lumpy the heffalum. Iguanadon. Iguanadon. As you can hear the sound of rain outside. Oh, would you look at that? There was someone looking for the other dog. He's looking for him. I'm scared of rides at the Space Mountain and Rock and Roller Coaster in Florida, sighed Lumpy. Suri, any movement, says Aladon. Inequality has four cops of copies. Gonna be soon, said Suri, and she carried on eating her bananas. Keep on them, says Aladar to Lumpy. My first escape. I'm only on my dentals. How comes if you're trying to get out, asked Lumpy. Oh, I've lost count, continued Aladar. His lion meant to be in a box, kid. It does, thanks to you. But as they were walking past the bathroom, there was Zizzy, Zinny, who was playing with bubbles in his bath. Hey, bubbles, I love assorted bubbles, said Zinny, as he carried on playing with his bubbles. Potty break, potty break, cried Zuri. But he's got Reader's Digest and he's got 22 minutes, she says. That's for shark bait, Heffalump, smiled Aladar. You can do it, kid, called Jar. OK, you're going to be quick, continued Aladar, once you get in and you swim down to the bottom of the chamber and I'll hook you the rest. OK, smiled Lumpy, go on and get me a piece of count finished, Aladar, and before long, Lumpy took a deep breath and went into the bath chamber. <gasps> Here we go! <clears throat> Soon as he reached the bath chamber, it looked beautiful with covering shimmering smoke and lights all around him. He jumped into the chamber spa and went inside. Nicely done, called Aladar. Do you hear me? He asked to Lumpy. Yes, said Lumpy inside. Here comes the bath plug, he called as he picked up the plug and threw it down the bath filter. The bath, the bath plug came down towards Lumpy and got it. You see, how now, do you see that small opening, asked Elador, who was pretending to be the shadow? Uh, uh, said Lumpy. Okay, inside you'll see a rotating, rotating magnet. Very carefully wedge the bath plug into the magnet to stop it buzzing and turning, added Elador. As Lumpy reached the magnet to stop buzzing and turning, it suddenly caught on his feet on the magnet. Ah! He screamed, easy, careful, sharp bait here for called Aladar. I can't do it, cried out Lumpy. Aladar, I don't think this is a good idea, added Zuri. You'll be fine. Try again, shouted Aladar. OK, says Lumpy, as he tried again. He reached the magnet for stopping it buzzing and turning. That's it, sharp bait here for lump. Says Aladar, nice and steady, but then it stopped buzzing and turning. 
I got it, I got it, cried Lumpy. He did it, that's great, kid, cried Aladar. Now swim up and the rectangle tube. Come outside, Aladar, and Lumpy swam towards the rectangle tube, but the bath plug is starting to come loose. Uh oh. <coughs> Lumpy walked over from the water spa and into the rectangle tube, but worse had come. Just as he got to the escape plug, suddenly came loose and the bath filter started up again, sucking Lumpy towards the magnet blaze. Uh oh! Crack! <coughs> Lumpy gasped with surprise. Oh no! Aladar, Aladar, he cried. Shark bait, Heffalum, Aladar! Cried. Oh my god, gasped Yar! Come out! Come out of it! Get out of there! Get out! Shouts out, oh, help here, Mutiny. What are we going to do, asked Nero. Oh, no, quite so easy. Jump down from the bed. Stay calm, kid. Just get in. Yelled out, as he grabbed the ropes to rescue him. Help me, cried Lumpy again. Shark bay heffalum, grab hold of this, called out, oh. So as Lumpy tried to reach out for the ropes. <laughs> but then suddenly the carnotaur roared towards Lumpy. <laughs> Roared the Carnotaur, who was pretending to be a shadow. That luxury, that Lumpy was very scared. No, no, ah, oh, screamed Lumpy. Feed me more, cried Aladar. That's it, cried Nero. Come on, Shark, but you have to grab hold of it. Grab it, yelled uh, Aladar again as Lumpy grabbed the rod with the ropes. His nose and mouth. Until at last. I got it, he yelled in a muffled voice. Pull! Uh, yelled Aladar, and they pulled Lumpy out of the rectangle tube and broke and break with a crunch until the other was free. Bump! Ow! They cried as they fell off and came tumbling down. Now everyone was squished and Yar was sad. Mmm, Yar said Zuri, don't make him go anywhere. No, we're doing, we're, we're doing, no, we're done, sighed Yar, sadly, as Lumpy was crying and got squished between the lemurs and dinosaurs. Now he's very sad. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, in Test Track, Mr. Conductor was feeling tired and left out. When he saw what was on the ride of Test Track, dude, he said in a singing voice, dude, focus, dude, dude, he said again, but Mr. Conductor was still feeling left out. But there he was, saw a strange sound coming, facing about Mr. Conductor. Saw Tigger, who was in the test track at Epcot. Oh, hi, alert. Hi, dude, called Tigger, who was coming from Winnie the Pooh in the Tigger movie. All grown Mr. Conductor, as he was looking weak and worn out in the clouds. Well, what's happened? He asked to Tigger. Oh. That's, uh, that's something of you do, Daddy Tigger. First you're right, woo, and uh, you're light, like, well, and then you're light, like, woo. But what I was talking about, Mr. Conductor, you, Minnie Man, taking all the clouds, taking on all the clouds, says Tigger. You called serious for issues, dude. Oh, oh, how awesome, said Tigger, as he saw Mr. Conductor. Feels left out of test track. Oh, oh, oh my stomach groaned. Oh, weakly. Oh man, hey, never let, let it, I'm sure that just came, wa that waxed it, said Tigger. So Mr. Conductor told Tigger all about Lord Farquhar and Dag on the, ma ma the Matterhorn bobsleigh ride from Disneyland in California. So Mr. Tigger, says Mr. Controller, oh, the, the, Mr. Tigger was mine from names. T I double G G G R spells Tigger, he said. I said T I double G R R. Tigger, really? He said. Okay, Tigger, continues the conductor, listening. I need to get to Disney's art of animation of the family suite of Finding Nemo. D A O A, said Mr. Conductor. Tigger laughed with joy. Ho 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 ho! <laughs> You're right in there. Check in there, said Do Tigger, as they watched the cars from Test Track. Test Track music playing.
Okay, carry on. But as they saw something in the distance, they saw some seagulls and fairies at the test track. So they were about to get ready and about to begin. So Tigger wound up for his whoopty whoopty loopty looper alley looper bounce to get ready. Shh. Listen. Okay, grab shoulders, dude, called Tigger, and they were off. Hold tight, he called Grab. Oh, scream, Mr. Skin Doctor. He screamed as he saw Adele scream in the distance. Yeah. Yell Tigger, stop! Shouted Mr. Conductor to begin to feel safe. Stop! Then Tigger come to a stop. So this brings you on the what? So what brings you out on a fine day to the DAOA? Asked Tigger. Well, Adele, I need to get to the Finding Nemo Hotel Art of Animation, said Mr. Conductor. Mr. Conductor gasped with surprise. Adele, Adele, was she all right? He asked in amazement. Well, oh, little blue light singer, said Tigger. She is something little blue light singer, he said. As he saw Adele sleeping in the test track car, Adele, 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 cried Mr. Conductor as he went up towards her. Adele, Mr. Conductor whispered to Adele, was so weak and tired that she made her sick of going fast in test track. Oh, I don't know, she moaned in a sad voice. I don't want to come to everyone, she whispered. Oh, I'm so sorry, sighed Mr. Conductor. This is all my fault. But it's my fault, Mr. Conductor, so quietly. But then Adele woke up with amazement. It says, 29, 30, ready or not? Here I come, she cried. She joined with the seagulls and fairies. There you are. And they said, hooray, they all cheered, catch me if you can, chanted Adele, and together they raced around Test Track inside the ride. The ride. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. The seagulls and fairies flew right through Test Track. Mr. Conductor had never seen chasing before as Adele's seagulls and fairies raced through the ride. Mr. Conductor laughed and laughed and laughed. He, Adele, he shouted, look at the seagulls and fairies playing a chasing game. He laughed up. Goo! Go, go, go! Said the other seagulls. As we conductor playing a throwing game of seagulls and fairies. But then suddenly there was a little strange thing coming towards him. Um, ooh, he wowed to fell onto his floor. Oh! Boom! Oh my goodness, cried Mr. Conductor as Tigger tried to hold on. Whoa, kill the master dude, said Tigger. Let's see what Rue does, flying and bouncing solo. But just then, little one came out the floor of Test Track. It was Rue. Whoa, he cried. Whoa, that was so cool. Hey, Dad, did you see that? Did you see me? Did, did you see what I did? I asked Tigger. You're totally rock, dude, cried Tigger, as Rue came up to Tigger. You so totally rock, Rue. <clears throat> okay, give me, give me your hand, says Tigger, as he slapped his hand. Noggin, said Tigger, as he touched the nose. Or on Roo. The pop they do, said to each other. Oh, intro Jelly Man Ospring, added Tigger. Ospring's Jelly Man, Jelly Sweet, said Roo. Totally, replied Tigger. But apparently, I must have done something, or I like it, replied Mr. Conductor. Um, dude, he said, you rock, dude, cried Rue excitedly, as he hit Mr. Conductor in the head by the nose. Wow, said Mr. Conductor, but his head wasn't badly hurt. 
Curl away, my son, says Tigger, as Rue bounced away. Oh, it's awesome. Jenny man, little dudes. Don't find eggs and found on the beach, hatched. And then cock and hoo They find their way back, and the big old blue, remember Tigger, by all of them. Cuckoo coo choo laughed Tigger, but, but dude, how do they know when they're ready? Asked Mr. Conductor. Well, you never not really know, but they know, but they'll know when they know. Asked Tigger, Mr. Conductor sighed as they watched the cars roaring on test track. <sighs> <clears throat> Adele giggled and laughed with joy. Hooray! You all know, said the fairies to the seagulls. Hey, look everyone, Adele called to Rue. I know that dude, it's the jelly man, chuckled Rue. Mr. Conductor chuckled with delight. Well, go on, jump on him, she cried. Yeah, jump, jump, jump on him, they yelled cheerfully. And together they jumped onto Mr. Conductor. Wow, 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 wait, 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 oh yeah, I mean the conductor to me fell off in surprise. You plotting? asked Rue. Yeah, where's the jelly man? asked the fairy. Well, but there's something I need to bring to Mr. Conductor. Are you running away? said the seagulls. Who can help the jelly, jelly cloud man? said another fairy. So it didn't sting you, said another seagull. But it really was a tomb. But wait, whoa, 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 one at a time, called Mr. Conductor. Mr. Conductor, did you die, asked Rue. Sorry, but a little bit of the details, said Adele. So where am I, where are you going, Rue asked. Well, you see, my son Heffalump was taken. My son Heffalump was taken away from me, said Mr. Conductor, to, to the others, Adele. The seagulls and the fairies were shot. No way. Adele grumbled. What happened? Asked the seagulls. Oh, no, 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 kids. I, um, I don't have to talk about it, grumbled Mr. Conductor. Oh, but he's going, but please. They chimed on to Mr. Conductor, and as they finished playing the chasing game of Brown Test Track, Mr. Conductor told Adele the seagulls and the fairies all about Lumpy, who has got captured by Cruella de Vil and a tiger behind her car, and he's got the Finding Nemo Hotel with a dinosaur gang. Oh, well, okay, so Mr. Conductor, and he began to tell the story about Lumpy. I live in Disney's old Key West Resort, along the way from here, said Mr. Conductor. Oh boy, this is going to be good, I can tell, added Adele. My son Heffalump Lumpty, he was mad because of me, continued Mr. Conductor. Well, maybe what I have done, if I hadn't been so tough on him, but I don't know, said Mr. Conductor, modestly. Anyway, he runs out onto the open street, and he's boring. When he runs out, when it's Krilla Deville's car and Tigger appeared, and I tried to stop him, but the car was too fast, so he ran out of Volky West, finished Mr. Conductor, and he began to tell the, all about the theme parks. Tiger! Tiger. He couldn't stop him, rude to the kids, and then Lumpy's dad went after him to the theme parks of Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot. And he was going to be free, he said. And you know, there were lions and he scared away the lions. They blew them up, said Dad to Mum. Oh, that's amazing, says Mum. And then he's coming straight down into the attack, said the boy. And it looks like a wicked tag. And you can see a thing that a girl's gone back, said the boy. And the only thing I'd come straight down the line was picking its teeth, said another boy who was playing a sword fight. But a lion has got, in a, got a razor sharp teeth, said another. That's nice coming out there, said the boy. And then he was encountered back into the Animal Kingdom theme park today. A cast called from Marie Marlin at the Finding Nemo the musical was getting ready to get changed into its costumes from the theme parks today. Another cast member called Nemo of the Disney's Art of Elimination of Finding Nemo Hotel. He said they carried on getting changed until they were ready. It's the only way to maybe honest be going in there, said the dragon, as he talked to the other dragons, the evening all changed that night. 
Because the Finding Nemo Hotel Family Suit for the Master of the Day said not Spider-Man that night, that it means like thousands of guys going to stop him, but only telling all about his son Heffalum, said Falcon. Sure, I might be one thing to do without any counts, but that's Mr. Spider-Man, as they talked about all about Lumpy, who was in the Finding Nemo Hotel. Early next morning, there was something to find, nothing had changed. The monkeys were chattering their funny names. Chattered the monkeys. Oh, would you just shut up, shouted Spider-Man. You're rats of wings. Oh, would you just shut up? But he was looking for his heffalump boy Lumpy, said Falcon. He was from Stuart Little too. Lumpy said Spider-Man was taken from this is Old Key West Street by Quilla de Ville and the tiger. And he's gone away, said Falcon. Yeah, take it you're happy, yelled Spider-Man as he threw the little dragon into the Finding Nemo Hotel. Hey, 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 say that again. He's just telling about Lumpy, but that was it, asked Spider-Man as the monsters began to fly the little dragon away. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ha, ha, they all shouted as, light, as a little dragon flew away to tell the other dragons. Oot, oot, said the monkeys. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ooh, yeah. ooh. Last, last that I heard, he's heading towards the Finding Nemo Hotel, finished Falcon. Aha, uh -huh, brilliant, laughed Spider-Man as he swung away to the Finding Nemo Hotel. Oh, brilliant! A few days later, back in the field Finding Nemo Hotel, Lumpy was feeling left out as he looked at a picture of Saskia Mary from the Inclusion Project 2019. Oh, is he doing okay, said Nira. I don't know, but whatever you do, don't mention DAY, said Bruton. It's okay, I don't want to, don't want. I'm talking about, said Lumpy. Sadly, as soon as he slapped Aladar in the face, Slap. Lumpy came over to know to Crone and Yar and they're finding Nemo back. Crone and Yar whispered to Lumpy as they came up to the bed and Yar whispered again as he climbed into the bed. Hey, sharp bait here for Lumps of Crone. I'm sorry I couldn't stop them, Lumpy. Whispered sadly. Lumpy feels left out. Yeah. No, I'm the one who should be sad, should be so sorry, said Yar. I was ready to go, so ready to taste my food, said Crone. I was wondering to put you in a, in a question, a way to get this whispered for you far. Should be like that, I'm sorry I couldn't get your back to him, said Yar, but Lumpy wasn't so sure. But just then, Spider-Man come up to the Finding Nemo Hotel window. Oh, all right, panted Spider-Man as he bumps into the window. Hey, 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 he panted. Bump. What the? He yelled as he pulled his hoof out of the man. Oh, 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 said the man. Oh, well, that's, I wonder why he pulled a tooth out, laughed Darren Day as he came up to the window. Oh, you darn kids. Well, good thing I pulled the right water. I've been given, said Darren Day. Hey, hey, hey. If I said, what the? Oh, well, Spider Man. Oh, that's uh, what Dave. <laughs> As she jumped up to him. Oh, has he loosened a very little big of the very late again, said Spider Man, as he came up to the others. Um, what am I talking about? Lumpy said to Spider Man. Where's Lumpy? But who's, who needs to speak with him, he said. What? What is it? asked Lumpy. You asked to find the Art of Elimination Resort looking for all last Spider-Man. My conductor father? Really? asked Lumpy to Spider-Man? Really? Oh yeah, he's travelled hundreds of miles, Spider-Man. He's been baking, fighting with lions, bouncing, rain clouds and all sorts of things. Lions? asked Lumpy. It can't be him. 
Is Shawkins Spider-Man? Or his last name? Some sort of small tunes, but you know that. Tramp, he asked. Trout. Trout. Take louder. Trout, he asked. Mr. Conductor says, Lumpy, that's it. Mr. C, the big human in Florida said, Spider-Man, that's my dad. He took on the lions, Lumpy quite excitedly. I know, he took on three, says Spider-Man. They said those lions are going to be up to 100 feet, says Odal. He's thinking of it or was taking him back. His dad followed Chuck the car, but before he remained, replied Spider-Man. Really, says Lumpy, as Spider-Man told Lumpy about Mr. Conductor. Mania. Mm. Carry on. He's running and he's running and he gives up his all he's got through the behind the counter. Lions and catch him and he blows them up. Continued Spider-Man. He ties up thousands about chasing about leaves with huge teeth. And he tries to blow them up into tire bouncing clouds, blankets, and now running to test track to disarm the animation the world thing is heading this way right now. The Finding Nemo Hotel. Wow, wow, that's great, says Pilo. I know this one. That's what I used to say. He's running and he's running and he's giving up. Give, he's running and he's running and he's giving up all this gone. Through to behind the counting lines and capturing him. And he blows them up. Put him, the ties he, his thousands about, and his chasing by a niece with a huge teeth as he tries to run them up. But he tries to burn them up into entire of bouncing clouds, blankets, and now he's running to test track and the word to Disney's to the Disney's Art of Animations and the word from the thing is heading this way right now to find the Nemo Hotel! Ooh. But what are you looking for after all? You sharp bait here for Lump, asked Zinni. Everyone gasped for surprise. Lumpy grabbed another bath plug and ran all the way back to the bath filter again. <gasps> He's running to the bath filter, yelled Dima. Oh, sharp bait, you're gonna die. Here for not again, called yo. As Lumpy jumped into the bath filter, Alaba called out. He cried, tried to stop him, but sharp bait, yeah, for Lump. He cried as he tried to stop him, but he couldn't. No, Nira cried, you've got to. Your whole life ahead of you now. The old Zinni. Oh, cried, yeah. We'll help you, kid. Nephilim called in Aladar and together they tried to stop Lumpy from jamming the bath filter. As Lumpy tried to jam the bath filter again and the dinosaur lion has got the ropes to rescue Lumpy. Ah, growled Nira. Get him out of here, she called. Come on, kid, Heffalon, grab the, grab the end, shouted Aladar, and the bath filter began to stop. Nima gasped. Shark bait, Heffalon, cried Nima. Let's get you out of here, yelled Yar. Now you can hear me, shark bait, Heffalon, says Nima. Lumpy, can you hear me, yelled Aladar. Yeah, I can hear you, said Lumpy. Everyone was surprised. He found Lumpy Aladar and the other so cheered. Shark bait, Heffalump, you did it, cheered Aladar, and he thanked Nira for all their help. Zinni hugged Lumpy and saw him covered in gems on his body. Oh, Shark bait, Heffalump, you're covered with gems. Ah, cried Zizzy, run back. Covered with gems. Zuri laughed and laughed and laughed. I'm a sneer. Ha, ha, ha. You kids, Heffalump smiled, didn't he, as he was going to the watch television for going on the rides at Magic Kingdom, and Ella began to say, some plants? Plans. No oh, plans. Ah! You're coming with John! Ah! Oh. All right, then. We have less than $48 before Saskia gets here, said Ella So we have to watch Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad going to on the rides at Magic Kingdom. And if you do that, this room... We'll get plenty of dust in that hotel room, but we'll have to help that long anyway. We came, young Zinni, with no cleaning, he said. I shall resist, young Zinni said, as he came out of the bath. And into the other room. Anybody else, I said, Adar? 
it's gross as possible. Think dirty thoughts. We're going to make it. This room's so filthy, the dancer will have to clean it and finish our door. Rah, rah, Bruton. Good work, said Al Aladar, Lumpy. Ugh. Chuckle with delight as they both sat down and watched TV at the Finding Nemo Hotel. Hey, let's watch Trash Track. Here we go. Shh, shh, shh. All right, we're here, dude. You ready? Your exit is coming up. Called Tigger. Well, if I don't see you, promise me that. So, all right, there, I see it. The old Adele. You need to swallow my vortex of terror, says Miss Conductor to Tigger. That's it, dude, Tigger, of course. There's a Miss Conductor kindly. Okay, first continue, Tigger. Find your exit, buddy, as Miss Conductor hugged Adele. Twits on, do you have your exit, buddy? Oh, Tigger. Yes, cried Adele. Okay, Roo. You'll have to run down our proper exit technique, added Tigger. But just then, Roo appeared from the car. Good afternoon, we're going to have a great job today. Okay, right up to the rock until you're against the wall. This is the art of emanation to the rock on the member. Rip it, roll it, and punch it, called Room. I think he's trying to speak to me, I know it. And you know, we're really cute, but I don't know what you're saying. Just say the first thing again, replied Mr. Conductor, as he went to the final test, test of the track and it opened. The windows and the wind coming in and it went around test track at 80 miles an hour. Oh, come on, now. Okay, gentlemen, go, 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 Here we go! And they swung all around the rooftop. Woo! Woo! Oh! 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 That was fun, said Mr. Conductor. I actually enjoyed that, he said, as they saw seagulls and fairies go by. Hey, look, seagulls and fairies, yelled Adele. Ah, most excited, laughed Tigger. Hoo hoo hoo! <laughs> now your turn, humans. Around the arms, around you walk straight off and go for the art of emanation. No worries, man, called Tigger. No worries, thank you, dude, called Tigger. Call Mr. Conductor, bye bye, they called to say I have to do something fun. You know, take a little dude with Duran. Finish, Tigger. See you later, dudes. Called Rue. Bye. See you later, dudes. 
by everyone called Adele as they wave to Tigger, Roo, Seagulls and Fairies goodbye. But I don't know what I love the most, Mr. Conductor, Mr. Conductor. And oh, hey, Tigger, Tigger, I forgot to ask, how old are you, asked Mr. Conductor? 150 years, dude. Disney's Art of Emanation was all rock on. He, uh, rock he was, on. Like, bounced down, flew them out of sight. Tigger was 150 years old. 150? 150. I've got to remember that, said Mr. Conductor happily. Wow, said Adele, as she saw the Walt Disney Art of Animation was all far, far away from Epcot. Are we going in there, she asked. Yep, finish, Mr. Conductor. Darren Day, 42, Art of Animations, Finding Nemo Hotel, inquired Adele expectedly. Yep, we are going just to walk straight, said Miss Conductor, and together they went across the Epcot and into Walt Disney's Art of Emanation to find Lumpy in the Find the Newman Hotel. But as they were walking to the Art of Emanation, they saw Lord Farquhar and Dag on the bobsleigh coming towards them. Listen. Uh-oh. Um. Hello, both Twinkle Toes and Singing Toes. Remember me, said Lord Farquhar, as he saw Adele, Mr. Conductor, coming closer and closer. And I have much to pr produce for you. If you could like that, said Dag, as they both laughed. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Fair hat, won't have those shoes for you. Looking like that! <laughs> but then, oh no, it was quite as it fell to the ground. Oh, I see you forgot to bring it, should, should, and I care yourselves with the evil Lord Human. Oh, I see you, Anna Duff forgot to bring a sugar. <laughs> Say hello to me, and Farquhar said he from Coyotes, who jumped onto the bobsleigh and went up into the air and came over the gorge. Here we oh. go! Oh, that cry. Oh. <laughs> they laughed together. OK, Twinkle Toes, Singing Toes, I know all about your sun heft lumps, said Dag. As Mr. Conductor and Elle were looking down at the water, who says? That's what sort of dream is coming true, said Mr. Conductor in echo voice. The water next to the bridge. Me too, and Elle quivered, with said Adele, because of scared, scaredness. My sun heft lump is finding Nemo Hotel to meet the game of dinosaurs. Here's the dinosaur, Mr. Conductor. Quivered, Adele quivered, shivery. All I know about Walt Disney Art of Animation, said Lord Farquhar, and when I find that sun, Heffalum, but you won't need it anymore, and if you don't get lost... So if you don't mind, you can find your son Heffalum. You and all those tomb balls would be... There's nothing added, Dad. <coughs> you and all those tombs <coughs> will be history. Now tell me where your heffalump is. Now, shouted Farquhar. Mr. Conductor laughed and laughed and laughed as Spider-Man arrived. <laughs> <laughs> you could get ten seconds, yelled Dag. Oh, quite a mess. And he jumps into the air with surprise. So Lord Farquhar and Dad counts to ten seconds. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight, they said. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. It didn't last long as Spider-Man pushed the ball, gongs and swung into Adele and Mr. Conductor. <laughs> Two. Too late for our quad called Mr. Conductor. Bang went the gongs. cried Dag as he saw Mr. Conductor and they'll throw high into the air. Both screaming. Oh! Today, Diesel! Oh! Whoa! They screamed as they landed in water. Splash went the water. They landed and ended up in a typhoon lagoon. Mr. Conductor could not believe his eyes as they hear the Beach Boys music playing outside.
Did you put it, all of this, did you put all this here for me? He asked. I don't know, said Adele. But you must have known when I was coming how kind of you laughed, Miss Knutza. Oh, yes. So it said Adele, as she explained to Mr. Knutza, how they could get changed into swimming costumes. But then a voice rang out. You two, time to get ready. How kind of you. Oh, I met another human, said Mr. Knutza. And that's what I call a perfect landing in the water. So come on, let's go and get changed into our cozies tomorrow. And together they went into the shop, get ready for tomorrow morning. Yes. That night back at Old Key West, Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad are in the villa watching... Later that night back in Old Key West, Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad are in the villa watching robots widescreen on television. Luke has got the subtitles on DVD, but then he noticed that the label was writing on the list. It says... The See Me song was cut due to copyright this, this, to this American DVD as Luke read the label. He goes, The See Me song was cut due to copyright to this American DVD. Which is a recording on his phone. The See Me song was cut due to copyright to this American DVD so Luke thought it would be a good idea if he had to get a drink of milk from the fridge. But Luke was watching Dinosaur on DVD player with both formats of widescreen and full screen. But Luke is watching Dinosaur widescreen. So we have to watch a full screen version at breakfast tomorrow morning. And Dad can watch a full screen format of robots tomorrow too. So Luke carried on drinking milk. Carry on. Meanwhile, back in Typhoon Lagoon, Adele and Mr. Conductor were sleeping on both sides of the bed in the first aid room. Mr. Conductor was sleeping in the first aid bed and Adele was sleeping on the first day, or sleeping on the other first aid bed. They're thinking about going on the Crush's Cush, Gusher slide. The two of them can have a race down the slide and someone who's going to win. Mr. C, are we going on Crush and Coast, a water slide race so we can win? Asked Adele. Yes, said Mr. Conductor. I do. And so they went to sleep thinking about going on the water slide races. The next morning, back in the Finding Nemo Hotel, Lumpy was going to watch Adele and Mr. Conduct Conductor going in the wave machine at Typhoon Lagoon at the Walt Disney Water Park. Ah, this is the life. We can all watch the Typhoon Lagoon at Walt Disney World in Florida on TV, said Zuri. Yes, indeed, said Zinni, but young Zinni is coming to join in to watch Typhoon Lagoon on television. Luke is watching robots on full screen format on the television at Old Key West. Full screen. Full screen format on the television at Old Cold Key West, and he is watching Dinosaur full frame format at breakfast, said Zinni. Shh, here he comes, he whispered. Just then, young Zinni arrived from the other room. Hello, said young Zimmy, who was speaking in a French voice. Hello, said Zimmy. Am I coming to join in? What's Typhoon Lagoon with Adele and Mr. Conductor? So Zimmy told Zimmy all about Lord Farquhar and Dag on the bobsleigh ride. <coughs> From Disneyland in California. The Spider-Man was swinging behind the monkeys and behind Lord Farquhar and Dag in the Matterhorn bobsleigh, who went through space bouncing like Brum Crazy Chair Chase. And they were very, 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 very scared in the space ride. <coughs> so everyone thought it would be a good idea if they could watch Typhoon Lagoon on the television in the Finding Nemo Hotel. But Dad, I've got Brum Crazy Chair Chase right here. Ooh, wow. I think I've watched that at Disney. Oh, cool. So young Zinni grabbed the remote and turned the telly on to the power and together they all watched Typhoon Lagoon. <clears throat> a few days later, Mr. Conductor... Hey, and welcome to Disney's 
Here we go, wave machine. Carry on. A few days later, Mr. Conductor and Adele are going into the swimming cousins and went into the wave pool machine. <coughs> oh, this is great, young lady, small Mr. Conductor. It's nice and cool. Yes, said Adele. It's nice and beautiful and cool, wasn't it, sir? Yes, it was, he said. The waves have started, Adele called Mr. Conductor. Yes, yes, it says Mr. Conductor, but the ship is coming closer and closer and closer. And even closer, he said. Oh, yes, sorry, it said Adele. And she saw Lumpy, Eladar, Emar, Bailey, Earl, Nira, Broton, Crow, Pilo, Yar, Zuri, Zuri, and Yenzi to see reflection on the television screen. The wave pool rose higher and higher.
Oh, oh, they yelled. Splash went in the water. Let's look at that, sir. They all got scared. <gasps> wow, that was scary, wasn't it, sir? She said. <laughs> Yahoo! That was fun, Mr. Conductor. And look, there's my son, Heffalump. He called. He saw Lumpy on the television screen. Hello, Dad called Lumpy, who was on the TV. Did you like Typhoon Lagoon? Yes, I love Typhoon Lagoon. And we love the wave pool, said Mr. Conductor modestly. But as a matter of fact, we're throwing away and escaping by, Lord, by, by the Lord Monster. Me too, said Adele. And we are caught by a coyote monster. So I love the wave pool machine, so we can do it again, finished Adele. So they waited for Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad to come to Typhoon Lagoon. Later that day, Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad arrived at Typhoon Lagoon to pay a Disney ticket to go on the wave pool. <coughs> Luke has got his swimming trunks and his swimming goggles to go on the waves machines and go on the water slides. Um, Fine. That's uh, right. Uh, where are we? Whoa. And go on the water slides. And can I have free tickets for Typhoon Lagoon at the water spots, please? Luke asked to the man. Yes, please, said the man as he gave free tickets to Luke. Joe and Mum, so Dad thought if he could get five tickets to the man. Uh, excuse me, can I have five tickets for Typhoon Lagoon at the water parts, please? He asked, certainly, said the man, and he gave five tickets to him, and they went to the wave pool to put on suntan cream on their body. Meanwhile, Adele and Mr Conductor were still in the wave pool as they watched Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad having their suntans on their body. So just as Mr Conductor and Adele are watching, <coughs> the family put in on suntan lotion. Then they heard a strange booming noise.
when the waves was a special as this conductor Adele. Now we're soaking wet. Just then, Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad came into the wave pool. Splash! To play with Adele and Mr. Conductor. Meanwhile, back at the Art of Anime animation of, animation of Finding Nemo Hotel, Lord Farquhar Dag had more Phoenikins. How to stop being stupid. Told them how to stop being stupid. Yeah, too, boss. How much do you like you two tunes escape? Hmm. Asked Eakins, who was in the drop off calf. Yes, it's Wolf. Oh, that, um, well, I did it on purpose, pondered Lord Farquhar. And I was taster water of the calf. I drink my bottle of water on his calf, he said. Good escape, added Dag. But my Lord Fat Hat won't have much use for you. But I see Aladar forgot to bring his sugar chuckled. Dag as Lord Farquhar carried on drinking water. Liar, liar, pants on fire, laughed Wolf, because it's always funny. How could I take a drink? Our milk, said Eakins. All right, shouted Lord Farquhar. Play time over, you two Pokemons. Uh, um, they said. Uh oh. Uh oh. Say it louder. Uh oh. Now it's time for the next lesson, Lord Farquhar, said to Dag. I colours re replied, Dag how to stop being stupid but it was not nice for long flour poured out of the power and landed all over Lord Farquhar Oh, He said as the metal hole bobsled jerked forwards, poured out the bucket and landed all over Dad. Laughed Lumpy. Splash! Laughed Eladar. Dag was covered in water, and now he was wet all over. Oh, oh well, then let's get a, a ruin of our face. You off, groaned Lord Farquhar. And Dag. Oh, oh, they're covered in flour and water. Oh, oh no. Later back in the room, Lumpy was still watching the telly of the Typhoon Lagoon with Adele. Mr. Mr. Conductor and the Cooper family in the wave pool who greeted to them and Luke told him how to find his son Heffalump. Lumpy. Well, said Lumpy happily, I love watching Typhoon Lagoon on television because it's fun to me. Good, smiled Aladar. Now, from now on, I love watching Typhoon Lagoon in the family suite at Finding Nemo. <coughs> yes, said Sidney. It was lovely to watch Typhoon Lagoon in the room, but just then they heard a strange sound from the background of the television. The waves are coming towards them. Watch out, the waves are coming, cried Lumpy as they watched the waves coming towards them. Look out, everyone, called Lumpy as the waves splash all over them. Lumpy, think it was very funny? Lumpy giggling. <laughs> the waves are so funny, wasn't it, Zinni? Yes, it was, added Zinni. And look, there's a conductor and a singer lady. They're going on to the water slides, said Zinni. And together they carried on watching Typhoon Lagoon on the TV. Wait for it, here we go.
A few days later, Adele and Mr. Conductor arrived at Crush and Gusher. They have three water slides, each end up at the water slides. They have coconuts, pineapple, and banana, which have pictures of some of the food. Lumpy was still watching television. <coughs> well, look at that. Crush, crush and Gusher water slide, Lumpy said with amaz uh, amazement. Look at the size of that, he cried. Yes. There he said, Aladar, crush and gusher is good for us to go on, the walker slides, he said. Ema, Bayline, Earl, Nima, Bruton, Crone, Pilar, Yar, Zuri, Zinni and Young Zinni couldn't believe that they were seeing what they were seeing to go on crush and culture, Mr. Conductor and Adele. Nonsense, said Zinni, there's nobody else to go on the water slides, they're going to go on crush and culture, last Zinni. Wolf and Ekins are going to go on Crush and Coaster Pineapple. Wow, Crush and Coaster. Look at the size of it. Gusha. Marvel Studios. I just don't know. Adele and Mr. Conductor thought it would be a very good idea if they could have a slide race with Wolf and Ekins. What's that? He asked. What's this? Uh, it's Wolf and Ekins, said Mr. Conductor. The two evil Pokemon came round towards Gush and Crush and gusher. Hello, you two, they said. Ah, they screamed. Oh, my goodness, said Adele. Ah! Hello, you two, Pokemon, she said. So I'm coming on, on Crush and Gusher water slide race with us. <coughs> Asked Mr. Conductor what to sleep. Yes, please, said Morph to Elkins. Of course. We love slide racing, jeered Elkins. Ekins, even. It would be great fun to go on the, the Coconut Crush for Mr. Conductor. Banana crush for Adele and a pineapple crush for me, a morph, added Eakins. Oh yes, said Mr. Conductor, so I can go on the coconut crush up here. Good, the pineapple crush because it's so, supposed to be up here, replied Mr. Conductor. So together they went up the stairs to have the slide race. Oh yeah, slide race, I'm exciting. There's the coconut one and there's the banana one. Adele can go on the banana, uh, first Mr. Conductor can go on the Coconut Crusher. Adele can go on the Banana Blaster. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Then Morph and Ekins can go on the Pineapple Plunger to have a water slide race to see who was the fastest <coughs> to win until we get to the bottom. Right, I'm ready to go, replied Adele. I'll tell you what, young lady, why don't we have a slide race down to the bottom wins? added Mr. Conductor. Yes, I love slide racing, exclaimed Adele. But explain yourself, Mr. Conductor. Morph and Ekins are ready to go, said Mr. Conductor. We want to race <coughs> to the bottom, exclaimed Morph. So, are you ready? You three? Yes, we are. Mercy, please remain seated in the tube and hold on there. The starting lane was at the top of the slide. So the man pressed the button until they were off. Oh, I'm 
his father, the winter slope's fast. Whee! So he bumps the finish line at the bottom of the slide. They cry, splash, but the pin of the water for Mr. Conductor to lose the race. That was fun, says Mr. Conductor, now I have to find my son, Dickie. Look. <coughs> Second. <coughs> First, Mr. Conductor. Yeah. Second, Adele. Oh. Third, Wolf. Oh. Second, Adele. Yeah. Third, Wolf. And Eakin. Can we do it again? Both third. Yeah, both third. Yes, it was, said Adele. Let's do it again. As they go, went on the water slide again. Wolf and Eakins have both come third, so they thought that it might be a good idea if they can do it again. Yeah, both come third. That was cool, said Morph. Yes, it was, said Eakins. Are we going to do that again? <clears throat> Scar says, tombs are friends, laughed Morph. Not food, replied Eakins, and he went, went off to do it again. Me and Eakins come both third. Yeah. Woo! That's crazy. <coughs> mm. <laughs> Later that day, back at Animal Kingdom, Scar was talking to the cast people. How do you find Nemo the Musical to use Lumpy with his new video camera? Well, it's a lovely sunny day, said the human cast, who was going to be the mer be Marlin for the show today. It was so exciting to play a Finding Nemo show, said another human cast, who was going to be Nemo for the show. I think Lumpy was in Finding Nemo Hotel, said the cast lady, who was going to be Dory for the day. Well, it's only if we could get their puppies puppets ready for the Nemo show, said the cast man, who was going to be G Gil. And if you see fish puppets, they can move their mouths and their eyes and move their and talk swim in their head. <coughs> to Scar. And if Lord Farquhar and Dad are going to save Lumpy from the Finding Nemo Hotel, said Scar. Yes, Scar, even you said humans can't cast. But then some puppies arrived from Epcot. upon the star <laughs> they yipped as they arrived at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park hello said the puppy we're going to find the Nemo the musical yes we love finding Nemo the musical yips happily so listen all of you can continue Scar there are puppet fishes out everywhere so everyone can be puppet voices said Scar <coughs> to the human cast so can I be Marlin to hold the puppy and you be Nemo, said the human cast. Of, of course, said Lover. <coughs> so they remembered they had to pick up some fish puppets and have to play them at the show. So first we're going to sing in the big blue world in the, the show, just like Finding Nemo ride. Adele and Mr. Conductor go on the clam, so Lumpy can use his video camera to see him singing. Dancing and playing all day long in the theatre to hear the music or find a new mo show. <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> can you remember that young man at his skull? Yes, I can, but I have to get the Nemo puppet out of the holders. As long as we play together, we will always be the, be the same, same, said the human cast. So we have to sing in the big blue world to the music until Lumpy can use his video camera to video to the start of the show, he said to the puppets. Yeah. Yes, said the puppies, and they got ready to play with their fish puppets to show who they're waiting to begin. Sweeper came passing by, chuffing down the floor and went... Just then, a sweeper came passing by and chuffing down the floor and went through Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. Wow, did you see that? asked the puppy. Yes, said it. Another, it went chuffing through Animal Kingdom. It sounds like a sweeper who chuffs like a steam train, says Scar. It might be something about someone else for a change. He'll be surprised. As much as I feel, if you do with Morph and Eakins, who says tombs are not friends, who are friends, not food? Nonsense, said a human car sweeper. Is to speak sweeper to hear a chuffing sound. Tunes are friends, not food. Yeah. 
who was based on a speak well, he said. So come on, let's get ready for the show to start the fish puppets. I waited for them to start. And together they went into the show to get their fish puppets. Carry on. Disney Pixar presents Finding Nemo the Musical. A few days later, back at the Finding Nemo Hotel, Lumpy was so excited to use the video camera to do Finding Nemo the Musical that Lord Farquhar and Dad can join in the surf on the EAC on the Matterhorn bobsleigh. So Lumpy thought it would be a good idea if he could film the cast and play the Find and Nemo the musical and the video camera. So he went into the bar filter and filmed the review. Lumpy arrived at the bar filter spa with the... So as Lumpy arrived at the bar filter spa with his video camera, wow, look at this view of the crowd of the people looking for Find the Nemo show. I'm going to video that in the theatre where the two sea turtles are speaking in the EAC who everyone says to the crowd Lumpy had never seen Sea Turtle announcer before, but he was videoing the show. Lumpy laughed and laughed and laughed, and from that day on, star puppies in the crowd didn't seem to mind very much. Meanwhile, back in the room, Suri and Zilly were watching Finding Nemo the Musical on the other television, on their beds, and Lumpy was filming Finding Nemo the Musical with video camera in the bar filter spa. The show was about to begin. I'm so excited to watch Finding Nemo the Musical, said Zilly, and we like to watch it because we're young. We're because young Zilly is still watching Typhoon Lagoon. On the television in the living room, so we have to wait and see, said Zuri. Of course, added Zilly. If Lord Farquhar and Dad are still on the matter on Bob's way, I'm coming to do Crush and Sea Turtles for the AC, the East Australian Current. I see. We should think of his son, Heffalon, who was videoing the cast of the people. Oh, I did not forget him, laughed Zuri, Zinni. Of course, we must watch it together. Yes, smiled Zuri, and together they watched it proudly to present Finding Nemo the Musical. So, Dad, Saskia is coming in five days until tomorrow. Right. On Friday. Okay.
He might start in a minute. What's that one? Ladies and gentlemen, we're proud to present for the new Money Musical. Yeah! Here we go! playing in the show. Thank you. 
Mmm, yummy bananas, delicious. Thank you. 
Where's my dad playing? Wanna hug a Lukey, 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 wanna Yeah. 
Darren Day, 42 Art Animations by the Nemo Hotel. Jellyfish. Here we go. Well, do you? I don't know anything so much special about teams of friends. Stop 
Not my dad playing reprise. Playing. Here we go. Yeah, 
One more song! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, look at that bubbles, they're beautiful. Ooh, they're wonderful. Final, final music begins. Go with the flurry prize playing. Wait, 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 wait. More bubbles, wow, well, look at that. Yeah, At last, the show was over and Lumpy turned off the recorder and video camera. Music ends. At last, the show was over and Lumpy turned off the recorder and video camera. Well, that was great fun with videoing, finding Nemo the musical for the full show on my camera, said Lumpy. I must tell Zuri and Zinni all about it, he said. From, the, from then on, Lumpy walked out of the spa and went up out of the bar filter and went back into the Finding Nemo hotel room. Yeah. What so, a happy ending. So Zinni and Zuri saw Lumpy come up beside them. Hello, you two. I'm back. I've made the full film of Finding Nemo the musical for a full show on my camera. Lumpy said happily, greeting to each other. Well done, Heffalump, said Zinni now. You're very clever to film the Finding Nemo live on stage show, he said. Very useful, said Zuri. I love filming the show, says Lumpy proudly. You see, Lumpy continued to Zinni. Young Zinni is going to the other room to meet the other dinosaurs. And Lumpy gave Zuri and Zinni a hug. Love you, Zuri and Zinni, smiled Lumpy. We love you too, Lumpy, he said sweetly. Ah. Meanwhile, back in the next room, young Zinni was telling all the dinosaurs all about Lumpy video in Finding Nemo the musical on his camera. Hello, young Lima, said Jitty. Who was Aladar's mother? You lucky, you're lucky. You had to got Sapphire coming to this year on Friday. I think Adele and Mr. Conductor can go on Space Mountain and Rock and Roll Coaster, and then they can find his son Heffalump to Disney Art of Animation, said young Zinni. Lumpy says he would love video and find him in a musical in the theatre, he says. The Carnotaur looked at the raptors. Well, told him about Lord Farquhar and Dag. Even a lima as little as me, asks young Zinni. And why do you have to see Baby Adador on herd? Yes, young Zinni. 
even you said, JT, so if Farquhar and Dad go on the bobsay while from California, then Mr. Conductor couldn't find his son, Heffalump, either. But the herd didn't want to listen to Young Zinni's story about the son, Heffalump, so he speaks in a French accent. So you're always video conducting going on Space Mountain, and Ziri and Z can video Adele uh, going on Rock and Roll Costa, starring Aerosmith, and speaking in a fair love lump, you can watch Mr. Conductor going on Space Mountain, Adele going on Rock and Roll Costa, and they love, and you can love us tender young Z. Parasophilus and Babe Parasophilus sat down to watch Mr. Conductor going on Space Mountain on the Space Shuttle. Adult Paris Olivers. Adult. Zinni speaks, said, said Zinni speaking, he speaks in a French voice. Oh. And in Zinni. A few days later, Mr. Conductor got back to his normal clothes. He's standing in the queue, getting ready for Space Mountain. What happened? Where's my son Heffalump? Asked Mr. Conductor. Because he's supposed to be, well, I completely lost my sense of direction, he said, indignantly. The worst was to come. A petrodonum and a petrodactyl was going to play a trick on the carnotaurs and the raptors. So if the space shuttles are getting ready to be like crazy chair chase, but he wants to find his son Ephelon, said the Parasaurus, who was playing a trick on Baby Aladar. Baby Aladar was a small baby dinosaur, works in a Finding Nemo hotel. He was going to play a trick on us. Jitty wanted to find Young Zinni with his video camera, but Young Zinni was too excited to listen. Young Zinni got ready to film Mr. Conductor going on Space Mountain with his camera. He slid down the pipe and laughed into Space Mountain. Young Zinni get into the front of the shuttle behind Mr. Conductor and they were ready to go. Hello, young Lima, said Mr. Conductor, greeting to Young Zinni. Hello, Mr. C, announced Young Zinni. I'm taping Space Mountain with my video camera, he said. So, Mr. Conductor, we're off now to hold tight and we're going to go straight for the tunnel. In the space ride. Over we went to space ride going on. Wait, 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 wait. I'll do Percy runs away. Okay. Carry on. After a great deal of shunting, Percy was waiting for the signalman to set the point so that he could get back to the yard. He was eager to work, but was being rather careless at not paying attention. Ever the warm Percy. Be careful on the main line. Whistle to the signalman, you are there. But Percy didn't remember to whistle, so the busy signalman forgot him. Percy waited and waited. The points were still against him, so he couldn't move. Then he looked along the main line. Beep, beep! He whistled in horror for rushing straight towards him. Was gone with the express. Now, oh, Grand Gordon, go out of my way! Percy opened his eyes, calling the stutter of Percy's puppets a few inches from his own. Percy began to move. I won't stay here. I ran away. He puffed. Here we go! The Percy began to move. I won't stay here. I ran away, he puffed. Oh, ah! He went straight through at the station and was so frightened that he might run out of he, was, he went straight through at the station and was so frightened that he might run out of Gordon. Say, about stopping. Oh! Stop. He had no driver to shut up steam and apply the brakes. Well, the 
I want to stop, I want to stop, he coughed. They speed a noisy way. The shuttle and speeding and fly another space shuttle going around the bend. The space shuttle come closer and closer and closer, even closer to the other light panel. Here we go and serve and shuttle the initial light panel and come around the bend. The man in the second box or Percy was in trouble, so he kindly set the points. Percy puffed wearily onto a nice empty side, ending with a big bank of earth. He was too tired now to care where he went. I want to stop! I want to stop! I have stopped! He puffed thankfully. And went down to the wall pipe, slided down the tube, all the way back to the Finding Nemo Hotel. No Mr. Mind, Mr. Percy, Conductor no was mind. very frightened and very excited that he loved going on Space Mountain. I have to go meet Adele at Hollywood Studios for Mr. Conductor. But she's waiting for her hump, she said, a little hiccup. And then he went out to Space Mountain, away to Magic Kingdom, and off to Hollywood Studios. <coughs> Young Zinni came out of the tube and stopped recording his camera and told them all about Space Mountain as a conductor. You see, everyone said, Young Zinni, I love going on Space Mountain. It's a video of you. He says, I'm glad you're a fun genie. And from day one... See you louder. And from day one, on the kind of tourists gathered around and watched Adele going uh, go on rock and roller coaster with Mr. Conductor. So if you can find his son Heffalum in the first room, at Young City, said to Mr. Herald, Mr. Conductor could find his son. Heffalump, and this is what happens, he said. Meanwhile, back in the first room, Lumpy was going to tell Zuri and Zinni all about Mr. Adele and Mr. Conductor going back. A rock and roller coaster with Zuri and Zinni and their video cameras to find Wella's dad. Well, we can help each other out, Zinni. I can video going on rock and roller coaster and cars with Zuri. Yes, the pod, Zuri. I'll show you how to video as I slide down the airplane when we land on their cars. See yourself, Zinni. We never mind if you look at the roller coaster as a tooling yourself. Look at the roller coaster track. Listen. But never mind of you, look at the roller coaster track, Rock. Yeah. A few days later, Mr. Conductor was looking for Adele at Rock and Roller Coaster, who was waiting for her, like, hello, Adele. I'm still looking for my son, Heffalum, says Mr. Conductor, but he's in the Finding Hotel with the gang in, the both, gang in both rooms. Finally, Lampy was watching Mr. Conductor and Adele going on Rock and Roller Coaster with Zuri and Zinni, with their video cameras on. Ingmar said he loved videoing Finding Nemo Musical. I wish you could find my dad, he said. Well done, Lumpy. And Ingmar, that's okay. I just wonder where Saskia gets in in a week's time. Yes, she's coming tomorrow, so the whole room will get dirty and Darren Day will have to clean the room, said Earl to Aladar. Yes, he will clean the two rooms, said Aladar, but Zuri and Zinni have gone down on Rock and Roller Coaster with Adele and Mr. Conductor. Zuri and Zinni are tapping down the tube slides. Rubbish, laughed Lumpy. It makes, it makes believe so we can watch Adele and Mr. Conductor go on Rock and Roller Coaster, starring Aerosmith with Zuri and Zinni in the camera, he says. Slide tubes. Wow. Cars revving and rock and roll, I mean, rock and roll music playing. Come on. Well, this is the last we think about, so we're going to find my son Heffalon. And this is Art of Emanation as well. Yes, we've got a phone number to the girl. I just can't find a cell phone to the phone number to the girl. 
she says. But just then, she didn't see who slid down the side pipe, slid down the cameras and launched into the rock pile, rock and rock pile, roll coaster. Hello, Gary, said to me. 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 Get ready for the ride. Wow! As a matter of fact, it's going on. I was trying to find my son Nicholas in this connection. The crew is on the spot. I'm expecting to get some of these over there for me. So let's just go up again. That's not true. Once we're still in front of the line, it's a real fast one day. We're going to bed trip for now. I'm not sure, sir, Mr. Conductor. You see, wondering, I'm wondering if you can help me. I expect to see you in the on the roller coaster situation, perhaps. Can you help? Did you say? What did you say? She asked, is wondering, don't go rock and roll the case of Katrina Sikonatsa. Well, I hope to go with you and look for Siri and Tilly. Are you ready then? You called? Yeah, Siri, Siri, Siri. We're going to hold on to it and play lots of music. You can still video my video camera and see if perhaps I can look at the roller coaster track instead of the view. Good idea, said Sydney, but be careful, don't look, look at the reminding video of the coaster track. Sure, we can see the front of this cut on the other at the back. As well, added Vinny, we could get, uh, we could have a problem. Mr. Conductor and behind Adele and others. Very well, added Zee, we've got a problem with us. I don't know, said Zuri. Mr. Gel Conductor cannot find Daffalump soon in the morning. And missed it. Soon into the morning, and look, here they come, called Zinni. There was Adele, Mr. Conductor, in their rock music cars. Zuri and Zinni jumped in with their cameras, video and view of the rock and roller coaster holding ourselves. Zuri and Zinni got in front of Mr. Conductor Adele, behind them. I don't know Meanwhile, back in the Pony Nemo hotel room, Loki was still waiting for Saskia Mayo to come in five days. 
Det, 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 det would be clean tomorrow, but Josh Stone, Lumpy Herd Siri, and Siri Vert video and down the slide as they sit all the way back to the room and turn the recordings off their cameras. Zuri and Zinni ran to tell Lumpy all about Rock and Roller Coaster with their video cameras. Well done, Zuri. Well done, Zinni. Laugh, Lumpy. You've kept your video and camera despite everything you said. Right, let's watch it. Here we go. Here we go. Rock on! <laughs> Later, when the ride was finished, a girl needs to come back to me very late to get a t-shirt and a CD. We did it, young lady. We did it. Ha ha! Two Mr. Ducks up. A girl laughed and laughed. Yeah! <laughs> so now we can look at their t-shirts and get them on. We've got a CD, she says. Done it, Adele. Laughed Mr. Ducks so we can sleep under the trees. To oh, we've done it, Adele. We can laugh at Mr. Ducks so we can sleep under the trees tomorrow. We can go on Mickey's Minis Runaway Railway. Let's get our t-shirts and see the Rock and Roller Coaster. Good idea, says Adele. That would be wonderful, she says. That night, back at Old Key West, Luke was watching Finding Nemo at tea time on disc one widescreen before Carl's widescreen on his DVD player. Oh, I love watching Finding Nemo on disc one, but I can watch Thomas and the Ratchet Railway tomorrow at tea time, said Luke. Of course you can, said Mum, so tomorrow we could go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway ra Railway ride in Hollywood Studios, but it'd be great fun. That'd be wonderful, said Luke happily, as he carried on eating and watching Finding Nemo disc one on his DVD player. Several weeks later, at night, back in the Finding Nemo Hotel, they dreamed about what Nigel, what, what night happened to him. <clears throat> if Saskia doesn't come until Friday morning, the herd of dinosaurs were asleep in their bed in the second room, but Lumpy was sleeping in the first room. Aladar was dreaming about the seaside. Do you want it? Aladar was dreaming about the seaside. <clears throat> Aladar dreamt he was on a big speedboat. He drove across the sea, over the bridge, he speed, spying on another boat. It went past the cargo ship and they drove all the way to the beach. <clears throat> I'm going on dry land, replied Alador. I was an Iguagodon, but I will have to go and paddle by the sea, he says. <clears throat> but it wasn't only Alador who was having a dream, Mr. Conductor was having a dream too. Mr. Conductor dreamt he was in China. Mr. Conductor dreamt he was in China. <coughs> the dragon was dancing like Mulan. Violet, Violeton. And someone put a sign on YouTube of Violeton from JB Eagle. Violetland. Violetland. I wish that dragon doesn't want to eat me, Mr. Grumble, Grumble Mr. Conductor. 
I was looking at the sign at Violet Land. Suri dreamt she was a fish. Suri dreamt she was a fish. She went under the water. Fish are swimming in the aquarium and Zuri, Su, Suri swam after the fish. Zinni dreamt he was out in space. Zinni dreamt he was out of space. He sat on the moon talking to the aliens from the flying saucers. But he'd like to be an alien. But young Zinni was having a good dream of all. He dreamt he was in France. He dreamt he was in France. He heard the townspeople speaking French and all the way up to the Eiffel Tower. I wish I loved speaking in French. In a town, said young Zinni, who was speaking in a French voice. I expect to hear people speaking French. Adele had a good dream of all. She dreamt she was in Duloc. She heard the puppets singing and was going to meet Lord Farquhar like Shrek. <coughs> she dreamt. <coughs> She dreamt she was in Duloc. Oh, Alex. But somebody put a sign on YouTube of Alex and JB Eagles. They are very good singing. Welcome to Duloc, added Adele. I wish Lord Farquhar was on the Matter on Bobstone Road with Dad, she says. A few nights later, Lumpy was fast asleep in a Nemo bed. He was thinking about It's a Small World on the boat ride with music. He was wishing about playing and singing to the music, so the magic something began to appear. <coughs> magic tinkling. <clears throat> Lumpy heard all the music playing in the sleep, so he'd imagine about Mr. Conductor finding his son Heffalump. Listen. Here we go! This is Small World After All playing. Hmm. Look, at them chill, look, at them, look at the people singing beautifully. Yeah. Young kid, you've never seen this music playing before. You can watch the children ice skate in the bar, or dancing on the ice, and then the soldiers playing trumpets and drums in this boat ride. That seems really beautifully, and he saw the Irish girls dancing to the sun. The only thing I haven't heard anything about dancing Irish before, so he went past the window and another window until he decided to do the bell, Switzerland. Um, soon Lumpy went flying 
playing in the morning, turning the back, going on, it's a small little boat. And some music is still playing, and it's a radio, like a wagon. And I'm Peter Goodison, the radio, and I'm dancing around, because it's all the way to Bristol. And I'm going to get out of the way, and I'm going to get out of the way. So he kept on dreaming about it, and it was the best at Disney. And so I'm pretty strong about it, going on, it's a small boat. They came across some animals in the zoo. He was a heifer, and he called Lampin. Soon Lampin was... Soon Lampin was flying up in a ride, and dreaming about it, going on, it's a small boat. playing drums into the beats.
when we were together. Tinkling. The next morning, Lumpy woke up and yawned and stretched his long nose. <coughs> so he decided to eat a cookie for breakfast and drink some milk to give him more energy until it was full of energy. And he jumped out of the magic window and the swings and fell and flew away from the Finding Nemo Hotel Lump hotel. Lumpy went off to Magic Kingdom. Of course, said Zinni. We can go for a swim every morning. Good idea, said Zuri. So we have to get out there so the room will get filthy and Darren Day will have to clean it. She said, and together they all went to get changed into their lemurs cousins. Soon Lumpy was flying through Disney and he was going on its a small world boat ride, but it wasn't far away. His dreams can come true. Lumpy should help him with his plan. A few days later that morning, Adele and Mr. Conductor woke up bright and early to go on Mickey and Minnie's train ride. Good morning, Mr. C, she said. 
Only if you can get me to Mickey and Minnie's Railway Railway Rides, sighed Mr. Conductor. We can take you to the calf, replied Adele. It's far away, you've got the calf breakfast. Much obliged, he, he says, and they went off. Meanwhile, Lumpy was going to collect some diamonds from the Seven Wolves Dwight Mine Train. So he has to get a sack first. Lumpy went over to the exit gate and collected the diamond sack and he was on his way to fetch some shiny diamonds in the mine. In the mine, it was really quiet as Lumpy came into the mine and saw Seven Dwarves singing and digging in the mine. Where Dag and Lord Farquhar are waiting at the mine, so Lumpy crept slowly forward, slower and slower and slower and slower and slower. I must find the diamonds, I must find the diamonds, Lumpy said to himself. But it wasn't long till he reached the mine lord, Farquhar and Dag. They're already there. Digging their lovely diamonds. We're having great fun, said Lord Farquhar. Fat hat won't have too much use. use. For you to collect diamonds in their sack, said Dag. As they put the shiny diamonds in the sack at the Seven Wolves mine train and put them all over their bobsleigh, they carried on digging. Just then, Lumpy arrived with his sack to give the dinosaurs and lemurs to find an emo hotel. Hello, you two evils, said Lumpy with a greeting voice. Hello, Lumpy, they said. I'm collecting diamonds from the Seven Wolves mine train. <coughs> he says. So Lord Farquhar and Dad carried on digging diamonds and put, the, put them in the sacks in the Matterhorn bobsleigh. So Lumpy collected diamonds into his trunk and fired them out his sack from his long nose and, and stuck some more in his nose after. Well, Dad, I've never heard that Lumpy was collecting diamonds in the sack of his nose, replied Lord Farquhar, as he watched Lumpy collecting shiny diamonds in his sack. I wish Miss Conductor was right to find his son Heffalump, promised Dag, so we can put the sack of diamonds in the bobsleigh and then get his son Heffalump and catch him. Soon as Lumpy still collecting diamonds to the Finding Nemo Hotel and getting ready for going on It's a Small World for Sack for the Diamonds, Dag and Farquhar put on the sacks of Matt's on bobsleigh and soon they were ready to go. Nearly there, Dag, said Lord Farquhar. The Lord human cheekily. Nearly there, my Lord, said Dag. The coyote naughty and together. He put the sacks on the bobstay ride until they were on their way. At last, Lumpy filled all the diamonds in his sack. He was very happy. Nearly there, said Ali cheekily. Nearly there, said Bert naughtily. And soon, at last, Dag and Farquhar had filled the sack of diamonds on their metal and bobsleigh. He was going to see Pilo, Yar, Zuri, Zinni and Young Zinni to find an emo hotel art of animations. Right, it's all filled up and ready to go, says Lord Farquhar to Dag. Well, we promise we can take them to Lima's, promised Dag, and, we'll, we'll, and then we're in the swimming pool. Much obliged, he said. They fastened their seatbelts on the bobsleigh and they rumbled away. Just as Lumpy grabbed one of the sacks around his trunk, then he saw Lord Farquhar and Dag on the bobsleigh coming towards him. There they are, called Dag. Get him, they shouted. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh no, let's get out of here, yelled, here, yelled Lumpy. <gasps> as he sped out of the mine away from the Seven Dwarfs mine train and Lord Farquhar, Dag and the Bobsleigh sp sped away from the mine train. Hoorah, ooh, I must be dreaming about it. It's a small world, Lumpy said quietly. So I must take this sack on the boat ride and hear the music playing the tune. Bobsleigh. Bobsleigh. Bobsleigh, clatter, Bobsleigh, Bobsleigh, clattering and whooshing. And he went off so it's a small rail boat ride. <clears throat> Back in the Finding Nemo Hotel, the lemurs are going to get in, get in the pool for a swim. As Pilo and Yar saw Nemo and Merlin, Marlin in the home reef, 
Zuri and Zinni saw Tasha and Pearl with water fountains <coughs> with spouts out of Pearl's mouth. Young Zinni saw Sheldon with a spout coming out of its mouth. Tasha was spitting water out of his mouth with, with its spout, and so was Pearl. Pilo saw Kathy with his water out of his mouth and its spout. Yar saw Mr. Ray, Ray, uh, Mr. Ray riding on his back. Yar singing, let's name his own, his own, his own. Zang Yar, let's name his own on the open sea. Suri and Sidney saw Crush Rider and the waves of the EAC with Dory. Give you some fin logging, dude, laughed Sidney. Grab shell, dude, yelled Suri. Here we go, they called. Then young Sidney saw Squirt on the reef rock. Had both little slides on it. Sweet, totally, young Sidney, said sweetly, as he went down the little side. Sweet, totally. Young Zinni sounds in a Frenchy accent. That's what Zinni likes about it. <clears throat> and finally, they saw some jellyfish in the pool. P Pilo, Yar, Zuri, Zinni and Young Zinni thought they would be a good idea if they could play games on top which can bounce. Boing, 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 went Pilo. Yar, Zuri, Zinni and Young Zinni as they bounced on the top Five tops of jellyfish. Boing, 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 boing. And they were having fun bouncing on the tops, and from then they bounced up and down, 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 until they jumped into the water with a splash, and a splash, and another splash. And another splash! And another splash! They were all swimming. They were all in the swimming pool wearing their swimming cozies. This is so much fun," said Zinni. Happily, we were having a great time playing lots of splashes in the pool water. So Zinni told Zuri all about Lord Farquhar and Dag on the bobsleigh ride from the Manhattan, from the Matterhorn at Disneyland in California. So Zuri, do you love swimming in the Finding Nemo pool?" laughed Zinni. "Yes," said Zuri. "If Lord Farquhar and Dag are getting away with the diamonds to give us, to give to us from the Seven Morphs Mine Train." Lumpy has got a sack of diamonds. He's gone to it's a small world, and Lord and the Lord and Dag was after his son Heffalump. And if they find him, I think they'll have to get a room clean in time before Saskia gets here. Added Zinni as they began to bounce on the jellyfish in the pool again. Meanwhile, back at Hollywood Studios after breakfast, Adele and Mr. Conductor was standing in the queue to get ready to ride on the train. But Luke, Dad, Mum and Joe are already there. Well, Joe, said Luke, you'll love to go on Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway ride. Yes, said Luke. We love to go on the train to follow, follow us, he said. Good one, said Dad. So from now on, we can all go on the train together. Much obliged, said Mum, as she was still standing in the queue. But Mr Conductor thought it would be a good idea if he could go on the engine. Of Mickey and Minnie's train ride. Well, I never did, it exclaimed Mr. Conductor. Perhaps I could go on the engine, and I wish I could go on the carriage in front of him, explained Adele. So that's so that's what I can do, and I can follow you. <clears throat> I hope I can get on the engine and left behind by the switch conductor. Con switch continued, Mr. Conductor. I'll show you, he said. Good idea, said Adele. Suits me, she replied. Mr. Conductor climbed on top of the train, cab roof, and Adele followed him after. The train bell.
Das heißt, ich passe die Scheine in Bobble Mountain im Vault Track 3, das Bobble Mountain. Der Break von der Scheine ist am Vault Track 4. Scheine ist am Track 4. Train bell clanging. As Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad waited at the queue to go on the train instead of the great movie ride, Adele got onto the carriage in front of the train and Mrs. Inductor was on the engine. Oh my goodness, Mr. C, you look like Genie on Diesel 10's roof, laughed Adele. Yes, young lady, I look very funny as a matter of fact. I remember this movie of Thomas and the Magic Railroad. That Junior was in trouble, last Mr. Conductor. I was wondering about Lord Farquaad and Dag on the Bolte ride from the Manhattan Matterhorn at Disney, Disneyland, California. I remember the first time when I was trapped in Space Mountain Castle with Fiverr and Heather. Well, perhaps I can make it through, replied Adele, so I can do my best. So here we go, she says. They went off through the ride. Here we go. You can hear the sun singing in the sky. You saw Mr. Mini in our car. Again, she had a merry go round on the hill until it got into the tank tunnel. Toot! Here we go, the tank tunnel. As they got into the, into the light tunnel, right, the back door slid open from the car. Well, the train, it was creepy! Oh. He was driving a steam train. Welcome aboard, folks, said Goofy. He was talking to Mr. Conductor. Now he remembered that Goofy turned into the magic about flying five k permanently. Ready for the next thing ride around the park, he said to Mr. Conductor. Hong oh, Kong! My goodness, it looks like me, said Mr. Conductor. Well, I was looking for my son, Mr. Lanky, but Goofy comes to sign with Sam Lanky. So just that I saw Mr. Lanky in the car. Hey, the key there is a key thing to Josh. What could possibly go wrong, he says. Not for long. Just as Cooper is trying to train the points to switch to the wrong line, leaving Adele on the carriage behind. Oh, don't do things, go to the wrong direction. Adele cries. There's a surprising way the carriage is stretched around the bend. From the switch, go to the side and says, creep out into the wild. Yes. Then they come across a funny fellow with Mickey and Minnie are waiting on a swinging hot dog sausage. As the girls saw a roller coaster whistling around the liquid chat and bouncing in the castle, they studied the whirlpool blew the air until they got the big whirlpool wings. Oh, it's Firestorm! As Minnie and Mickey and Pluto got slurred in front of the whirlpool wing until it comes to a waterfall by a river. Soon they arrived at the waterfall and the volcano started to up. The water and they saw Lord Farquhar's out speaking in the water and went through the ride. Paul Wolf, Lee, Lee, Dad, Paul Wolf, Farquhar behind. I've got the diamonds, Lord Dad, said Dad, and they raced by the waterfall. As a girl called to Mickey and Minnie on a leaf like a rainbow, but it didn't hold much on this. We're going under the water below! Soon they caught a big drop, a girl held on to the safety bar. Spoiler! They were playing all under the 
As they sung the music together, they saw a click on the barn. Check. A tick, even, on the barn. <laughs> Mr. Conductor was so happy he saw the signpost to see all the directions that says Merry-Go-Round, Fishing Hole, Scenic Sandbrook, and Daisy, Daisy O Valley. Mr. Conductor blew his whistle with some sparkle, vanished out of Mickey and Minnie's train ride, away from Hollywood Studios and all back to Magic Kingdom. Adele had never been going on another ride to go back to Magic Kingdom, so she remembered about a Little Mermaid ride. From now on, Adele got out of Mickey and Minnie's train ride and went off to Toy Story Mania. Later on, back at Magic Kingdom, Mr. Conductor has to go on the mine train to see the Seven Dwarfs mine. Mr. Conductor got into the mine car with some sparkle and arrived just in time until they were off. Down the bottom, out of the mine... Wait, 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 wait. Here we go! Here we go! On the bottom out of the mine station, around the curve, in the bend, until the mine car comes to the top of the mountain. As they went up the top, they then it went all the way down to the bottom, around the curve. Down around the bend, it went down to the side, in and out, in and out, until they come into the mine where the seven dwarves are working. Digging music playing and singing. Mr. Conductor could not believe his eyes. Look, he said, there are dark, grumpy, happy, bashful, sleepy, sleepy, and dopey. We are digging a dive of diamonds in the mine shaft, and look, all those diamonds in this conductor, and Mr. Conductor never seen diamonds in the mine shaft. 
miners before. Lumps were collected in the sacking, you can see them digging in the miners, million stylings. Sorry, but then you heard a hammer bell ring you. Hammer bell calling. Well, you could just come back to the funny voice. As you've heard everyone sing my mind. Hi ho! Hi ho playing! As soon as the white pole went up and 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 up, right to the very top. Here we go! So we got to the top, at the end of the tunnel, we saw a big... Ah! Oh, big job! The mine car went up around the curve to the top. Over the bridge. Around the curve. In and out, all the way down again until they come to a stop at the cottage. Cottage. Mr. Pooh comes and heard one dream singing regularly, dancing in France, and music when a picture of watching and dancing behind the door. Mr. Conductor, I saw the witch as he was laughing evening to me. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. singing and yodeling to this tune. and vanished into gold dust to go to Tomorrowland Speedway. Carry on. While Mr. Conductor arrived at Tomorrowland Speedway, gold dust appears on the ground. <laughs> Standing in front of the gate to get ready with the two. <clears throat> What's that, said Mr. Conductor. What's this? There are lots of racing cars on the Speedway Drive across the road and the checker flag would go and find his son, the flump. So Mr. Conductor, as he looked at the cars waiting to get ready to race. Mr. Conductor thought it was the most and best racing man he'd ever seen before. Well, maybe I think I need assistance. I must get to find an email hotel. And I'm not sure if I can find my son, Heffalump, sign Mr. Conductor. Perhaps I must win the car, number 22, which is there, he said. I've got my car number. That's car number two over there. Yeah. Num car number 22. Car number 22, which is there, over there. Mr. Conductor had never seen a car with number 22 like this before, so he decided to go on orange. Well, well, well. Perhaps it was really nice in Orlando, continued Mr. Conductor, but the ticket is for naught days for a holiday package, and if I can choose a five or a seven day park, or maybe a t plus or a plus a ten ticket day, so I have to find my son Heffalump and I have to be strong, said Mr. Conductor, in a grin sort of way. Mr. Conductor did not know what to do, so he might have to go to car number 22 and remember what Adele had said. Well, I'm not sure, not so sure if I can go on that car 22 to win the races, Mr. Conductor. But wait a minute. <clears throat> Look, there's a car number 22. Aha, check on Mr. Conductor. <laughs> Mr. Conductor was delighted to have his car number 22 of Tomorrowland Speedway. So he got, he got onto the racing car, which has number 22 on the side, and the race was about to begin. <clears throat> Here we go. Thank you. 
the fires are all ready to raise against the, the ovens. Alright, you ready to go, Queenie? Ready to go? Here we go. Come on, Mr. Conductor. And pass the wire to the ovens. What have they would say? Mr. Conductor, get on the race by 22. Push the pedal and turn the steering wheel to drive. Three, go! And they're off. Here we go! The car number 22 drove through the transit under the transit authority bridge. And Mr. Conductor is driving the car 22 as it went around the big bend. Whee, we Mr. Conductor, and whoa, we laugh. Look at me, I'm driving. Excited as the steam from side to side, 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 and then he went through the bridge. Look at me! Well, light, bright lights on the bridge, and Mr. Conductor is still driving. He won't get away from me, he said, happily, he went around the other bend, and he knew he wanted to win. He went around the bend in the big curb, Mr. Conductor was having so much fun, he was going to win. And then on it went. Across the bridge, after the bend. Out of the meadow, past the shed, and across the pond. Alright. Car number well. 22 comes to a sign that says, Darren Bay, 42 Art of Animation, found in my hotel. But Mr. Know, Conductor man. never saw it. Drive. He knew well, it was Darren Bay from Classic Nursing Rhymes and the found in my hotel, who was pretending to be a dentist. As he went past the sign, so they come around the bend in a long right long line that Mr. Conductor would think of about his son Hickland as he drove around the last bend until he, he, he approached the finish line. Right, all right. Mm -hmm. Back to the barn and <coughs> under the hay. Down the hill into the farm. a train. Drove up to the traffic lights and waited for the finish line before they were ready to go to tomorrow lane or the authority. Mr. Conductor waited for the green light to start to finish the race. But as he waited for the green light, they were off to the finish line. Mr. Conductor in class 22 came up to the finish line and won. Well, that's when we're not done yet. Wait for it.
Adele was in the train cars waiting for Mr. Conductor to come. Here she comes. You can sit in the front of the first car while Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad can't come. Down. Mr. Conductor made good progress. When he reached Tr Tomorrowland Transit Authority, Adele was waiting for the second car. Then Mr. Conductor gave a special ride at Magic Kingdom. <clears throat> Hello Adele, I'm back called Mr. Conductor. Yes, you are, said Adele. You can get in the first car, she says. I shan't belong. I shan't be long, says Mr. Conductor as he went into the first car. He was ready to go with her kids. He was ready to go with Adele. Would they be able to go on Buzz Lightyear Space Range to spin? Ready, they said, and they were off. Speaking past Mr. Conductor the girl. Mr. Conductor could not believe his eyes. Adele, can you explain yourself? said Mr. Conductor. I need to find Lampy, but he's in the finding in my sweet climbing hotel, she said. I wish I could see the view of tomorrow on speedway. But you do, but keep driving on, said Adele. In Greece, Mr. Conductor, she said, the shop below until it come out of the tunnel and look to the view of the cars down below from the street gun. <laughs> it was really amazing that Mr. Conductor could not believe his eyes and went on the car in 22 and won the racing time. I don't know she would have to go on the speedway after buzz, so Mr. Conductor could go on space mountain after buzz right now. Well, 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 far carbon bag will run a Matterhorn bobstone to go through space mountain. Adam Mr. Conductor is a sort of tram where the workmen will be doing the road. Soon as we're far coming back, he's speaking through Space Mountain Channel. Well, my lord, boy, laugh, dad, you can eat. Maybe if you can get us through the Space Mountain Channel far club, that's the main thing to do, dad. As a matter of fact, I wish I was at a barnyard. That you know, I was looking after the animals. Rubbish, laugh, Roy Farquhar. You are a creator from the first time ever for Nickelodeon movie from Barnyard. 
you left that one, Dougie boy. Yes, I'm finished, Doug. Let's go through to Space Mountain Tunnel instead. Here we go, Space Mountain. The conduction of Far Condor are very bad. Is there Oh, Mr. Conductor, Lord Farquhar and Dave are very bad and very horrible. So then, Lumpy was trying to look for new hotel going to be and he was to meet Dan and Dave about the business out of animation as all in the other room, Norman. I go to Mr. Conductor, Dan and Dave warned you about your son, Heffy Lump Lumpy. Don't worry, young lady, since you can pop it, come back to We're going through the second channel for Space Mountain, so we're going to roll inside, follow Lord Farquhar and Dad in the... What a wonderful space in the It was very dark in Space Mountain Tunnel, but Mr. Conductor and Dave felt a little worried that they wanted to go on Space Mountain. Lord Farquhar and Dave were already in there. So, Lord, will you love to get Lumpy and get a escape from Space Mountain and then you can catch up the speed of spaceships? I did, Dave. Yes, I will, said Lord Farquhar. So, I have to go through the Space Mountain ride and get him with the aliens from Buzz Lightning Space Ranger Spring. Oh, how lovely this thing is to, to reply to that. Adele and Mr. Conductor could not believe what they had seen, the space shuttle from the space ride. Well, she was going on the spaceship, and if she knew, then they could go on the right side of the space shuttle to have a race trying to take the ride to Mr. Conductor on the left side. Lumpy thinks he was finding Nemo, the Lumas and the dinosaurs. Then you can find his son, Hippie Lumps, over here. Oh, that somehow feel like disappeared in some email hotel, never to be seen before. Never to be seen, not hurt from the get again with going to Mr. Conductor. But I think an icon home entertainment on Space Mountain, I wish I could see in the dark room, Mr. Conductor, so a blue light shining, dark room, so it's a space thing. Never to see that ever again. I think I choose me to go to Space Mountain in the above state. Ask Doug me, Ralph Lord Firefly, you can change the direction points to go on Space Mountain to get lumpy. The far Dad knew he wanted to go to Space Mountain to catch a space shuttle, so I'm going to change those. So Dad could have been screwed in the hairdresser. They're not quiet. Then they saw space cars on the bottom of the exit. There was a crater left in the moon, and it was an astronaut, and her vision was watching on the crater below. Mr. Conductor could not believe his eyes. Oh, what's that, you guys? It's a shooting star, they were asking. It's not a shooting star, Mr. Conductor. It's a space shuttle. We have mission for our rocket to aid us. Do you like Space Mountain Mission Pass, Fire Pod Ash? Yes, it's crappy, Dad. It's only a piece of space shuttles that we can go on for us. No problem, said the Fire Pod. No worries, no trouble, said Dad. As he saw lights shining beneath the tunnel roof of Space Mountain. The lights are on, so beautiful and bright, and they come out of Space Mountain Tunnel, which is not a whole bit so far to the bay. And the third tunnel together is burst onto the sunshine. So I have to find my son, Hufflump. That far pod and Dave are being all to cheat over a time, Mr. Conductor, as he wishes to go there to find his son Hufflum. So the cars went around the next bend in the track post. Hmm. The cars until they come to another zigzag bend, and then they were over the carousel of progress. Lumpy hmm. Here we go! Space Mountain Tunnel! There was a progress further that goes around the end of the big circle, singing and playing some music. And the cars went around the long bend, so Mr. Conductor can go on the first of the day, so I have to buzz like the space station speed. Hello, Space Rangers. This is Buzz Lightyear. Where, where, where? There's a great big thing for tomorrow, so I'm going to end of the day. And just a dream away, conceded Mr. Conductor. And tomorrow land is just a dream away, so go. I'd love to go on the first of the day, to follow Buzz Lightyear, space changes speed. So from there on, a girl and Mr. Conductor knew they were going to win the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Team Challenge. As soon as the train cars went into the last channel of Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Team to see who was to win. Buzz Lightyear speaking the robot radio voice. See, I have to go on space and buzz it, Mr. Conductor. You'll be here for hours getting to win a girl. Couldn't you explain who should win to win the challenge to see the aliens? As they went over the field, there was Lord Fire Pond Dave, full Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. I think Lumpy was right, said Lord Fire Pond, the Lord Human, so that's what I can do, said Dad. The creator, so who's winning for Twinkle Toes, Claws and Shark Teeth? He asked in an evil voice. Yes, said Lord, if anyone thinks he's a Twinkle Toes, so Mr. Conductor and Bill are going to go on Buzz, aren't you? To win the contest, he said to himself. So I can go through the ride to shoot all the aliens on the Doug Medicine. Doug 
back to me, you could have won, but it looks like they would lose. My goodness, I cannot believe it, exclaimed the girl. Monsters eat life for it. It's amazing. <coughs> it's amazing. I can go to Monsters eat life for it. After Space Mountain, so the train car is coming to a last end. <coughs> so they came out of the last tunnel and went around the bend and saw Monsters eat life for it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it, exclaimed the girl. Monsters eat life for it. It's amazing and very funny. Oh dear, Maxwell, that girl wore this conductor. I can go to Monsters eat life for it. After Space Mountain, so the train cars can come to the last end. As soon as you come to the complete slowdown, soon the cars are slowing down, gently couple up until the doors move wide open. And together they went out of the train so cars. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Lancome's new Genifique eye cream and how I like it. So, Mr. Conductor would go on Buzz Like Your Space Ranger Spin to shoot all the aliens and he's going to win. Well, Adele. So you don't know why I can't find my son Heffalump? That's it, said Mr C, said Adele. If I can win the contest for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin as they went down the bottom of the escalator. So Adele and Mr Conductor knew they could find his son Heffalump. As I thought, he remarked, what do you mean? If I can't find my son Heffalump, maybe if we can go on to Buzz Lightyear, we learn ourselves a better name. Of course, said Adele. So they went off to Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Carry on. Oh yes, so that is why I can find my son Heffalump, said Mr Conductor kindly. So we can go on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. But we have to shoot all the aliens to defeat Serg, he said. Nonsense, said Adele. We are all going to shoot all the aliens to win the first prize, he says. And they went inside to walk in the queue. Later back in finding Nemo Hotel, Zinni was talking to the other dinosaurs in the other room. So he told the herd all about Lumpy, who was captured in the first room. So everyone you will love to watch must be Disney with us that Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad are watching Old King West, you see. So the other dinosaurs listened to Bill, Mr. Conductor, all about his son Heffalum to find out about Lumpy's story. So young Zinni told all about Darren Day who's been a dentist. So if Saskia wouldn't come until Friday, it's actually Thursday of the young Zinni. I wish you could come on Friday morning, that room we would get dirty and Darren Day would have to clean it. So now let's watch Must Be Disney with a friend called Stacy, said young Zinni. Come on everyone, let's sit down and watch Must Be Disney, he called. And together they sat down and young Zinni put on the telly and then Darren Day arrived from Disney's toy shop at Disney Springs. Hello, I'm back to the Finding Nemo Hotel Suite of Disney's Art of Anima An Animation Resort, said Darren Day. Come and watch Must Be Disney with us. When Barbara gets here, we'll be one of our friends, Stacy Lady, he says. And together they sat comfortably to watch Must Be Disney with Stacy. And remember what, what the Cooper family had said. Darren Day took the toys and put them on safe place and watched Must Be Disney together. Right, here you go. Must be playing. Disney. I'm your host, Stacy. Meanwhile, back at Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger okay. Spin, Mr. Conductor found that the Space Ranger was already there. So Adele, can I have a turn first? Then it's her turn to shoot, he said. Only if I can have a turn first, said, Mr. said Adele. If it, if, 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 if it, my go first, continued Mr. Conductor, I can win. Much obliged, Adele replied, and Mr. Conductor got on to go to Space Ranger. <laughs> he was ready to shoot all the aliens in the way with Buzz. So Mr. Conductor is ready to go. I'll shoot all the aliens and I'll show them the show. Good luck, Adele. It's your turn in the afternoon. You have to wait to hear this here, but I shall be long. Fire the space ranger guns and ready to aim.
there was a picture sign at the okay, but Mr. Conductor never saw it when it was time to fire their guns to shoot all the aliens. Mr. Conductor saw the dancing disco light that tinkles and shines beautifully. So, Mr. Conductor can shoot all the aliens and the batteries and other things. Ready, aim, fire! Call Mr. Conductor as he shoots all the eggs that Mr. Conductor can fire a robot. Come on, go and shoot the robots, cried Mr. Conductor as the robot's arms went up and down and up until we come to some monsters. Mr. Conductor shoot all the monsters and aliens until he saw a spider and a sticky, icky, gooey monster. So Mr. Conductor, that's a spider, he's so scary, he wants to shoot the next one, he said. Ah, ah. It's a sticky monster, well, Mr. Conductor. Let's just shoot the other shoot and the other monsters he called as he carried on shooting aliens. And then ah. the mouth has got gooey all over and it's sticking ah. on his mouth by Mr. Conductor. That's disgusting. And from then on he shoot he shot with a volcano and the monsters go around. And he saw a puppet monster, so Mr. Conductor can shoot all the batteries. Soon Mr. Conductor saw a Zerg with a space ranger spoon. He shot all the aliens and the robots who were pumping the electric machine. And then he shot all the batteries. Do not forget my way to shoot the power of Zerg. And then it was the final shoot to do the whoosh noise. Wait for it. Mr. Conductor went to the emergency tunnel. It says, emergency escape patch. There was a final shooting test that Mr. Conductor can shoot everything. Come and come and shoot at him. Sid is there, shouting Mr. Conductor has shot very hard and very much. Serg is on the space ranger ship. He fired. Pow, 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 pow. Went on and on and on and on and on. Oh, he saw they come out of the hatch tunnel. Then he saw Zerg taking a picture of us. Mr. Conductor saw the aliens pulling Zerg from the camera of their screen. He was taking a picture and said, Smile! As Mr. Conductor tied at Zerg's camera and flashes it in the snow, soon as Zerg has taken a photo, he saw Zerg being trapped in a grabber who has got perspective. Oh dear. As Mr. Conductor saw some aliens, I got Zerg to think Zerg, so he got some scores. Hooray! I did it! I did it! I did it! Ha 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 ha! Mr. Conductor! I win first prize for the Carousel Progress, so go, it's your turn now. <laughs> Certainly, said Adele, and she went on to the Space Ranger. Back at the Nemo Hotel, Philo, Yard, Zuri and Zinni and Young Zinni thought they, thought they would have a race through the bu through Buzz and see who was fastest. But who will want to win? Philo, I'll show you how fast you can go to race through the ride, said Zuri to Philo. Careful, called Philo. You're asking for trouble. She got an idea who was going to be the fastest. All the lemurs are ready to race, but they were 
We're about to begin so Lumpy can wave his trunk to start the race before the monkeys can come to get us. Hey Zinny, we'd better hurry down the slide before the monkeys can eat us for our snacks, says Zuri. Lumpy can start the race. Right everyone, on your marks, get set and... <coughs> Go! cried Lumpy and they were off to the slide to the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. They went down the slide, Wee! cried Zinni. Buzz Lightyear, here we come, yelled Zuri. And together they went down the other side and the monkeys can slid down the other slide until eventually they went into Buzz to shoot all the aliens where Adele was on the Space Ranger. Meanwhile, back at Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin, Adele was shooting all the monkeys who were racing through the rides. So she saw some disco lights shining in the dark until she came to another dark place. Here we go. There was a robot who was moving its arms and metal hands as a ghost saw three low yard zooms in and running to you the monkeys down the slide. So she fired all the zeds until she comes to the next direction. Look, there's Pluto, Yara, Zuri, Zuri, and Zuri, the Yoda Bell. Come on, let's get them. She shouted and she shot the lasers towards the space aliens and space mon monsters, but the monkeys are on their next slide. There was Pluto, Yara, Zuri, Zuri, and Zuri, all jumping over the volcano. And there are the monkeys started down the slope, so I don't can shoot all the leaners before they get away. Look, she cried, there's some more monkeys down the slope. Come on, let's shoot them before they get away, she yelled. And she shot the eggs, and the monkeys are coming down the other side. As she shot all the monsters, the monkeys are coming down the slope, as Pulo Yazuri, Zuri, and Yanzuri jumping over the wire, so they're jumping across the wire, they come across the wall too. And the monkeys got out the other side and jumped across the evil empty side. Soon they came to the batteries. Who they are, Zilly and Zilly are young to me. And all the monkeys are cutting out over batteries, so they can shoot them. The batteries between the lemurs and the monkeys, so they went on and on to shoot all the batteries. Until she saw Zilly with a laser rocket. A girl shot the aliens and monkeys to get away from Zilly, and the lemurs are racing between the monkeys. A girl knew she wants to win the first prize, so she could not see right through. And she, lost, she had no choice to win the first prize, but she shot all the monkeys all the way to the laser tree. So you need to find the magic thing on what I can win the right prize. Jimmy making a race, go to you up, she says. You are right. Uh, I don't to me, I want to be still in front prize. Making you win is so much fun, so let's them together, race through the world and then jump to swim up and swim up. Mm. Oh no, there's the fun of Space Ranger, the magic ride in the Space Ranger since the series, isn't he? But a like, way jumping through strange magical happens. That's <laughs> oh, they jumped through the magic wall of buzz and they ended up in Space Mountain and the monkeys are jumping through buzz until they drive it through to Space Mountain. Oh dear, thought of all. Pilo, Yar, Zuri, Zuri and Yanzi are racing through Space Mountain, she cried. And she shoot all the lasers they went through the pine, pine pinball tunnel. There was a light shining from the laser and Zerg was already there. And there was shot all the monkeys and aliens in the toy space road. And the monkeys are catching up to us, she said. She shot Zerg Zer with the laser gun until she saw Zerg taking a picture. Soon the monkeys are swinging through the ride and see Zerg and his laser camera. He flashes it again. Adele smiled, her face at the camera, 
And so Jeeves on Chocolate Dead today were taking a picture of us. So is there, caught by a giant grabber. There it all, the monkeys are racing by and past the aliens, but Adele won the prize. I won to grass, I did it, she scored very first prize. Hooray, I won! Oh, I've been so defeated. Mm. Adele finally took out the crowd of the land doctors who turned the city back to the fine lampy. And she was right. She came up to the second batcher and waiting outside Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Adele got a toy Buzz from the shop who has got money. Well done Adele, cheered Mr. Conductor. You catch Sir to stop the aliens getting away. Thank you Mr. C, replied Adele. So she has some funny news for him. Well Mr. C, said Adele. So you don't know where your son Heffel are? No young lady, said Mr. Conductor. He laughed. Mr. Conductor, matter of fact, we won the first prize to find my son Heffel but where are Pilo, Yar, Zuri, Zinni and Gunsini he went? He asked. I don't know, she replied. They were racing through the magic wall and into Space Mountain. Oh no, gasped Mr Conductor. In surprise, all the five lemurs are racing on the space shuttle. But they would be in trouble for getting away, he said. Come on, let's go and see what we hear. See what happens, she said. Let's, yeah, see what happens. She said, look, there's Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad. They're going on a carousel of progress to hear the music called... There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. So they can trust me on this, she said proudly together. They went off to see Pilo, Yar, Zuri, Zinni and Young Zinni racing through Space Mountain. It's dark, said Zinni, but I'm not afraid, he thought as he tried not to be afraid. They race into Space Mountain. Look, there's Adele, Mr. Kadatu, he gasped in surprise. They're going into Space Mountain, he said. Space Mountain had in Zuri. Darren Day, 42 Art of Emanations, find an Nemo hotel. That's part of Mr. Conductor's son, Heffalum, called Lumpy. So if you can race on a space shuttle and into Nemo Hotel wins. Zuri continued, Zinni, can you help win the race to keep us fit? But we're going to get on the space shuttle to have a race around the space ride and swing back to the Find an Nemo hotel. Whoever wins finishes the line, replied Zinni. So Zinni, you're going to win and we're going to, to reliably young Zinni. So be brave and never scare anyone else. Just hop along through the tunnel. Let's race through the space ride. Young Zinni thought to himself. Pilo, this is great race. I've never seen a race like this before, says Zinni. Yes, Zinni, you know, you can win the race on the space mountain ride, on the space ride, and you see what you can win, he said, plot Cleo. Well, we can go to Finding Nemo Hotel, when, when replied young Zinni. Lumpy is in the first room and he spoke about adult Zinni. So we can go on the space shuttle to win and swing back to where Finding Nemo Hotel mumbled. You can come us to win the race, said Lumpy. So Zinni said, we're bouncing up and down to Space Mountain Tunnel. And they saw a space shuttle. Soon they arrived at Space spaceport ride and there was Mr Conductor and Dell on the space shuttle. On the left side all the lemurs went into the shuttle to go on the left side first, then go the right side like Matt Hall at Disneyland in California. Will Farquad and Dag went on it. Pilo Yar, Zuri, Zinni and Yangzi jumped onto the space shuttle and they were off. Woo! This is fun last Zinni. Adele and Mr Conductor are catching the space shuttle. It's fun to us. Well Zinni, you'll get through the end of the race. We can win the race, said the young Zinni, who was speaking in the Oh, I am. I'm sure you wanted to win and raced all the way back into the front of my hotel to win the race, she said. But it wasn't a nice day for us. She was on board and we were cutting out the cutting up one. The five lemurs and the space shuttle raced into Space Tunnel, but saw what was written on the light zone. It says, 
and goes, energy transfer. The Lumas have never seen the lights on before until they went off racing in the space road. Blue lights went wishing everywhere and so the Lumas held on to the bar until they were out of. I'll be passing on the way. After a great deal of shunting, Percy was ready for the second to centre point so that he could go back to the yard. He was eager to work and was being rather careless at not paying attention. Ever the real Percy. Be careful on the main line. Listen to the signal when you are there. But Percy didn't even manage to whistle, so the busy signal was forgotten. Percy waited and waited. The points were still against him, so he couldn't move. Nanny looked along the main line. Boom, boom! Listen in horrible, Rossi straight towards him. Was gone with the express! Oh, oh Grand Gordon, okay. get out of my way! Here they try to go over the top of the mountain and the bird is to the back there as a wonderful time. Space. 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 But Percy began to move. I won't stay here. I'll run away, we puff. Here we are, the girl and the two dots as they came over the top of the mountain. Here we go! Soon the lunas are going up and the other side of the mountain are a girl and the two dots are still working on the mountain. Straight around the station and the sofa they know. But they were going up the other side and they raced all over the way down the mountain. He went straight through the station and the sofa they know. I'm not going to stop stopping. Oh, it's going through the yard, see you in the city and They tried. Ah! They tried as the space shuttle went up and down and around and around faster and faster. Ah! They tried to go and they stood back to ah! And they were playing boys. Ah! Ah! Scream the lemurs. Woo! Gee! Woo! Last season. After that, he was tired. But he couldn't stop. He had no job to shut up steam and apply the brakes. But they were very excited. Woo! Woo! Last two seconds. They were having a wonderful sweeping around the bend. And then suddenly, someone had to change the space mountain points to the magic room. I want to stop! I want to stop! He huffed. Pulling out your own team, one job, and a wonderful time. The bonus of the magic room. We were to go to magic room to the space mountain for the points change direction. Pulling out your own. Pulling out your own. Pulling out your own. Pulling out your own. As the bonus of the magic room, catching up with the space shuttle, the lunar shot said something magic, something magic happened. It's too tight now to care where he went. I want to stop! I want to stop! We're ending up on the carousel of progress. I That space bouncing will probably change back into a bone for our future pass. Anyway, Zinni was still having a wonderful time. I think racing is good. Fun, he said. We're going to win, but there was another drop. And they went, oh. Ah! And they all screamed with terror. Oh, cried at Zinni. It's another drop. Oh, he screamed. Oh! It cried, Zuri, it's so scary, she said in a terrified sort of way. And then they got to the other end of the line until they come to a complete slow. As the space shuttle comes to the space station, together they jump out the right side. On the other shuttle, they go on the right side next. Soon they arrived at the right side, bouncing and racing to the space shuttle. Pilo, Yar, Zuri, Zinni and Young Zinni are doing very well that Lumpy told them to win the length of the race. So Zinni was going to the Find the Nemo Hotel to win the first prize medal. So he can go to the right side as well. 
Well, I feel like it's going, I think we should all win the first prize medal. To win the race, she said Duncan. In the final in my coach. Surely you only get the final in to win the race when you get into the finish line. So the last five rooms have jumped onto the space shuttle in the space ride and they were off again. Following the light sign. Kilo Yards, Yards and Yangsio going on the right side tunnel and then they saw what it says. Any day for any chance there, the leaders have never seen this before since they were off through the light zooming tunnel. After a great deal of shunting, Percy was waiting for the signalman to set the point so that he could go back to the yard. He was eager to work and was being rather careless and not paying attention. Ever did warn Percy, you have an on the main line. Listen to the signalman, you are there. But Percy didn't remember to whistle, so the fish soon never got him. Percy waited and waited. The points were still against him, so he couldn't move. Then he looked along the main line. Beep, beep! Wizard in horror from rushing straight towards him. Was gone with the express! Here we go! Oh, and the space shuttle is still in power to the right channel. Yeah, the leaders have never seen this one back to the day going on the power to the progress in Space Mountain. Uh, and from Space Mountain for years. So they were speeding through the tunnel. They came to the very top of Space Mountain. Woohoo! After these, the shuttle came to the top and saw another speeding car. Percy opened his eyes, drawn in a stop with Percy's proper security on his own. You know, Percy began to move. I won't stay here. I'll run away, he puffed. Here we go. You know, Sydney, young Sydney. He went straight through the station and the surface of the airline was on board. I'm sure I'm not stopping. Going to win the race to get to lump in the fuddle in my to win the race to say. Yes, young replied, Sydney. So sometimes I can win the race and it's too much to be funny to look at. He said. But as the shuttle is going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, right, and so then to the bottom of the space ride very fast, all the leaders are screaming. Ah! 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 Soon, after that, it was time. He couldn't stop. He had no drive at the shuttle's feet with a car. The brakes. Oh! Oh! I want to stop. I want to stop. Up and down, down to the bottom. Oh! 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 Oh!
Zuri, it's time for the Carousel of Progress, so let's go and meet them at the Magic Kingdom. And together they went down the tube side to the Magic Wall. Come on Zinni, this will be fun if you go on the Carousel of Progress, said Zuri. We can all get go together. Good luck, lemurs, she called. So long, they smiled as they went down the slide. We're coming, Mr. Conductor, and Adele called at the Zuri and Zinni. They screamed as they went all the way down to the Carousel of Progress. Finally, Adele and Mr Conductor arrived at the Carousel of Progress. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Carousel of Progress, called Mr Conductor. The singing song says a great big beautiful tomorrow, just a dream away. Now please give a Carousel of Progress welcome to your two dancing lemurs, Zuri and Zinni. He called to look here, Adele. Yes, they come, called Adele. Just then, Zuri and Zinni arrived at the Carousel of Progress. Yes, it's us, they laughed as they went through the Carousel of Progress curtains. I'm the greatest dinosaur in the world on a movie, said Zinni, and I'm the greatest movie in Finding Nemo Hotel of Darren Day 42. Art of Animations, Finding Nemo Hotel, says Zuri, kindly. I'm sure Lumpy was in the Finding Nemo Hotel room with dinosaurs and Saskia coming on Friday when the Nemo Hotel room would get filthy but Darren Day will have to clean it up when it comes. So the two lemurs came up beside the bill and this conductor on the space shuttle. Hello you two, said greeting to each other. Hello you two lemurs, they said. Did you find his son here for Lump? asked Sunny. Yes, it's the Finding Nemo Hotel but I'm trying to find him. So that is why he is lost in Walt Disney's Art of Animation Resort, exclaimed Zinni with surprise. I must tell Adele if I can find you, he said, so Zinni came up beside Adele. Adele, where have you been? On Space Mountain, asked Zinni, again? Yes, I know there was a strange magical happening. But we have gone through the magic wall of Space Mountain, said Adele in a worried sort of voice, but Mr Conductor and I went on the Carousel of Progress. And Lord Farquaad and Dag are playing tricks on the Matterhorn Bobsay ride. That Lumpy was in Finding Nemo Hotel, but now he's captured, she exclaimed. So Zuri explained what had happened to Lumpy. I don't know why, if I can go around to the Castle Progress, but Lord Farquhar and Dag are up into mischief, grumbled Mr Conductor. So that's where we are going on, Carousel of Progress, loved Zuri. Farquhar is going to meet us in the Four Seasons. So Mr Conductor told Zuri all about Lumpy, where he is lost in Nemo Hotel. So you're loving that you can find your son, Heffalum, Zuri added, and you can go into the room of the Carousel Progress to do some four seasons called Spring, Summer, Autumn and Winter. Well, of course, replied Adele. I wish Mr Conductor could find his son, Heffalum, and take us to the Art of Animations of the Nemo Hotel. That is all right, Eddie Zinni. You're a good friend, too. But if you can jump onto one se one of the se seasons each room That's what has to find, he said. That's what friends are for. So when they're all getting ready to hear the music, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow for Zuri and Zuri who stand back to hear the man speaking on the microphone. Listen. Carry on. Mr. Conductor knows he has not seen men speaking on a microphone before, so the four friends gathered around for which every lemur has to jump. So Zinni and Zinni knew the world dance to Carousel of Progress music, but Mr. Conductor knew he wanted to find his son Heffalum until Carousel, Carousel of Progress was about to begin. Uh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Millions of people came to see it. And since then, the Carousel of Progress has had more performances than any other stage show in the history of American theater. You know, Walt loved the idea of progress, and he loved the American family. And he himself was probably as American as anyone could possibly be. He thought it would be fun to watch the American family go through the 20th century, experiencing all the new wonders as they came. And he put them together in a show called Carousel of Progress which we are now about to see. Although our Carousel family has experienced a few changes over the years, our show still revolves around the same theme, and that's progress. May the century begin. Here we go! The music began to, be the music began to begin. Mm. Is 
It's in the interior. You cannot believe their eyes. There's a pile of shell that's going around in a circle like clockwise. Come on, Siri, said Siri. You can come and see the bog, she said. So Siri jumped onto the theatre to see what they were doing. The carousel stopped turning and hear the man singing the song. The music began to the end until it began. So Siri looks at the bog. That's a great big beautiful tomorrow playing. Mm. Soon Jimmy came up to the dog called Grover who was lying down in the theatre and he listened to the man who was sitting in the chair. Mr Conductor had never seen Rover before but the he knew he to have to do Monsters Laugh Floor in after the carousel of progress. So when he heard the kitchen doors open and close the other took his kettles and ice box which has 50 pounds of ice. Sidney had never seen ice before so he can get some ice from the freezer after Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor so he loved to tell all about Lord Farquhar and Dad. So as soon as he heard the door open, there was a mother from the other room. So it was Sarah who was doing the ironing clothes and ready to wash. Well, well, well. I would love to do Halloween autumn after dry summer, said Zinni. Happily, maybe there's a storm coming at the theatre. Yes, because it's on the way, added Mr. Conductor. I was just looking for my son, Heffalum. Much your pride, replied Zinni, as he heard Rover barking. Wait, 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 wait. seems to wolf laughs in him, just as an old fuss by Mr. Conductor. Yes, you are laughed, Mr. Conductor. Lumpy was right to see Saskia coming to Friday, so he told the girl all about Lumpy in the Friday new motel, as he heard the storm coming in from the outside coast of the papers. Went Rover. Went Rover. Oh my God, that sounds really funny, isn't he? As he saw the rain pouring down outside, and he saw James using a stereoscope. Wow, well, you see, Siri, that's a stereoscope. Can you see things better, said Zinni? Yes, it is, Zinni, said Siri. Zinni hadn't heard anything that the rain was outside and seeing James' stereoscope, so he decided to think about Saskia coming on Friday morning when Darren and David had to clean it as soon as he was speaking to each other. There was Grandma on the tin wall and playing on the court record player. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow playing on the record player. And a parrot squawking. Oh, and the record player sounds really funny last evening. He was laughing until finally saw Patricia came in her hair. Patricia came in her hair! Oh, well, well, well. I've never seen Patricia before, given Zinni. As he was still thinking about Saskia, he knew that Patricia was Valentine's Day. So that was her Valentine's Day can see to Mr. Conductor, because it's nine o'clock, he said to himself. Oh, oh well, thought Zinni. I can't wait to go to the Monsters in the Half Floor, and I can't wait to see Saskia on Friday. Me too, added Zinni. But she wasn't so sure the Nemo Hotel room would get dirty, that Darren Day would have to get clean. So then it was time to go to the next season. It was Zuri's turn to go to the Carousel of Progress Theatre. And the music began to start again and Zuri jumped off until the carousel began to turn around the next season. Off to Here we go again! Zinni and Zuri danced for the progress music, shining at the end of every day. A girl and Mr. Conductor had never seen the two leaners dancing to music before. When the carousel began to stop turning again, and Zuri jumped onto the theatre, to see Rover lying down on the floor next to her. Zuri came up to Rover. Wait, wait, wait.
Come on. Siri came up to Rosa to see what the 4th of July and Paris were progress was. And Siri was very happy to be the son's daughter sitting next to Rosa. And she told Mr. Conductor and Adele all about Lumpy, so his 4th of July is lovely. To me, said Siri. Yes, it is, said Mr. Conductor, so I need to find Lumpy for the Finding Nemo Hotel. He has got caught with the lemurs and dinosaurs in the room. Well, 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 laughed Adele. Lumpy has gone into the Finding Nemo Hotel with the gang of dinosaurs, so I have to be sure if I can be safe around the place. To find your son, Heffalump. She says, but as Siri was still thinking about going into Monsters in the Afterlife, she heard some chickens clucking and heard a vintage truck horn blowing. <laughs> wow, that was a weird loud punk and a honking noise, last Siri. That horn is a very noisy chuckle to me. I think it's so funny, he says, you can't find us on Heffalump to you, Siri. So you can find it in the Finding Nemo Hotel. Well, you know, I was looking for my son Heffalump, says Mr. Conductor. I'm not sure he was in Disney's Arts combinations in Orlando. Lord Farquaad and Dad are getting him out of trouble. Why, are Siri? Why is Lord Farquaad and Dad getting into trouble? That's uh oh. Why... Well, that's why I couldn't find Oh no! Throw the fuse! Well, as soon as Mr. Conductor could tell, they heard a fuse whooshing with electric sound. As the fuse was going very well, suddenly the fuse was starting to blow out. Oh no, cried Siri, the fuse has gone out. Oh no, the fuse has gone out. It's dark in here. Oh dear, thought Siri, you have a power cut. Inside the show, so you can get lost and spooky, well, oh, Siri. No, I won't, it's Siri, I'm scared. But he was wrong. Soon the power fuse gets up again. And Siri saw a little girl in the future. Yeah, fuse is back. And she was talking to John. Siri had never seen Sarah before, so she told Siri all about Lumpy. So he does remember, said Siri. I hope he will go to Monsters in the Half Floor after the Carousel of Progress. She heard Ro Rover bark again. Ruff, 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 from Rover again. Ha ha, I did it again, last Siri. Rover was barking about the 4th of July summer. So he heard a voice for a boy listening to the radio. It's just too darn hot to be sewing inside. Yes, Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Yeah. I'd like to go with Benedict Arnold. Until you see what I've got planned for the fireworks show tonight. Rover, don't interrupt while Sarah's interrupting. And guess who volunteered to choose the music for the program? I didn't talk. Listen to this. Sarah had never heard a radio before, so she'd love him to see the boy called Jimmy, who was listening to the news as she listened to the man talking to the radio news. Siri had never seen a man speak the news and radio before, so she heard the news of Lumpy trapped in the Finding Nemo Hotel with the gang of dinosaurs and lemurs of the film called Dinosaur that cleared the bill got caught. Soon she saw Patricia again, who was the Queen of Day. Siri had never seen a queen before it came to 15 years ago. Well, Siri, what is the name of the carousel, Arginny? Do you know what it is? Well, it's a carousel of progress story, added Siri. You're quite right, Siri, Jake, Siri. This is so much fun about stories. I'm going to go to Halloween after July, says Jimmy. So Adele told me something about all about Lumpy as soon as they heard him coming to him. They saw Uncle Vaudeville, who was in the tub. Listen. Uncle Vaudeville. Zori had seen Uncle Vaudeville in the tub before. She saw him having a bath, so she told Adele all about the magic wall and soon they heard the voice of the mother. Siri thinks it's a little funny, but then it's Siri's turn to get a move on, so Siri was getting ready to jump out of the theatre as to start the music and Carousel began to turn the music and start again. Siri jumps out of the theatre and Siri was getting ready to jump so the carousel turned round and round until it stops for the next season and Siri jumps onto the theatre and sat down next to Rover. Wait, 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 Jimmy. Wait, 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 Wow, it's Halloween festival in the Carousel of Progress set show, says Annie, as it came up to Rover. It's so fabulous here with the 30s or 40s, so I can go to the winter to watch the video game called Cyberlaser Blaster, like Buzz Lightyear, he says. 
Dead Siri. All you need to do is look up for Lord Farquhar's dad in the winter holiday to find out why Lumpy was in the Fandonimo Hotel. But you can find your son Heffalump the Fire Siri and you'll see what zinny that's sitting next to the rover to see the dishwasher and refrigerator doors open and shut. Siri had never seen the automatic dishwasher out on the refrigerator before. He knew he was going to jump across the carousel, the theatre to see Farquhar and Coyote on the Bob scene, Carousel of Progress, as Rover barks at Zinni. Ruff, 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 went Rover, as Zinni laughed and laughed and laughed. Ha ha ha, Rover is barking four times at me, he said, and told them all about Lumpy. With rats the same thing. So does he remember this conductor, said softly, so you can go to Monsters in our floor afterwards? I have to find my son Heffalan. Yes, Mr. C, replied the girl, so you can go back to Space Mountain from the Carousel of Progress afterwards. You can find Lumpy, she says, and tell Zinni all about Fire Pride and Dad. Well, the radio, Zinni had never seen the radio before, and he saw a mother looking at Jack O'Lantern. It was very scary that Zinni never had seen a Jack O'Lantern like before for many years. So he heard Rover barking again. Woof, 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 woof. Wait, wait, Ah, uh, yes, a new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my jack o lantern Oh, 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 that's scary. That's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. <laughs> <laughs> Um, went Rover again. Zinni had never Rover seen Rover barking before, so he was trying to think about this constructor son Heffalum who had a howling. Then Zinni heard the sound of a chugging and rumbling sound. It was Grandma on an exercise machine. And then he hears to the exercise radio. Zinni had never seen the exercise radio before. He was going to watch a video game after Halloween. Ah, 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 the radio exercise is so funny, it really noisy, laughs at him. He remembered what Aladar told him to clean the room before Saskia comes in Friday. And then he heard a kick clock and Rosa barking at him. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, look at that exercise radio, beautifully. Went Rover again. Ha ah, ha, that cuckoo clock is cuckooing sound, and Rover has another bark. As he heard another bark. Went on Rover. Went on Rover. Ruff, ruff, ruff on Rover. Ha ha ha, well, 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 chuckles in him. They did it all again, that was crazy. I don't want to get that room filthy, so I'm not going to bark. The Nemo room will get dusty. Darren Bay will have to clean it. Absolutely right, said Zuri. They're not so much useless out of date, so the room would get dirty and we would have to clean it. And we put it in a basket so we swing out the window and jump into uh -oh. it. The big blue pool milk added, said Zuri soon. Oh no! I saw Sarah painting the walls of a paint stirring machine. Uh, See, I've never seen the paint paints everywhere. before and they're so in well. Wow, well, look at the paint mixer staring at the paint, he said, as he watched the paint mixer slowly at first. Went faster and faster and faster, and suddenly went all over the place. The paint flew out everywhere. And then it got ready to run across the theatre, but then it was time to get a move on to the Christmas holidays, so the carousel started to go around again and music started again. Here we go again! Zuri raced around the carousel theatre. Zuri jumped onto the theatre to watch the video game. On the television, as the carousel stopped turning until the music stopped, and Zuri and Zuri gathered round to watch the game as the music stopped and they can watch the cyber video game. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, this looks life. An apple went holiday at Christmas. But the turkey's in the oven, looks peaceful and quiet. The two leaders are going to watch the cyber when they saw what was out the window from Magic Wall. North Farquhar and Dag outside the Carousel of Progress. The Zuri and Zinni are getting ready to watch the game, so Grandma turned the TV or set on and we'll the game. Okay, Zinni, I'm ready to go. Oh, Zuri, yes, I replied to need to give a watch the cyber game, shooting the Zuri Blaster. 
Oh, Zinni, this is a little tricky, said Zuri. Yes, you're right, Zuri replied. Zinni making cyber games does cheer us up. And they all went into the ship until they were ready to go. Ready to go, Zinni? Here we go! Blast off, they called. And they're off to shoot the laser blasters. Oh, here comes in. Oh, here they come, said Zinni. And then, oh, I missed, he laughed. Very excited, Zuri. Fire, said Zuri. Go on the spaceship, said Zinni. All the ships, yeah, go, 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 it's called shoots all the ships. All the ships are called as they watch the temperature tell you the time in the oven. Later, Dad was speaking to Lord Farquaad about the transit authority tunnel. Space Mountain? Asked Dad again. Yes, it's great to go through the next tunnel of Space Mountain to see all the space shuttles. All the space rides, said Lord Farquaad. And did you go to Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger soon? Asked Dad. The Coyote, yes, it was so much fun to go through the last tunnel of Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger screen and rolled by to shoot all the aliens and went past Zerg with his eyes on the blaster. Lord had to constantly as he told Dad all about Lampy and finding Nemo so we'll die with some Nemo's in the room. I think he means, my Lord, conceited Dad, you know, it's lovely to go in the dark, dark of the carousel, my progress, so I can help get some plans of course, said the Lord Farquhar. I was just looking out for myself so I could get some milk and water from Walmart. We can drink together and we'll feel better. Perhaps the cyber game you found is very funny, said Dad. I can't believe all Meanwhile, Zuri and Zinni are having a wonderful time watching the game. Wow, well, look at the lights shining brightly, said Zinni. Well, quite right, said Zinni. It's a lovely game. Go on, shoot, go on, do it. Yo, Zinni, come on, shoot, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Get the laser ship. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. They yelled as the temperature went to 2375. Oh, bullseye! shouted Jerry and Timmy as they laughed and laughed. Well, 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 cyber so is great fun. I've played video games for fish nuts, but certainly. I'm sure Lumpy was in the front of Emo, so I can find my son Heffalon to see what happened to him. Yes, of course, said Adele happily. She liked watching video games for Zuri and Jimmy. Yeah, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, love, Zuri. This is so much fun. She shrieked to Zuri, and yes, she cried. Come on, come on, come on. The temperature goes to 2.45.7 uh -oh. degrees. What's wrong with the oven? Zuri cried excitedly, so her dad and father are talking to each other. Oh, no! So, boy, would you get, would you like to get to lumpy, said Lord Farquhar? Yes, said Dad. I can do it on the Winnie Pooh wide in Space Mountain, so you can Lord Farquhar in front of the first Bob Snow. And I could get back in the second game, Bob says, as soon as I heard Zinni and Zuri watching the video game. Yummy, yeah, you love Zuri. Go on, get the lasers. Take that. Yeah, we go on, shoot. Blah, blah, blah. And it's, they shouted, it's gone to 9.75, but then there was trouble. The temperature began to beep, and the oven started to blow up. Oh, no! Oh, no! The oven's starting to get the turkey ruined and get blown into steam. Quite silly. Oh, dear, look out, well, Zuri, but it's too late. The steam blew and exploded all over. The oven and the Christmas turkey is ruined. That last the shoot again is completed. Yeah, baby. Woohoo, yeah, Zuri and Zinni. He's completed the game and scored lots of points, said Zinni. The game was over and Zinni told, looking through some heft lump, that Lord and Dakota went on a match in Bob's Day from Disneyland, California. One more song, here we go! So you know, if Far Cole and Dad won the match on Bob's Day, it's going to be some as he told about the truth of one lumpy, so you know the clue, as we asked. Yeah, there is a clue. If I can find Lumpy at Disney and find a new motel, Adele said, I was a little worried about you. We really can still continue this connector. So I can start the space, the space shuttle to move on to the magic wall, and then we can go back on the space ride. Thank you, Mr. C. Adele cried happily. But then it was time to go. Zero and Zinni have got them ready to jump off the theatre and see the rover barks again one last time. The carousel began to move again and the music started to beat and play one last time and they're off. Thank you for joining us on Walt oh. Disney's Carousel of Progress. Right. We hope you've enjoyed this tribute to the 1964 Carousel of Progress from the New York World's Fair. Please gather all of your personal belongings right. and exit through the doors located... Soon the Zuri and Zilly jumped off the theatre and danced their last song and together they thought they would go to Monsters and Laugh for so Adele and Mr. Conductor could go through the Magic Wall and back into Space Mountain. So Zuri and Zinni could slide through the Magic Wall and into the laugh floor. So the space shuttle began to move and rolled away from the Carousel of Progress through the Magic Wall and they went all the back into Space Mountain. 
and Zuri and Zilli jumped back onto the slide through the magic wall and slid all the way back to Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Later, back at Old Key West, Luke was watching Finding Nemo Disc 2 full frame before Cars full screen on his DVD player. Oh yeah! He knew he, he knew he could watch the 2013 USA copy of Finding Nemo before Brown Crazy Chair Chase. And other stories in his DVD player as well. Well, 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 watching Finding Nemo Disc 2 full frame is so much fun, but it's my favourite, just like Dinosaur and Thomas and the Magic Railroad. So I can watch Thomas and the Magic Railroad at tea time. On, big, on my other DVD player before Piglet's Big Movie on oh, all Lion King, said Luke. So I can watch Piglet's Big Movie after Thomas and Magic Railroad. It's so much at Old Key West, so I can watch Thomas and Magic Railroad tonight at tea time. At Old Key West, oh, Old Key West. much obliged, he said, so he carried on watching Find an Emo just too on his DVD player and it reminded him that he would like to watch Find an Emo on television to watch disc one widescreen before cars widescreen same as the dvd player and you can watch disc 2 full frame before brown face chair chase and other stories on the television same as his other dvd player as well we can watch 2013 usa before cars full screen same as his other dvd player as well so he's still carried on watching disc 2 full frame or find an emo to find out where far quad dad zuri and xeno go into monsters in our floor that magic kingdom that lumpy was fine it was in the finding nemo hotel Carry on. Meanwhile, back at the Finding Nemo Hotel, Lumpy was doing something to watch Monsters Inc. Laugh for. On TV with Aladar. So Crone told Bruton all about Saskia coming on Friday in the morning. I tell you, your plan, Lumpy, when the room would get filthy and dusty and Darren Day will have to clean it before Saskia Mayo comes. On Friday, reminded Aladar. Yes, so Darren Day the dentist can clean the room with his hoover. Saskia comes tomorrow, Friday, says Lumpy. Yes, indeed, says Eladar. I hope it not looks. I hope it doesn't look that good. What's that say? Competition. <coughs> well, competition. I wish I'd love to turn the TV on to see if the two lemurs are going to monsters in laugh for. So let's see what they're doing, said Lumpy, as he turned the telly on to see Zuri and Zinni are doing. OK, Aladar, here we go, replied Lumpy. Look, there they are, he called. There's Zuri and Zinni at Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. And he was right. <coughs> Soon they arrived at Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor at Magic Kingdom. Zuri and Zinni are on the stage waiting for everyone to come. Zuri, he whispered, thank you for going on Carousel of Progress and watching the video game called Cyber. Because it's so much fun. That's all right, Zinni, she said. I wish all the lemurs would like that you be friends, said Zinni. Well... That's settled, then replied Zuri. We'll wait for the people to go in for two minutes and then wait for everyone to come. Lumpy, do you really miss your dad? Don't you? asked Galadar. Yep, said Lumpy, I do. So you can watch the two lemurs doing the play of Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor at Magic Kingdom, continued Galadar. Broodsome can see Ema, Baleen, Earl, Crone, Pilo, <coughs> Pilo Yar. And so they can join in with the herd. Really? Continued Lumpy. Sadly, he wasn't sure that he could find his dad, Mr. Conductor. Uh, Lord Farquaad and Dad are still on the Matterhorn Bobsleigh ride, right? getting away to his son's heifalump so he can watch Monsters Inc. laugh for Zuri and Zinni. So Lum Lumpy knew he could drink milk from his nose. OK, Eladar, I'll tell you what, I need to get milk from the fridge. And now I can manage to drink some of my from my trunk into my nose. And then I feel much better, says Lumpy. Of course, smiled Eladar. Go on. Go ahead, as Lumpy went to the fridge to get some milk. So together they watched Monster Sink Laugh Floor at Magic Kingdom. <coughs> <coughs> Later, Zuri and Zinni are waiting for the humans to start the show. So they can wait to see all the monsters in Monster Sink Laugh Floor to get ready for the show, to see how Zuri and Zinni can scare us all all the monsters. You know Zinni, said Zuri. Sometimes Lord Farquhar and Dag are looking after our lost tombs. And if they find him, I think they'll have to play tricks on us, said Zinni. So what if Lumpy was in the Finding Nemo Hotel with a gang of dinosaurs? Oh, Zuri. I don't know, said Zinni. Adele and Mr. Conductor are going to spot his son Heffalump. Lumpy, he was, swat he was watching La Four on TV, Finding Nemo's hotel, he says. <coughs> 
Soon, Anna Dar and Lumpy are watching Zuri and Zilly at Monsters Inc. Laugh 4 on TV when Ema arrived with some news. Have you noticed something, said Ema? What sort of something? asked Anna Dar. Mr. Conductor is looking for Lumpy, replied Ema. I think my dad could find me, said Lumpy. I wonder why, if, if I can happen. Well, 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 laughed Aladar. You're always saying that you could drink some milk before the Nemo Hotel can get dusty and filthy, but Darren Day will have to clean it. Indeed, added Ema. So this time, Darren Day, the dentist, will come back after his work. But I'm not sure but it'll be what he'll say. Never mind, says Aladar. Lumpy was showing you to, to make things much better, obliged. Much obliged, replied Lumpy. It's nice to be nice to be here. Look, there's some people sitting down, really, for the show called Lumpy. And they're right. So together they'll sit back and enjoy the show. Meanwhile, back at Monsters Link Laugh Floor, Zuri and Zinni heard Rose speaking to the others on the TV. The Aladar and Lumpy are on the TV with a reflection of the screen. So waited for the show to start to see all the monsters to scare everybody. Goodness, my friend Zinni, I don't think I should suggest such a thing, <coughs> said Mr. Conductor. Zuri, but Zinni interrupted himself that Mr. Conductor can go on the Little Mermaid ride and go in to find his son Heffalump. No, Zuri, Lumpy was right. I wasn't sure if I could be with him, but it's really my fault Lord Farquaad can put this trouble right. And so Dag said, Zinni, Adele and Mr. Conductor were right. I must put it right. I must, I mean... <coughs> And there were Mr. Conductor can find his son, Ephraim. I wish Lord Farquhar and Dagger were right. If they can go on the Matterhorn and Bobstay ride like Diesel 10 from Thomas and Magic Railroad, it's going to use Zuri and Zinni. He smiled. Of course, not Zuri. Anyway, Mr. Conductor says it's the same. He's arranged him with Darren Day. Very well, Zinni, concertedly. Zuri, but we know that Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad are going on the Little Mermaid ride. But it's so good to go on them clams. So it's starting to get a move on. There's a purple monster on the screen. And it was with Aladar as he carried on drinking milk and everyone said, Mike Wazowski in a cheerful voice. Mike Wazowski! Zuri and Silly heard everyone say the words and Lumpy was thinking about Saskia coming until the room would get clean on Friday morning. So he heard bubbly, bubble... Buddy Boyle speaking on TV and soon you heard them practicing. Hello humans, the speaking voice. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Take it away, Rose, to Zuri and Zinni. 
Take it away, Rose, they said. And from that day on, Siri and Zilli watched the buddy boy walking away and close the curtain as they heard Rose in the monster TV. Here we go! Here we go! Zilli and Zilli had never seen Rose speaking on TV before, while Lampers was watching on TV with Becca and Oliver. So we waited for another monster to come on. As one last, we've seen as we waited for another monster to come. And it was Mike Wazelski, the green monster on stage. Lampy had never seen Mike Wazelski on TV in Fandalina in the hotel before. So Halladar would need to get a long term familiar with a long spirally straw. Lampy knew he would need a straw to see Sophia on Friday morning when the room would get clean. Hello, humans, called in the TV voice on screen. Lampy has never heard saying hello humans before, so Mike has got one eyed monster who is amazing to see this production of his son Hey, why did you cross the But Mr. Conductor is still too far away at Magic Kingdom, so we have to look successful in the air to come tomorrow. But as soon as Zuri and Zuri are going to scare Volvo, they heard Ross again talking to Mike. Whoops! Oh no! Zuri and Zuri knew they had never seen Rose speaking to Mike before, so he hadn't anything so much special about Saskia coming on Friday. So he knew that finding in their hotel room would get really filthy, that Darren Bay would have to clean it, and Lord Firefly and Dale were getting up to Misty from the bobsleigh. And they knew they would be proving into trouble, but that could happen. Zuri looked at Zuri looked, Rose was really pressing the button, getting Mike to fall off, and Zuri would have and he did. And it was. Yeah. The, one with the, degree from the two leaders saw Mike came into the door to see all the crowd, what they've seen before. Yeah, ready for our first out, they said, to the crowd came out and saw Sam and Ella. Hello, humans, said the crowd with an amazing zero and zero, could not believe their eyes. They haven't seen Sam and Ella before, and the pictures have changed to the city. It looks lovely and beautiful, zero and zero have never seen the city before. So Zilli told Zuri about his son Nephilim, <coughs> that he was in the final in the hotel with a dinosaur before Dale and Dale were dentists. <coughs> I think he means, Zuri said, Zilidar, Aladar was looking out for lanterns and played the long time for war, like Boobar with the episode called Johnny Pink. Look, it says, Mike said Zuri, he's got a one-eyed monster, wow, that's screaming pain. It's going up and we're in the air, he said Zuri happily. Look, she said, Sally. There's a blue scary monster. Hey, let's scream together. Hey, Steve. Oh, it's really laughing off. Oh, I think Sally is so scary. The lights went down, so I love to see Eldar afterwards. Look, it's a boo, said Siri. And the city lights turned back as a little girl. Pinky boo, we would laugh. So Peekaboo had his Zuri, Peekaboo, they said, the crow went Peekaboo! Well, that one at last, and he it was just right that Mr. Conductor could find the sun here for Yes, it says Randolph, and he said, it sounds like he's been prepared to appear. I've never seen a game, Mr. Zuri. You're right, replied Zuri, and the crow laughed and laughed. All right, I
He's good to see the team in the middle. I'm just going back to see. He needs to be looking through some Heffalump and then we can find him. If he's still here, we find an emo hotel. Oh well. The sun Heffalump disappeared. Annabelle was right. Never to be seen that herd that were fired again. So here he looks, it's selling. Again, says Jimmy. And he's tizzy. He's right, really, says Jimmy. Of course, says Jimmy. It's nice to have fun on stage. Look, there's lots of glory poop. And that was Roz. He was talking to Sam and Ella. She threw an ass quite to me. And I heard it to go and saw what happens. Really? He said, Jerry, really? He said, of course, I like, I like your attitude. Look, it says, Mike, Sally, Boo, and Randall. Yes. You're right, the price, Jimmy. Right, everyone. It's time to clap and cheer, he says to them. The clap, cheer, and jelly beat. Walls to scare all humans. They don't make so much monster to the curtain they open and saw Buddy Boyle again. And it was Buddy Boyle. Come up to Zero and Zimmy and the crowd and he came down into Slayer Lollipop. Hello humans, called everyone. And Zero and Zimmy have never seen Buddy Boyle before. And they've come back to the door. I think Lumpy was right about being late for a girl. And Mr. Conductor, this is our animation result of finding the email show, says Zero and Zimmy. So it's going to be so far and gone for each of our families to find an old Lima Hotel. I've seen Dan and Dave, 42, Art of Heaven Oceans, find the room hotel of five. Zero, so you can see Lumpy when we get back. Look, there's swirly lines, and moving around, he stopped. And he starts winning around again. He stopped again, he said, Jimmy, you look. There's an Lumpy Fury speaking to Bobby Boy, he said. And it was, Uncle Puppy was speaking to Buddy Boyle. Okay. Zuri and Zuri have never seen Uncle Puppy speaking to before. So Zuri would see the monster can go up and scare okay, us. Okay, that would deal with the doctor can find his son Heffalon. I think a deal with the doctor, right, as Zuri said, Zuri, but Lumpy was still in front of Nemo today to see Saskia coming in the morning. Yes, replied Zuri, a deal with the conductor going on to the world that Lumpy was dreaming about. The magic. So if Dag and Lord Farquhar were right, that they were on the metal and bobsled We've getting ready to go on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. To find Mr. Conductor's son, Heffler. Lumpy said to him, well, Uncle Puppy is talking to Buddy Boyle, he laughs at him. I wonder if Lumpy was still in the front of the to watch him amongst his last story to do with Annabelle. So from then on, the swelling lines began to turn round again. Round again, so it comes 73. Wow, look at that! Whoops! Ta ta, hooray, we did it! <laughs> yeah, seriously, we need a crowd cheered and cheered and they danced music to play the beat. Look, it's half full! Mm. Everyone danced to the beat with music and cheering and cheering and having a wonderful time. Then the music stops and Buddy Boy is going down out of sight. Ah! Just then, Mike was out to come back in the door again, talking to Roz. I was waiting for him. <coughs> I think Mike was speaking to Roz, but I think he's got slipped. <coughs> but then, Zimmy, now the monster's said he's half full. What's half full, Zimmy? Oh, Zimmy, it's half empty yet, Zimmy replied. Sometimes I'm not sure if the monster's put the camera that was going up with a red light. So you can fill it up to stir everyone. Much of the ice now, Siri. So remember, Rod, so he's uh, watching, always watching, and the fans filled up. And so they did. They were watching, always watching, said Siri and Siri. Oh, they laughed all together. The can is half full, said Siri. So now the next monster is a one eyed orange monster called Nephew Resolve he says. And they do. How do you make a tissue dance, everyone? Say how. 
Richard Lindo, back in the front of the Nemo Toga, Monkey saw a nephew was also on the television and there's a thing off here. Look at that, oh, there's a nephew with Elski, and there's a thing with Elski, said Lumpy excitedly. Ah, oh, so he said, Aladar, oh, Lumpy had never seen nephew at Monte Dune Festival before. So he told Aladar, the other guy, this was about Lord Firefly and Dag in the Matthew and Bob show ride. From Disneyland in California, like Diesel Sam from Thomas and Magic Railroad. Baby, did you think you got to find some of that, Matthew? No, I don't know, said Baby. Again, Mr. Clutchy, can you help us find some of that? And you'd love to see Chester coming on Friday morning. That will be good, Bernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And if they find him, I think they'll have to find a, a girl with some deduction right. to try and lump him. Hey, Vincy, do you like Cinderella? Added Nero. Nero. So, Nero, so what Lord Farquhar and Dad can do when they were on the Matt Horn bobsleigh to see if Lumpy was doing fi to find a girl with some deduction to find his own head lump? Ask Bruton. I don't worry. I don't know Bruton. Ask Nero, as they heard Nero talking to his crowd, to see what the monster came into the goes up to. Nero, that's a pumpkin. To see what the monster came into the goes up to. Nero, that's a pumpkin. To see what the monster came into the goes up to. Nero, that's a pumpkin. To see what the monster came into the goes up to. So what's this yeah. I heard? There's a new idea well, about Saskia Mayo last year. Isn't she coming Friday morning before the women get dirty? Yeah, and does never ask Saskia. Saskia is coming on Friday early morning, said Lumpy, happily. And if Lord Farquhar Dave is up to something, she's taking something after him. Well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's going to be happy. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's so you can get Jimmy in the shower, so the room would get dirty. So don't worry, we'll have to clean it with Friday, guys, man. But Lumpy saw that nothing likes to thank everyone to speak to other people. And so Mike was able to come back at the door to see how the monsters came and goes up to school. Meanwhile, back to the gym to ask for us. Hooray! They saw the plane goes up at the red lights and it explodes. Hooray! We filled the pan clubs into musical cheer and clap with joy. And they saw Rob. Well, Zinni, what do you think of it, last year? It was great fun to stir the teachers in Zinni. I'm sure Lumpy would be very happy to see. Bye, humans! Yes, they are lovely to go back to find an email each other again, Zinni. Sometimes I'm really sure that Lord Farquhar and Dad was up to our own country for him. So if the conductor can find his own F-Lum, then it was time to go back to find a Nemo. Everyone said goodbye to the humans and they clapped and cheered again. Goodbye humans, they called as the crowd quickly walked away. Wow, Zuri, it's great to have a show of Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, said Zinni. Yes, he replied, Zuri. Happily come, let's go back to find a Nemo Hotel before Farquhar Dad come to get us, OK? Replied Zinni. Come on then, we're going to call and we're going to find Glumpy, called Zinni. Come on, let's go through the magic wall. And they, and they did. Here we go, they said. They glided through the wall and slid all the way back to the Finder Nemo Hotel. Here we go. Back in the Finder Nemo Hotel room, Lumpy and Aladar are watching Siri and Zinni. Oh, later, back in the Finder Nemo Hotel room, Lumpy and Aladar are waiting for Siri and Zinni to come back. Well, it's nice to have two of them watching Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, and I can see Saskia to come on Friday. Then Lord Farquhar Dad can come and get us at the Matton Bobsleigh ride, added Lumpy. Well, Saskia could come Friday, said Odar, so Nemo Room would get filthy, and Darren Day, the dentist, would have to clean it, and Lord, Human, and Coyote are must be following us. Just then, Ziri and Ziri slid out of the side and into the bathroom and fell into the bath. Wee woo they cried as they landed in the tub. <laughs> well, what did you think of that joke? said Zinni. A good monsters ink laugh floor was always exciting. It certainly was a surprise, decided Zuri, and you're right, Zinni. A really useful monkey should never be surprised by surprise, yes. You're quite right, Zuri, continued Zinni. Lord Farquhar and Dag are still on the Maton Bobsleigh going to Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. To scare all the people, just like me and Zuri, he said, and the two monkeys laughed and laughed with joy. Later, Dag and Lord Farquhar arrived at Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, ready to scare all the monsters. Well, 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 fat hat, won't have much use for looking like that, crackled Dag. 
We love to scare all the monsters in here, he said. Of course, said Lord. Farquaad is an evil, smiley grin. And his voice, Adele and Mr. Conductor are going on a little mermaid ride to see all the clans so he can find his son Heffalump. You and all those team balls and monsters will be history, added Dag happily. I wonder where Lumpy is finding a Nemo Hotel. I don't know, added Farquaad. I was on the matter on Bob's day going to see all the play at places at Disney. Very well, finished Dag. You'll have to scare all the monsters and you can find Lumpy in the Finding Nemo Hotel. And so they did. Meanwhile, back at the Magic Kingdom, <coughs> Adele and Mr. Conductor arrived back in the new fantasy land into the Little Mermaid ride. They were very excited to go to going under the sea with Ariel, Flounder, Sebastian, Scuttle, King Triton, Ursula and all of her fancy friends in the underwater ride. They knew that they could go on the clams like Finding Nemo ride at Epcot, so Mr. Conductor can find his son Heffalump in the Finding Nemo Hotel. But then he remembered what Zinni had said. Darren Day, 42, Art of Animations, find an email hotel. She said happily, Well, it's a nice day for a little mermaid ride, said Mr. Conductor. Lumpy was in the finding Nemo room, but I'm trying to find him. Well, I don't know, he said to Adele. Lord Farquaad and Dag are in the mermaid ride of Ursula, with poor unfortunate souls. Nonsense, Lord Farquaad and Dag are here into poor unfortunate souls. The Manhattan bobsleigh, the Matterhorn bobsleigh, is in the Little Mermaid ride, said Adele. You can go first, and then I'll go on the next one. I'll follow you. Yes, of course, replied Mr. Conductor. I'll go first. How can Ariel sing in part of your world? It's a really good song, and it is a really good song. Are you going to join in to, to sing? Very well, smiled Adele, but remember, singing part of your world is a good lady singer, as they went off to the clans. That's just a ticket. I'll go behind you. So they did. First Mr. Conductor got onto the first clam and Adele went on to the next clam. So together they went off into the sunken ship, into the ride, to see Ariel Flounder, Sebastian Scuttle, King Triton, Ursula, Ursula and all their friends under the sea. And the clams went into the sunken ship. Mr. Conductor was at the front of the clam and Adele was in the back of the clam, in between the Cooper family and the other people until they went into the ship until they saw Scuttle playing a concertina like Rosie and Jim. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Here we go. <coughs> Here we go. We're going to the sunken ship. Look at the look at look at Scuttle playing the concertina beautifully, like Rosie and Jim. With John, Pat, and Neil. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, we're going to the water below. It's so beautiful. Woohoo, here we go. We're going to the water below. Mr. Conductor. Mr. Conductor cannot believe his eyes. So, uh, so is Adele. Wow, it's nice to be underwater, she says, happily. And then they saw a mermaid sitting on a rock. And then they see it's Ariel who sings part of the world at them. Adele and Mr. Conductor have never seen Ariel singing before. He wished he could be part of the world with her. Wow, look at her singing part of the world with Flounder, the fish exclaimed. Mr. Conductor, Lumpy was right. Sometimes he was going to find an email to tell because it's art of animation as well. Yes, you're right, replied Adele. Darren Bates says he's pretending to be a dentist, and Saskia can come on Friday. The room would get filthy, dirty, and dusty. Far from dead would be the would be poor unfortunate souls of Ursula. Oh, I see, he said, Mr. Conductor. I wish I could be part of that world. So that's why she sings in every scene. 
he says he's going to the next song and saw Sebastian singing under the sea with all the other sea creatures playing instruments. Possibly a well playing. Yeah. Under the sea playing. Yeah, look at them playing. Playing really beautiful, exclaims the conductor. Goliath City. He's really amazing. Not a Sebastian, but a male conductor. Well, look at the aerial dancing beautifully. A girl had never seen the band music before. She loved hearing the band instrument playing to the band music. So a girl, we can help us find our son Hefflon from the case Douglas Wildcard can't get to some sort of continuing with the conductor. Now how can Lumpy go about his dad on, the girl asked. Respectfully, only the lost two, at least Lumpy can find you, find the new one too. Perhaps your father and dad will take the monsters into our floor. Not the little mermaid wives in this conductor, I'm professorly. I wish we can go on the wind of the pre wives. Yes, sick I guess we can go on the pre wives and then the seven years wine chain. We can look out for Ursula, replied this conductor. She's still in poor unfortunate souls. Much obliged, replied Luke, and they went inside. Poor unfortunate souls playing. Soon I arrived at the sea chain, and this conductor was very scared and very excited. There was Ursula singing Poor Unfortunate Souls. This conductor had never seen Ursula singing Poor Unfortunate Souls before, but he hadn't anything that was so much as to come true as he saw Ariel facing Eric to see if he's okay. Lumpy says he used to be an upper lump, but then you find him, and we should still head back to Day and Day 42 after the animation of Fuzzy Moon on the said the girl. Oh, that little lump disappears to this conductor, can't get enough of your love, and never to be seen that Eric is gone again. <coughs> Until he saw the eye brights in the darkness, he saw Ariel spinning in some magic. Oh dear, it's going to turn into a human! This could be that to it's very funny to see Ariel spinning around the magic. First he's been doing up something, up from up to something. As soon as he got to a land, he saw Sebastian singing just a girl to the sea creatures in the blue tree, and Ariel and Eric are on the boat going across the water. Kiss the girl playing! Mr. Conductor had never seen a rowing boat before, but he moved to find his son Heffalon. He wished he had not been seen to another thing, but part of the world that makes his wish come true, maybe. I could find Lumpy when he was in the final hotel to get to the real dirty, so go and go, that's a clean little find Mr. Conductor. But he's far away, over to the Art of Animation is all. As soon as they come to the human shadows of Ariel and Eric, a girl of Mr. Conductor had never heard Ariel singing before, but as he saw her sing in her heart come back to life. Well, a girl, did you like to hear Ariel singing? Yes, Mr. Conductor. Wow, it looks marvellous. Besides, a girl, a girl. But from now on, I'll be happy to look forward to the future. Darren Day, 42, Art of Animation, Flag and Emo. So, look, Ursula is scared of being defeated. She called, oh my god, Christ, Mr. Conductor's surprise. Ursula was very scared of being defeated, so she's going to die and go to her death. She's going to a death laugh girl. Ariel and Eric could go on and live happily ever after with us. So come on, let's go. To the last one, and we went to the last one. Wow, well, look at everyone dancing. How these was are getting married. So then it's going to sing that song. Look at all the fireworks exploding in the sky, it's going to go. She was amazed to see scuttles saying they live happily ever after. So did Luke, Mum, Dad, and Joe Adele, and this is actually lovely little men they were, very much. But they wanted to live happily ever after. At last, the ride was over, and Mr. Connell, Mr. Conductor, got off the clams and out of the Little Mermaid ride and headed back to outside Fantasyland. Wow, gasped Adele. She went out of the Mermaid ride and saw the Cooper family going out of the Little Mermaid ride and going back to Old Key West for a swim. You can't go in there, she exclaimed to Mr. Conductor. Yep, he said. Darren Day, 42, Art of Emanations, Find an Emo Hotel, she said to herself. Yep, replied Mr. Conductor. Now we're going to just walk straight to him together and went off to see his son Heffalump in the Finding Nemo Hotel. Just uh, just keep walking, Adele sung as she went across Magic Kingdom. Just keep walking, Adele, he grumbled. She tried to stop singing. There was silence and everywhere is quiet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Adele walked behind Mr. Conductor and she began to talk about colours. But this took this taking a while, says Mr. Conductor. Hey, why don't you play a game, Adele asked Adele. OK, replied Mr. Conductor. Uh, OK, continued Adele. I'm thinking of something um, orange and it's small. Is it me, said the, said, uh, said Mr. Conductor. Oh, yes. OK, it looks like orange, um, small. That's me, replied Mr. Conductor again. Oh, righty, Mr. Smarty Pants. Smarty Pants. And Adele went on. And it's orange and small and white stripes. Me, went Mr. Conductor. And the next one, just to guess, me. We're going to get to this service. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. Follow me, shouted. Hey, she said again. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, relax, relax, replied Adele. Take a deep breath. She Relax. Says, she says and took a deep breath together. Mmm, ah, oh, they sighed. I say, let's ask somebody for directions, finished Adele. Oh, fine. Who do you want to ask, expert? There's nobody here putting Mr. Conductor. Well, let's ask someone in Orlando. Adele put him brightly, so it's not where we're going to get. Let's see. Um, they're um, near our... She looked around to see what Lumpy was in the Finding Nemo Hotel, but it's too far away to be seen until she saw something. Nada, she said, and she saw the shadow rolling by Magic Kingdom at Disney. <gasps> oh, there's somebody, she cried. Hey, go it, go it, she called. Mm, Adele, 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 Mr. Kinnard called. Back to her, OK? Now it's my turn. I'm thinking about something dark and mysterious, he whispered. It's a tune. We don't, uh, we don't know much. We don't know, but maybe ask for directions. It could adjust us and spit out. Spit her out. <clears throat> let's ask for many. Let's ask them for directions, asked Adele. I don't want to get out of the cover and continue to conductor. Mr. Conductor, right. Now, you want to play a card, a, a card? Let's play the less of the card. You want to get out of here, don't you? She said, of course I do, he said. Well, then we're going to do this. We give it a shy and then help for the best, pointed Adele. Hmm. OK, Adele, you know, you'll understand pointed Mr. Conductor. Come on, trust me. Please trust me on this, replied Adele. Well, if you're in vain, I think we're just asking for directions. Mr. Conductor sighed. He was going to find his son Heffalump and he saw his arm had been scratched. Adele's arm was battered, oh, bruised dear. and scratched by a thundercloud that the nurse can give you a plaster to wear on her arm to make it feel better. All right, finished Mr. Conductor as he went up to the carousel. Then Adele come up beside him. Fast as we can, so can you help us out, she asked with wonder. She saw the shadow moving closer and closer on until little Toon Fella come out, and she replied. Mr. Conductor didn't know what to do, to go to find the Nemo Hotel, so he said to her, all the gang of dinosaurs and lemurs that live in the Find the Nemo Hotel. replied Mr. Conductor. Do you know what to do to find the Nemo Hotel, he said, to see her and all the giant gang of dinosaurs and the lemurs that live in the Find the Nemo Hotel? Adele, I'm a little toon fellow. I don't think I, uh, that's a little toon fellow, thought Mr. Conductor. But as he was just thinking about Lumpy, they saw a strange and unfamiliar chuffing sound. Ooh. Yeah, and it's really... <gasps> Come on, oh, oh, little fella. Oh, Come on. Big Toon Fella. Shh, shh, shh. Come on, big fella. Come on. Don't worry. I'm a little fella. I don't think that's a little fella. Listen. Carry on. Oh, 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 big toon fellow. Is that a sweeper, said Adele. OK, maybe only speak sweeper as she began to moo. Oh, my mood in him. Moo. Oh, she went on. What are you doing? What are you doing? He asked. 
I'm sure you'll you speak sweet, Mrs. Smith Conductor. Adele carried on mooing and vibrating. Go! Adele, I don't know what you're saying, snorted Mr. Conductor. Says he's chuffing away. Come on! Bye. Come back! She wowed. Did not defend him, he said. Maybe it put... Maybe it put... Maybe it put... To, it, it looked, she said, as she went on mooing again. Maybe the dialect. Mooed Adele as her stomach began to get vibrating. Adele, Adele, this is not a sweeper. Nothing like an upset stomach, grumbled Mr. Conductor. Well, she tried humpback, she replied. Now, don't try humpback, he said. Whoa, whoa. She mooed in a deep voice. All right, you actually sound sick, murmured Mr. Conductor. Maybe louder, said Adele. Her... Wah, wah, wah. She yelled in a very loud mooing voice. Don't do that, snapped Mr. Conductor. Much awkward in the saloon, she mumbled, but it doesn't sound awkward. It sounds nothing like I've ever heard, grumbled to himself. <laughs> she moved in a vibrating voice. It's just as well. We might be hungry, added Mr. Conductor. Don't worry, sweepers don't keep humans. They eat bugs, said Adele. But then hundreds of screaming ants raced past her. Bugs! Run away! Run away! They scream! Run away! <laughs> oh, look! Bugs, she says, as the sweeper come closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. And even closer! And then it was too late. Adele and Mr. Conductor were swept oh. into the sweeper's mouth with the spiky roller in front of them. <gasps> look out! He shouted. But it was too late. No! Now. Move Adele, move! Cried Mr. Conductor. Move Adele! Move! <laughs> they screamed as the sweeper was shut into the mouth and a snap! Look out! He shouted, but it was too late. <clears throat> Until it went out of sight. Meanwhile, Back in the Finding Nemo Hotel, Lumpy saw the room was dusty and filthy. Look at that. Would you like, would you look at that dusty and filthy, absolute dusty and filthy, murmured Aladar. That's all thanks to you, kid. You made it possible, Lumpy giggled with delight. Young Zinni, I said no cleaning the floor, called Aladar, and young Lima stopped cleaning the floor of his toilet brush. I'm ashamed, groaned young Zinni, sadly. Hey, look, scum, algae, chortled Plilo. He was making an angle shape better than a star shape. <coughs> Baby Perilosa was <coughs> crying in distress. Oh, 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 cried Baby Perilosa, who was in the first room, as Zinni was in the Finding Nemo shower and saw a dirty bubble in the loo. <gasps> Zinni gasped. <gasps> bubbles, cried Zinni. I will love them bubbles. <coughs> blah, blah. Then Zinni began to cough and choke and gag. <coughs> As Zuri was looking around to find Zinni, Zinni, has anybody seen Zinni? Asked Zuri, Zinni? Nine o'clock and cute dentist, said Nira. Just then, Darren Day arrived back at the dentist. Hello, Barbara. Sorry I'm late, said Darren Day as he raced up to the boy. Okay, okay, we're here, we're here. We're okay, replied Nira. Little David round, replied Darren Day as Lumpy come up to the shower. Zinni said, Lumpy, Zinni, oh Zinni, where are you? He answered as he opened a big curtain to see what he was doing, to see he was doing a wash. Zinni, what are you doing here? asked Lumpy. I'm having a shower to wash all the body off when the room would get filthy. Well, you're looking very well, but you're looking perfect, laughed Lumpy, as they heard Bruton eating, eating egg food. <laughs> Bruton, that's disgusting, said Aladar, as he came up beside him. Mmm, tastes pretty good to me, said Bruton. <laughs> uh, sniffed Aladar. 
Yeah. Don't you people realise we are walking in our own shh? Here he comes, called Ziri. What the? said a voice. Ah, oh, screamed Lumpy as he hid under his bed. Then Darren Day looked at the dusty window in the room. Crikey, what a state gasped Dar Darren Day as he dug the dust inside the room and wiped it on his red dentist shirt. Uh. Oh, Barbara! That's my own, was that my only appointment for tomorrow? asked Darren Day. Uh, candy fog lamp, says Barbara, who was in the counter sh showing how to find a better way to leave it open. Uh, would you, uh, I'm going to clean the hotel room before Saskia gets here, added Darren Day. Just, just him, he was gone, he was gone after his bath. Zuri and Zinni went outside to the Finding Nemo Squirty Playground. Come on, Zinni, let's go to the Squirty Playground, said Zuri, and together they went off. Just then, Aladar came up to the window, leaving Lumpy under the bed. Meanwhile, Zuri and Zinni are playing the squirty water, but having a wonderful time. Zuri saw Pearl squirting at her. Wow, that's cool, really tickles, laughed Zuri. Then Zinni saw Sheldon squirting at him. Oh, baby, this is fun, really tickles, laughed Zinni, as they squirted each other. Then Aladar came up to the window. You two leave the squirting with water. Wow, this is really fun playing with squirty things, said Aladar. This is magnificent, said Bruton, as he came up to Aladar. Just then, Crone arrived with Pilo and Yar. Wow, would you look at that? Bruton and Zuri and Zinni are having, squirt uh, having squirting games to the fish of the blue fish. Ted, Pearl and Sheldon, exclaimed Crone. They're, great, they're grateful, said Yar. Yes, and it sounds really funny, replied Pilo. Soon as Zuri and Zinni noticed that a big crane was high over above the Finding Nemo Hotel. Oh my goodness, said Zinni. It's a very big crane. Come on, let's jump up, young lady, he says, as the crane swooped around and the chains as the, and they jumped onto it. It was unloading a huge crate that was carrying a huge lorry. Then Al saw, Aladar saw the two lemurs on the big crate who was swinging with a hook on top of it. Al then Aladar went outside with Hilo and Yar. Zuri, Zinni, said Aladar. Wow, they cried. Whoa! Oh, they, they went on. Zuri, Zuri, good Pilo. What are you Whoa! doing? What's going on? Zuri, Zuri, Pilo, what are you doing? They're up on the big crane, said Jar. Zuri and Zinni, what are you doing up there? Come down, it's too windy and too dangerous, cried Aladar. It's just like the fun fair last Give us two seconds. Woohoo! They laugh as the crane spins around like, like a top. It's getting very windy out here. Yay! Ten seconds. It only takes you to land in trouble, said Aladar. But then the wind blew harder and harder and harder and the crane spun round and round and round, faster and faster and faster. It couldn't stop. Screams, but the fingers wouldn't hold on any longer. But then it started to slip. Ah! Ah! They cried as they flew through the air. Ah! Whoosh! Whoosh! Went the wind as they flew over the sweeper, chucking by them. It happened. <gasps> Zuri, Zuri! Shouted Aladar. He was shocked. <gasps> they screamed as they went down below. It landed onto the Matterhorn Bob Tray ride with Lord Farquaad and Dad in there coming back from monsters in the off floor. Boom! Twinkle toes and singing toes, Zuri and Zinni. Zuri and Zinni, they said in a evil voice, but Zuri and Zinni are still up to no good. Oh my towel cries Zinni as he quickly grabbed it back. You won't be doing any surfing and balancing up here, you two. Catch you. Catch you now. Said Dad, really? Said Zuri. Watch me. Here goes your prize to me. Hang on tight, you two moon dodgers! They must have cried, so they did! Yeah! Yeah! They cried. Farquhar and Dad has hijacked them and have got away, cried Lumpy. Oh no! Dad! 
Bezos hijacked him. What's going to happen to Zuri and Zuri now? Asked Nira as Alavar come back into the room. Well, my gang will be getting actually used to that with trouble, said Alavar. Eventually, for is a dino gang. But I don't know what eventually means. But maybe it sounds very, very long, young Zinni whispered. And you have to look out for Mr. Conductor, said Pilo, as she saw Lumpy hiding under the bed. Aladar walked up to the bed. He chuckled with delight. <laughs> Did you hear the dead sharp bait heffalump? Asked Aladar. Yeah, you're going to clean the room. Yeah, he's going to clean the room. Yeah, you're going to clean, be clean, cried Lumpy. Are you ready to see your dad, kid? Heffalump replied, Aladar. Ah, oh, I am, added Heffalump. Of course you are, added Aladar. You know, if you want to be surprised, he's out there in the big blue pool. You'll be waiting for him right now. Yeah, Lumpy said kindly. And together, and the other dinosaurs come into the first room to see his dad on his way to the Find the Nemo Hotel of Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Peaceful music playing. It was very quiet and peaceful at Disney. All the people were going on the rides at Magic Kingdom Park. People are going on Tomorrowland rides and then the sweeper went chuffing past other people. Sweeper was enjoying itself being a sweeper. That breaks robot parts from scrap as it chugged slowly along the Tomorrowland and heard a crying voice. Mr. Conductor yelling in the sweeper. Oh! Cried Mr. Conductor was inside the sweeper. Then it wasn't long before the sweeper roller was into the metal mouth. There are the undergrounds washing each other past him as Mr. Conductor was not enjoying his ride in the sweeper. Oh! oh! He yelled as he tried to get out, but there was no good. He was stuck inside the sweeper. Then he heard Adele laughing happily. <laughs> Adele? Would you just stop it, Step Mr. Conductor? Why? What's wrong? She asked. We're in a sweeper. Don't you get it? We're on the crossy of sweepers. She went on a sweeper. Because you asked for it. You asked for your help. And now we're stuck here. He snapped. Wow, a sweeper, you know. I speak sweepers, said Adele. No, you're insane. You can't speak, Sweeper. I've got to get out, shouted Mr. Conductor. Uh -huh, come on, don't try this! I have to find my son, he panted. I have to tell him how uh, old seagulls and fairies are. But still, it was no good as he moaned desperately onto the underground sweeper floor. <laughs> Here goes oh, the big one! <laughs> oh, 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 she laughed as he laughed. <laughs> she laughed as he saw <laughs> She laughed and saw Mr. Conductor lying down on the underground floor. Hey, you okay? She asked as she come down to the underground sweeper. Poor Mr. Conductor was very upset because he can't get out of the sweeper and now he's stuck. There, there, it's all right. It'll be okay, Adele whispered sadly. No, no, it won't, Mr. Conductor whispered. Sadly sure it will, she said. You, you'll see, quite hurt, in a quite hurt voice. No, he groaned. I promised it might not happen to you oh well that's a funny thing to promise what asked mr conductor quiet well you can't let anything happen to him other than what happened to him adele whispered softly to mr conductor's side with a quiet upset manner not much fault for a little hyper laughed adele she was going to try and find lumpy but mr conductor knew he wasn't so sure he wanted to do it if lord farquhar dad were on the bobsleigh ride to defeat it into the matterhorn sidings sliding over the edge and into the big blue pool. Adele knew she'd have to speak sweeper so she remembered if Farquhar was going to play a trick on Dag. Then they heard a rumbling noise inside the sweeper. <laughs> went in, went the inside as Adele speaks to sweeper to see what was going on. Hmm, she said. What's going on? Asked Mr. Conductor. Now, you know, I'll ask him, said Adele. And she began to speak in a moving voice. <sighs> Go on. 
She mooed Adele, said Mr. Conductor. Adele, Adele, he went on. She went on, but then she heard a sweeping, roaring and clanging of metal inside. <laughs> Adele had never seen roaring and metal clanking inside the sweeper before. As Mr. Conductor got up and came beside her. I think it says we've stopped, said Adele. Well, of course we've stopped, said Mr. Conductor. Just stop trying to speak, sweeper. We're going to make things worse. But then he heard a strange rumbling noise. <laughs> what is that noise, he asked. When you <gasps> uh oh Inside the sweeper rumbling, clanging and clanging and clanking, they made metal into robots. Oh no, look what you did, said Mr. Conductor. What is that noise? The metal inside is going down. It is, it is, it is, it's going down, he cried. Really, are you sure about that? Added, uh, added Adele. Look already, it's half empty, says Mr. Conductor. Hmm, I'll say it's half full, says Adele. Stop, it's half empty, he snapped. Oh. But it wasn't... It wasn't long before the inside was going down and down and down and down and down. And halfway down, the metal clanked and clanked and croaked halfway above the inside. OK, continue Adele. This one is lit up, but either way we should go back up the throat or he wants a root beer float. Of course he wants us to go. That's because he's eating us, cried Mr Conductor angrily. How do I taste, Moby? How do I taste? Good? You tell him. I'm not interested in being lunch. Okay, she went on. <coughs> Stop talking to him, he shouted. But then... They screamed and stopped. We're hanging on top of the inside funnel. What's going on? He asked crossly. I'll check, she says. Wow! No, no, no more sweeper. You can't speak sweeper, said Mr. Conductor. Yes, I can, cried Adele. No, you can't, snapped Mr. Conductor. You think you can do these things, but you just can't, Lumpy. Suddenly, he heard another rumbling and roaring sound. The sweeper was getting closer. Okay, she said Adele, uh, he cried as he ah, grabbed her oh. hands. The sweeper was chuffing to the Finding Nemo Hotel. He says, it's time to let go, cried Adele. Everything's going to be all right. How do you know, continuous conductor? How do you know? Something bad isn't going to happen to us. He cried. I don't, shouted Adele, as Miss Conductor gulped and the sweeper was coming to find an emo pool. It came closer and closer and closer. Then he let go. <laughs> they screamed. They screamed as they fell in the water of the swimming pool. They screamed again. And... Splash! Went the water. <laughs> water splashing everywhere. Soon they reached the Finding Nemo Hotel. Oh. <laughs> We're, We're alive! alive. We're alive! 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 We're alive!
all the animations. That's all the animations. All the animations. All the animations again. Thank you. So wait, 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 wait. says in a mooring voice as the sweeper chuffed away from the Finding Nemo Hotel and went back into the chop chop shop. Adele was delighted. Wow, I wish I could speak sweeper, she says. Well, OK, all we're going to do now is find the room and took and took it, said Mr Conductor. Great, she cried. Come on, Adele, you can do this, laughed Mr Conductor as they went off to find Lumpy in the Finding Nemo Hotel. Carry on. The next day, back in Arky West, Luke and his family were having breakfast. Luke was watching Finding Nemo 2013 on iGeek and he was watching Finding Nemo Disc 2 full frame on Wally as well. Luke was watching cars full screen on television. It was amazing to go on the Tron when he was being built ready for 2022. Oh yeah! Well, it's to be having one morning breakfast with Luke as he was eating toast at Old Key West. He loved watching full screen version of cars for the first race. He wished he had never seen racing before so he carried on eating toast until he finished eating and carried on watching DVDs in the villa room. A few days later, back in the Finding Nemo... Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Carry on. A few days later, back in the Finding Nemo Hotel, in the dentist office room, the dinosaurs and the lemurs woke up on Friday morning to a shocking sight. All of the room was clean. Young Zinni yawned as he woke up in delight. <sighs> oh, oh, young Zinni, good morning. It's morning, everyone. Today's the day. The sun is shining. The room is clean, and we're getting out. Of the... <gasps> the room is clean. He says, "Who did it?" There was the room, very safe, nice and clean. The room is clean. He screeched as he Ding. could not believe his eyes. Ding! Wow. There was the air scum getting ready to say in a robot voice, like a Dalek from Doctor Who. But how asked Nira? As she looked down at Aladar, boss must have installed it last night while we were sleeping, said Aladar. Well, what we're going to do, asked Lumpy. He was looking down at Pilo and Yar. What's it say, young Zinni? asked Ema. <laughs> I can't hear you, young Zinni. He went over, went on, as young Zinni went out of the bathroom to tell the others that Saskia was coming. Oh, Saskia's coming today. Mm. The Air Scum 2003 is an all-purpose self-cleaning maintenance free salt room purifier. It's guaranteed to even extend the life of your hotel room. Dino's putting young Zinni as he told all about Saskia Mayo coming to pick her up. Stop it, said Crone. The air scum is programmed to scan your room environment every five minutes, said the young Zinni. But what does that mean, Ozima? But then the air scum began to scan the temperature. Here goes. Zap went the air scum as it scanned the dinos and lemurs. Ah, oh, cried Ema as the air scum began to speak in an air scum voice. A temperature of 82 degrees, pH balance, normal, said the air scum with his announcer voice. Oh, they said, it's wonderful, said Aladar. Oh, nice, nice, said young Zinni. Oh, curse you, aqua scum. Oh, oh curse you, aqua scum. Yelled Ema. That's it for the escape plan. It's ruined, said Bruton. Lumpy was worried about what we're going to do about it. But then... <gasps> Saskia! Cried the dinosaurs and, Le and the lemurs. Lumpy was surprised. Ah! Ah! Stay down, kid, called Earl as he hid behind the bathroom door. But it wasn't Saskia. It was a little boy with his mum in the dentist. <coughs> <coughs> False alarm, said Aladar. They all deep, they all sighed deeply. Oh, oh, I don't know. Much worse out of these days. It's worth it, said Pilo. What are we going to do to remember brackets? We've been here, said Jar. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, replied Aladar, but not for long. Hmm. lump cried young Zinni. Walk down, everyone. Push him and jump in your in your three lemurs, called Bruton. And together, Pilo, Yar and young Zinni jumped into the bath bucket and walked down together. 
One down they call to the city email. Let's go and get out of the bucket with his hand and the bucket dropped onto the floor and they got out. What the? Ask Darren Day. Yay! They cheered. Ah, good work, laughed young Zilly. But then they heard a strange rumbling and clanking sound coming from outside. There was Lord Farquaad and Dag the Coyote with Zuri and Zilly in both packs on the Matterhorn Bobsay ride, trundling to the Find the Nemo Hotel. I'm sorry, Pilo, said Zuri. I'm sorry, R said Zilly, as he got his electric remote to look through the magic wall. I'm sorry, because I've been whatever. It's ruined, Zuri, but we'll be responsible for life on really useful, said Zilly, as he turned the little hand onto the electronic remote, like Phoenix and Ferb, on the movies across the two dimensions, that when the electronic remote as we came closer to the magic wall. Into Lumpy. Ah! Ah! Wild Lumpy as the bobsleigh come to a stop. And Zuri and Zuri jumped off the bobsleigh and flew into the air and landed on the floor. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, yeah! Ah! Wild Zuri and Zuri bump Lumpy whimpered. Silly as he got up behind Lumpy's towel until he heard Farquaad and Dad. <laughs> so you found these leaders and dinosaurs too, huh? Sneered Lord Farquaad. You love to see Saskia coming today, but Lumpy was scared that this new that was over that Lord Human could see his son Heffalump. Dad crackled with evil. <laughs> Bye, Twinkle Toes and Singing Toes, laughed Dad. But Zuri and Zinni were not feeling cheerful, they were scared. Oh no, Zinni said, <coughs> it's Lord Human, a coyote with traps. Here we go, said Lord Farquaad and Dag together. Zinni, what are we going to do, cried Lumpy. Darren Day would get me. We'll think of something, replied Zinni, when we'll that close the door. Hee ha ha ha, they laughed and laughed. With an evil laugh, Lumpy was still scared because he was trapped with the dinosaurs. If I just heard my Lima, I promise nothing great if any could help all the heads now. Or never, I got used to a dentist to use a big box gulp, Zinni. Are you ready, said Dad? No, we're not, replied Lumpy. Let's get Darren Bay to scoop him in a box, said Lord Farquhar. Lumpy, a brain's cried, Zinni. Get him in the box as Darren Day grabbed the box and scooped Lumpy up off the floor. Now, we are said Zinni, but then... Zinni! cried Lumpy. He was screaming for help. Lumpy cried, Zinni! Shut up, mate! Heffalum said to their guys. Darren Day put the box down and Lumpy began to push down the window. What the... Push, kid! Heffalum, lean, kid! Push, kid! Lean, kid! cried Zinni as Lumpy pushed and pushed the box out of the window. Uh, Darren Day, the dentist, quickly grabbed the box again. Uh, 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 uh. Oops, that would have been a nasty fall, laughed Darren Day as he put the box down again. Aladar, don't let me go belly up, don't let me go belly up, cried Lumpy in the box. Lumpy, just stay calm, you, uh, you won't gonna, you, I'll be promise, you're gonna be okay, said Aladar. Just then the door slammed open with a crash. Oh. Saskia had arrived from the inclusion project in 2019. All the dinosaurs and leaders were surprised. <gasps> Saskia, they cried. Saskia! What the? They said indignantly. Saskia gasped, Dag. He was surprised. With all that, the Matt's on Bobsay rolled away from the Find an Emo Hotel and into the magic wall. <laughs> Meanwhile, back outside the Finding Nemo Hotel, Adele and Mr. Conductor found the children were playing in the big blue pool. Adele was being a sleeping baby. If she can find Mr. Conductor's son, Heffalump, why did any of these children in the pool were unfamiliar to you, she said in a sleepy voice. No, but the children in the pool has to be here somewhere, said Mr. Conductor. Firmly, come on, Adele. We're going to find it in the case far while the dad comes here. I'm totally excited. Are you excited? She yawned in a sleepy sort of way. Adele yawned and yawned and yawned. And yawned. <laughs> and Mr. Conductor tapped Adele in the cheeks. 
Right, come on Adele, wake up, wake up, interrupts his conductor. Then suddenly they saw a strange owl coming from the sky. It was the falcon from Stuart Little too. <gasps> bird, she cried with surprise. That's not a bird, it's a villain owl, cried Mr Conductor with a shocking sort of surprise. Mr. Conductor, as a falcon dove from the sky and scooped them up on his evil beak. Whoosh! At last he landed in the drop off calf and tried to swallow it. <coughs> ah! No, I have forgot, but I wanted to eat breakfast, snapped Mr. Conductor. Falcon coughed, forted, choked, and gagged and fell on the ground. Just then, Spider Man was talking uh, to the dragons. Uh, 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 <coughs> Just then, Spider-Man was talking to the dragons and heard the falcon coughing with, into his tonsils. Tonsils. Ah, hey, Spider-Man, one dragon said. How will it look? But what are Spider-Man's? Bailing up and redeem Falcon as more as he can handle. He's choose more than he can handle, said Toothless. Yeah, I reckon somebody to help a little poor guy, said Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm right, I'm right, said the dragons to each other. Oh, well, without anybody swinging off. At once, said Spider-Man, as he swung up in front of the falcon. <coughs> he choked and choked and choked until Spider-Man came into the calf. All right, falcon, what is it? The human's got your tongue, asked Spider-Man. And then falcon come gagging out of his mouth and saw Adele and Mr. Conductor inside. Ah, oh, they screamed. Uh, ah! Another bird, he cried as falcon. Go, Adele, Mr. Conductor. Out they fell onto the ground. Blah, I'm gag Falcon. I'm going to find my son Lumpy, well, Mr. Conductor. Spider-Man gasped that Falcon was breathing heavily with sickness. <laughs> Lumpy, uh, hey, 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 said that. That heffalump, do you know what, I, what I've been talking about? The whole land of this, said Spider-Man. Hey, I know your son, huh? Spider-Man, huh? Adele and Mr. Conductor ran towards the swimming pool. Hey, wait, now come back. He's cold as he runs to the swimming pool. Stop! Adele kept going. He's crazy, said Mr. Conductor. I've got something to tell you, shouted Spider-Man. But just then, one of the monkeys spat out of his mouth. <gasps> Splat went the dribble as it went into the ground. Ooh, said the monkey, who was looking at Spider-Man yeah. as the monkeys gathered around to see what was happening to him. Ooh. OK, don't make any sudden moves, whispered Spider-Man. Hop inside my mouth if you want to live. Hop in your mouth? Ha! <laughs> It made me live, sighed Mr. Conductor. All oh, said another monkey as he came down to him. Because I can take you to your son, Heffalump, replied Spider-Man. Yeah, right, was Mr. Conductor. I'm your son, Heffalump continued. I know your son, Heffalump, continued Spider-Man. I promise, he's orange, gonna get, gonna make me on feel one side. That's lumpy, Mr. Conductor, as the monkeys gathered around for the swinging race. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> now! Now! <laughs> Giggled the monkeys as Miss Conductor jumped onto Spider-Man's back. Screamed the girl as she jumped onto Spider-Man's back. As well, quickly they raced over the swimming pool and Spider-Man was getting ready for the TV race. On your marks, get set. Fasten your seatbelts called Spider-Man as he jumps high in the air and they sped away from the front of the motel. Together, the monkeys jumped off the ground, swinging high into the air and chased after Spider-Man. Spider-Man was swinging very fast, so were the monkeys. As they laughed, as they were speeding up the swing into the Magic Kingdom. Hoo-wah, hoo-wah, laughed Adele, speeding by Cinderella. Went the monkeys, but then... Ah! Well, Mr. Conductor. Ooh. And the monkeys swooped down through Cinderella's castle until they swung past the Disney carousel past Matt had to spoon teacups through the transit authority bridge and swung, swung through the bridge of Tomorrowland Speedway and went over to see Dwight Paul's mine train. 
When the monkey again, as they came up towards a very big crane. Soon they went back to the art of animation. Spider-Man and monkeys swung and raced back to the Fidelin Motel. And they come up to the crane to see who was the winner. The monkeys were going closer to win the finish line on the crane. Spider-Man came closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. And soon they come to a long train arm. Spider-Man swung through it. Monkeys. Oh, 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 oh. the monkeys. Spider-Man, come to the crane arm. It was unloading a huge ship's boiler. Everybody hold on, Spider-Man yelled. Here we go! Ah! <laughs> they shrieked as Spider-Man swung under the monkeys, landed in the crane and won the race. Yahoo! I won, cried the monkey as they chatted together. Oh, oh, oh. They giggled as the first monkey wins the swinging race because it comes first. One monkey stayed on a huge boiler and saw Spider-Man swinging away and being left behind. Spider-Man was going to the Spider-Man ride at Universal and together they went on the magic grass. Minutes later, back in the Finding Nemo... Oh, a few minutes later, back in the Finding Nemo room, all the other dinosaurs are going to watch Spaceman... watch Spider-Man ride on television. They were very, very excited to see Saskia in the Finding Nemo Hotel dentist. She had long curly hair and pretty fingernails. She was Saskia Sherman Mayo from the Inclusion Project. Together they all watched Spider-Man swinging through the Spider-Man ride at Universal Studios in Orlando. Saskia remember her lumpy was a heifer-lump, so she knew if Darren Day could come and meet her at the dentist. Uh, as Baby Eladar turned on the TV, they were ready to watch Spider-Man on the TV who was swinging through the magic grass. Everybody gathered around to watch Spider-Man ride on television as, saw, as they saw Adele and Mr. Conductor are in the ride of Universal. Ah, uh, right, John, can't do closed. Excuse me. Wow. Look at the red light sign said one heard. And look at him swinging like a shadow. Wow, look at that red light master floating in the wall exclaimed Paralosophus and look there's Spider-Man coming to the other people called Jitney. Jitney had never seen Spider-Man on TV before so she was sure to be finding the most swimming pool. She spoke to find the new room. As Baby Eladar saw Spider-Man swimming away she got all the Marvel Supers to fight the other people in the way. Look there's a moon driving a truck called Paralosophus. He was very surprised so that the baby eyes could not believe it, so they could see trust for the dentist office in the front of Nemo Hotel. Wait, 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 here we go! Oh, it's the Dark Eye Goggles. This could be the most dangerous night of my life. Enjoy. Be careful. Let's shake. Here we go! Oh, it's a truck! Rah! 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 Oh, look, it's coming through the paving tunnel, said one raptor. He's swinging from the city <laughs> wide, and look, it's coming back again, said another raptor. Even though, while a Spider-Man has been the universal of that baby on the look, there's a giant water man, and he's... Roaring at him! Roaring? Oh, my God. It's a really evil man made of water, and he's doing a trick to Petra, Petra Donnie. And the water man hit the rolling pipe and pushed all the way to the brick wall, which was broke through by the octopus man. <coughs> oh my goodness, it's octopus man who's been making the octopus fire. He looks wonderful, so that the 
Let's go to Rapture. Oh my God, he's pulling me back, cried another Rapture, as he spun away from the fire. And it went through the town until I saw Spider-Man <coughs> again, who's on a, a legacy turn a marble fireball. Oh yeah. <coughs> <coughs> wow, well, look at that evil marble fireball, so far you go. It's an evil man who's played a trick on uh -oh. Spider-Man. Oh no, fire! And yet there's a marble fireball that's like, exploding the bridge, and there's another one flying through the big horse for the second rector. Oh my god, fly like the old baby Pan Rossibus, and it's going to the town star, so they do. Oh look, there's Spider Man swinging up to the star cinema, and there's Octopus Man coming to the other day's mother, and Octopus Man followed the cinema sign and turned into green, and the fountain went everywhere, and Octopus Man fired at everyone, and he went up the wall, and he saw it into the air. There was Spider Man climbing and jumping up the wall, and he sprang to his helicopter. Then it tied up to the top of the building. Oh my goodness, look at the legs of falling down into the road. Come down the corner, there's a giant water man floating out in the air. So, can I catch a Raptosaurus? Look, he's fighting to the evil man to death and began to die and began to explode. Five well, baby animals. Look! Look, there's another octopus man following at the other people with the carnival. Wow, I'm glad you got it. They heard the dinosaur, didn't believe what they'd seen. Look at him bouncing on the rooftop, and look at the vehicle coming down, 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 down to the very bottom. Look at him grabbing the web onto the road, and it stopped the bouncing, and everyone's finished. Said the herd, look at them rats. And they were defeated, said Never Heard. Look at Spider Man hanging down, taking a picture of us. Wow, look at him saying cheese, baby, Aladar said, as they saw. Spider-Man swinging away from the Spider-Man and swung back through the magic grass away from the Universal Studios. The herd had never seen Spider-Man swinging through the Disney rides and had never liked seeing Saskia Mayo at the Finding Nemo Hotel. Baby Eladar remembered that the others hatched into a tree so he knew he could go to Disney Pool to escape the hotel room and hopefully it'll get dirty. Then suddenly heard a terrible banging noise. It was Saskia banging on the grass. Right. Open the curtains, open the curtains back. Turn the light back on, off please. Bang, 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 went on the glass. Light back off please, excuse me. Bang, 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 went the glass. Ah, oh, they scream. Ah, ah, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sang Saskia. Find a happy place, find a happy place, find a happy place in Zuri. Saskia, your Uncle Darren Day will see you now, said Barbara, and she came up to Darren Day. See those pearly whites, grinned Darren Day. Nuts. I'm peanuts, says Amazon, said Saskia, snapping his teeth. Nup! I'm a brand new man at Amazon. Oh, Piranha. And that's what Piranha's a heffalum, just like you, present, replied Darren Day. Saskia Mayo laughed and laughed with excitement. Oh, <laughs> Lumpy, 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 <laughs> sang Saskia Mayo. Oh, poor little guy, grinned Darren Day, as he looked at Lumpy. All the dinosaurs were surprised. He's dead well, that Eladar shark boat cried. Oh. Yay, lumpy, 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 went on Saskia. Uh, would have lost your present in the car street to continue day and day. Oh, uh, groaned Saskia. She was very worried. She had just left her present behind. Darren Day laughed with delight. I'll go and get it, replied Darren Day. She went off to find her present that Lumpy was still alive. He's still alive, cried Sinny. He's not dead, cried Nero. What's happening, cried Blue Tom. Why is he playing dead, asked Oh, Tom. no, what's happening? As Darren Day walked up to the toilet, trying to flush away. He's going to get flushed down the toilet. He's going to get out of here, cried Ema. What a smart little guy, well, girl. But then the trash can is dead, trying to throw him away. No, not the trash can, said Zuri. Lumpy, no, yelled Pino. Just then, Spider-Man swung up through Spider-Man while the Universal swung all the way back to the Finding Ema Hotel. 
He, um, I found his dad, said Spider-Man, as he came up to the window of a girl with Mr. Conductor on his back. Where's Lumpy? Where is he? asked Mr. Conductor. That's him over there, said Bruton. When the, what's the dentist? What's that? asked. He saw Lumpy trying to get the trash can, but Mr. Conductor was worried. Spider-Man, get in there, yelled Mr. Conductor. I can't go anywhere, Spider-Man. Oh, yes, you can, said Mr. Conductor, as they charged into the dentist office. Charge! Go! Spider-Man swung into the front of the room and swung into Saskia. Whoa, well, Spider-Man. Screamed Saskia Mayo. Not there, gasped Darren Day. The Spider-Man swung around and ran into the room and went into Darren Day. Saskia said she looked out quite Darren Day. But suddenly Spider-Man ran to the table and it went, Hello! Look out! Young Simi and Bailey saw that Saskia May was screaming inside. Hold still, whoa, hold on, shouted Darren Day. Easy, easy, easy. Ah! 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 Mm. Young Simi was shocked. Ah! Ah! Cried Saskia. I still go, baby. I still go. Ah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof! Wait, Darren Bay, a Spider-Man, lands on the floor, dropped the box inside Lumpy, but very surprised to see him in the box. Oh, gasped Mr. Conductor, heard an echo, with a heartbeat coming from the chest. Lumpy, said Mr. Conductor, gasped, oh my goodness, a girl gasped, and Darren Day grabbed Spider-Man's tummy. Gotcha, yo, Darren Day, take that! Gotcha! Ah! Mr. Conductor, whoa, cried Spider-Man, Daddy, said Lumpy in the box, he saw and heard Saskia screaming on and on, and then on, and then Darren Day hurtled to the window, throw Spider-Man out and find the limo hotel and shut the window very hard. Stay out, uh, you, and stay out, shouted Darren Day crossly. Out with ya, and stay out! Daddy, he said again, but it was too late, his father was gone, and Saskia grabbed the box and shook the box, trying to wake him up. Lumpy, Lumpy, wake up, wake up, yelled Saskia Mayo, but Lumpy couldn't wake up. Oh no, well, yelled Zinni, quick, to the top of Mount Wanahooky, said Zinni, as he jumped onto the bathroom. Why are you sleeping, she went on, hurry, yelled Zinni, and Zinni jumped into the seat. Pedo Yar, called Zinni, as the dinosaurs and the lemurs pushed the seat towards the big bath. Hey. They groaned. Ring off mountain fire! As yelled Zuri. Seeing the tap of her fingers and the water shot out of the bottom. Zuri <laughs> went high into the air and landed on Saskia's head. Lampy called Saskia. Ah! 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 Crikey, where the animals have gone mad? Yeah, oh, cried Darren Day, he hit the dentist's oh. camera on the head and fell on the floor. Thump! Oh. Ah! Get me out, she cried. Ah! Ah! Smack him on the head now, Zinni. Go, Brutton yell. Brutton yell. Ah! Leave me in my hair, cried Saskia. Ah! Ah! Zinni landed on the table next to Lumpy, laying on the floor. Oh, Zinni, said Lumpy sadly. Sharp bait. How, I uh, tell your dad, whispered Zinni. Said hi. Yeah. He yelled as he jumped into big speed, flipping Lumpy into the oven door. Slide. Oh, cried Saskia. Oh, 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 oh. Cried Lumpy to sit down to see away. Darren, get in, slide so Zinni. Darren, they got up and saw Zinni on the dentist table and grabbed him back into the room. <laughs> At last, Zinni got back onto the floor and the dinosaurs and all the other leaders cheered. He did it! Oh, laughed the lemurs, dinosaurs, lemurs. That's too happy, said Velo. It's going to be okay, Zinni laughed at Alabar. Don't worry. All the overdrains lead to the hotel, surprised Zinni. Lumpy, cried Saskia. Suddenly the water flew everywhere. Zinni was delighted. Well, Zuri, Lumpy has gone down the slide and into the oven and he's gone away. 
said Zuri. Look at Zinni and said Sophie, low and yar. That Lumpy was gone. Well, 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 we are, Zuri. Lumpy was going down the other side. You're going to take baskets out the window, right down the line and into the big pool together. Together they laughed and laughed and laughed. Zinni was still alive that Saskia was going to see Darren Day to watch classic nursery rhymes on YouTube. On her iPad, Zinni was enjoying his guest of honour to find out what Saskia was doing. As he went down, 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 down the side until he slid onto a map machine like a bag at the airport. Oh. Oh. Lumpy roped around the bend straight across the airport and around the curve until he went into the bag tunnel to the next slide. Later, back at Disney, a dog was walking in the Finding Nemo Hotel, barking on the other dogs. We'll see a dog as he walked past the big blue pool with the other people. But then the dark clouds leaned ahead and it began to rain. Later, Spider-Man landed safely onto the ground. Adele and Mr. Conductor climbed down from his back. Oh, I'm sorry, truly, outside Spider-Man. She swung her way out to see Falcon and the Dragons, leaving Adele and Mr. Conductor behind. Yeah. Conductor walked sadly with Adele into the swimming pool. Mr. Conductor walked sadly with Adele into the swimming pool deck chairs. Adele sat down on a swimming chair and Mr. Conductor told her that Lumpy was lost. He said, a Delta is conductor, a Delta for you, I wish I never while you made it here. It wasn't for you, I never made it here, said Mr. Conductor. He was very, very, very upset. A Del, so thank you as he walked away from a Del, who was trying to come back. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait, what, 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 where? Where are you going, asked the Del sadly. It's over, Del, we're too late. I'm going home now, lump is gone. I'm going home now, said Mr. Conductor. No, no, you can't stop, stop my people. Please don't just go away. Please, no one's ever stuck with me for so long before. If you leave, if you leave, I just, I remember things better than I use it, than we've used. <coughs> Look, Darren Day, 42, uh, 42, uh, I remember it, it was there, I know, because when I looked at you, I feel I said, Adele, and I looked at you and I, uh, home please, I don't have to go away, sob Adele. I don't want to forget Mr. Conductor side. I'm sorry, Adele, Pai, but I do. And he walked away, leaving Adele behind. Carry on. Meanwhile, Lumpy was sliding down the other side, screaming all the way. Oh! Oh! Wild Lumpy, Daddy! He toboggled helplessly down the slide into the Magic Kingdom, out of the other end, and landed in the, into a car called Winnie the Pooh ride. Yeah! Oh! cried Lumpy. Thump! Lumpy had fallen into the honey car. Some people came into the honey car and so was Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad. And the other car in front of us. But not for long. Suddenly Lumpy heard a strange thing coming outside. There was Dad and Lord Farquaad on the bobsleigh going, chase, going to chase Lumpy through the ride. They rode into the 100 acre wood ride and then they were off. Aha! It's Lumpy, said Lord Farquaad. Look who else I found. My Lord! Come and get him, called Dag, and together they went inside the room. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go! Here we go! Lumpy was too scared to see Mr. Conductor. He saw Gopher, Eeyore, Pooh and Piglet flying on a windy day. Then he saw Rabbit, Kanga and Roo flying like a kite. And he saw Rabbit falling on a wheelbarrow. That, that's why he said cabbage, lettuce and carrots. Lumpy had never seen the vegetables in the garden before. And soon the doors began to swing open and he saw the owls sitting on top of the Here we go! Lumpy hadn't seen our other tree before, so he knew if he could go on the outside and find a new hotel, a part of Abernation, to see he was wondering what Lord Firefly and Dad were getting up to. 
as Lumpy came into the night, he saw Tigger, who was from Test Track, that Tigger movie, and it began to bounce. Wow, look, look, the Tigger bouncing at the forest called Lumpy. He was very surprised to see him until he saw another. Behind the Whoa! Oh dear, look at him, he's losing his... Look, there's another Tigger, says Lumpy. So it was Tigger bouncing through the 100 acre wood all night long, so the rider comes to a big tree. Look, he's bouncing upside down, he cried. He's really in a bit of money, so he can find his dad who's the conductor. Then Lumpy saw Tigger lying down on poo. What time for Everlumps and Weasels and Steel's Honey and said to go the ride? Honey, cried a voice, and then the next door swung open and heard a strange ghostly voice. It's just too good for Ghostly voice. Ghostly echoing voice. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's so scary, Rose Lumpy. It's a ghost. Who was having a, a dream? Whoa, thunderstorm. So there were some headphones and weasels all around the wide there everywhere until Lumpy saw the mirror rolling past. Lumpy had never seen headphones and weasels before. And he was a heffalum and he saw a cannon heffalum that went fired out of his nose. Then Lumpy saw Tigger, heffalum and Tiger Bank Woodsy, Wood Woodsall. He was amazed to see the heffalum playing the honey, harp strings, and to see the balloon heffalum and see the watering can heffalum rolling by. But as he saw a shadow squeezing by, there was a thunder rolling and lightning flashed by a thunderstorm and it began to rain. Oh, there were lots of... Oh, thunder crashes! Why cry the really horrible, really bad as Lumpy saw Owie or Kangaroo, Rabbit, Tigger, Piglet, saving from a very big waterfall. Then Lumpy saw Pooh in a honey pot, in a honey pot, floating like a boat. Then there was trouble Lumpy saw at Raw Fog, Bottom, Winnie the Pooh ride, on their box side. Oh no, it's the evil humans, cried Lumpy. Ha ha! I think let's get him, old dad. Lumpy jumps off the honey cart, straight through the magic floor, and then went all the way back down the slide. Let's get that heffalump, they said as they gathered around to say. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone cheers as Piglet and Pooh having a party and live happily ever after. Outside at Disney World, it was raining, so everyone has to put on rain And all together! That. Outside Disney World, it was raining, so everyone has to put their raincoats on to keep them dry. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Cried Lumpy, Lord Farquhar and Dag, it's after me. And can you help oh. Adele too? Hell, the Lumpy couldn't find Adele, Mr. Conductor, anywhere. So he went back down the slide all the way to Tomorrowland and slipped down and down and down and down and down and down as he came down all the way to Space Mountain, and then he flew down the bottom of the, the ceiling door, burst open at the side, slide, and then he landed in space, in the space shuttle. Fud, he went. Lumpy had fallen onto a space shuttle, a space mountain. Oh, no! With all the people in it. Oh! Oh! Ah! I'll be Percy runs away. All right. So now they were off, going to the Space Mountain Tunnel. At the space ride, Lumpy was so relieved that Mr. Conductor would be happy to see him in the big blue floor outside. So Lumpy knew, as far as Clark and Dad, they got into lots of trouble, so they could find the Friday in their team course and the space shuttle went through the blue lights on it. Didn't really yet. Hmm. And so they didn't pass. You see? Hey, oh, I see. After a great deal of shunting, Percy was waiting for the signalman to set the point so that he could get back to the yard. He was eager to work and was being rather careless at not paying attention. 
Everton Ewan Percy. Be careful on the main line. Whistle to the signalman, you are there. But Percy didn't even know to whistle. So the busy signalman forgot him. Percy waited and waited. The points are still against him, so he couldn't lose. Many looked along the main line. towards him was gone with the express carry on it came out the other end into the dark arrow right to chill oh grown gordon go out of my way they go up and up and up past the other space vessel and then up and 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 up to the very top until Percy opened his eyes Gorman has stopped at Percy's puppets a few inches from his own. But Percy had begun to move. I won't stand here. I run away and he puffed. Hang on. I'm sure we went down to the bottom. Here we go! He went straight from the station and was so frightened and ran right up Gordon's Hill without stopping. After that, he was tired, but he couldn't stop. And he had no job to shut up Stephen and apply the brakes. Oh! Oh! I want to stop. I want to stop, he puffed. Oh! The space shuttle went round the bay at the bend, round the curve, across the track, went through another red light space tunnel, switching with colour spots until it went out again and the shuttle came to slow down. Lumpy was very brave, but he was very The man in the signal box saw Percy was in trouble, so he finally set the points. That gives his art of animation to it, so the shuttle came back to space station. Percy puffed three million yards and I sent his sign Lumpy jumped and ended in the big bank of earth. And he went back into the magic wall and back down the other side. He was too tired now to care where he went. I want to stop! I want to stop! I have stopped! He puffed, thankfully. <laughs> Never mind, Percy, said the man in his mud. You should have a drink of some coal and then you feel better. Carry on. Well, well, drum piece is. Oh! As he slid back to the art of emanations. Carry on. Finally, back in the functioning motel outside the rain, the dogs are enjoying themselves enormously. Man from the humans swing that and larks, barked a dog. Hey, 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 steady on, steady on. Our spot, go on, get out of here, said another dog, as he saw Mr. Conductor walking past. Hey, 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 that's just a fella, just keep on walking, you got it, said another, to the right mate, as the dog wound the electric remote control handle and it began to make a hole, just then Lumpy came out from the other side of the slide and back into the Finding Nemo Hotel. Oh, oh, now look, look at her life, he says. The dog, you saw Lumpy coming back in the rain, hey you. You see my dad? asked Lumpy. Got to, he shouted as he ran away from the dogs. Eh, eh, oh, gasped Lumpy. Hey, come back here. You let him go, said the dog. Eh, 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 they said, and they pushed onto the ground. Dad! Dad! Gotcha! Dad! called Lumpy, as they saw Adele walking around the pool sobbing. <laughs> Then Lumpy come up to Adele. 
Um, excuse me, asked Lumpy. Are you okay? I don't know where I am. I don't know what's going on. Sobs. I think I lost somebody. But I just, I can't remember, said Adele sadly. I can't remember. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm looking for someone too. Hey, we can look together, added Lumpy. Adele sniffled happily. I'm Adele, she said in a happy voice. I'm Lumpy, said Heffalump Lumpy, continued Adele. That's a nice name, and together we went off to see Mr. Conductor. Meanwhile, Mr. Conductor was walking home to Old Key West. He was still trying to find out where the crane man was working very hard to load the cages into a big truck. Dad! 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 cried Adele and Lumpy. Wait a minute. Is it your dad or my dad? asked Adele. My dad asked, uh, added Lumpy. Got it, said Adele. Dad! Where are we anyway? asked Lumpy as he ran down to the site. Dad! Dad! Oh, so Dad! So, 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 so she in art of animations added Adele. Then she gasped with surprise. <gasps> <gasps> Darren Day, 42, art of animations, find an email until she said in an echoey voice. Darren Day, 42, art of animations, find an email. Ah! Dad, your father, huh? Your father, she said, grumpily. Mr. My father, said Lumpy. Where are my father? Where is he? He asked to Adele. Adele gasped with delight. <gasps> this way! He went this way! Quick! She cried and they ran off to the dogs. Hey, hey, hey! You, um, have you know where, where we walk by? Uh, it looks like him, she said to the dogs. Are bigger, replied Lumpy. Hey, hey, hey! I saw him, lady. Well, I'm not telling you where he went. There's no way you're going to make me, said the dog crossly. Adele was cross for looking for Mr. Conductor. Yeah. Then the second dog walked up to the monkeys and said, if your father and dad was going into the big blue pool, all said one monkey, gasped. Oh, oh, talk, 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 he went to the tunes grounds. Said, he went to the tuning grounds, said the second dog as he raced away. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Later, Mr. Conductor was still going home to find the other dogs when he saw the Matterhorn bobsleigh was coming down closer to the crane. But then he came to a bump. Hey, look, grumbled the dog ferociously. I'm sorry, sighed Mr. Conductor. I'm trying to get home. Mr. Conductor walked quietly back to Old Key West. Hey, he look heard, out. Until he heard a voice crying out the art of animations. Dad! Dad! Daddy! echoed Lumpy. Behind him, Lumpy said Mr. Conductor, Lumpy! Dad said, Lumpy! Lumpy's alive, said Adele! Adele! Lumpy! called Mr. Conductor. Daddy! cried Lumpy as, as he saw Mr. Conductor coming back with excitement. Lumpy! I'm coming, Lumpy! cried Mr. Conductor excitedly. Dad! cried Lumpy. Dear Mr. Conductor, Dad! dear Lumpy. Oh, thank goodness, you're all right, son. It's going to be okay, said Mr. Conductor. He was very relieved to be found, but just then he heard a, a strange rumbling noise. <laughs> There's Mr. Conductor. Aha! There's Mr. Conductor and Lumpy called Lord Farquhar and Dad and the Bob say, right? Then what, who else I found? said Lord Farquhar. Morph and Eakins come out to destroy, said Dad suddenly. Why, Morph and Eakins had an argument about Scar. No, no, no. To himself, said Eakins. We like how it can be, said Monk. Morph it so excitedly. Eakins, well, one thing, something. I have no idea, said Wolf. Firmly, that's good word tunes. Our friends, not food, added Eakins. Choose our friends, not food. Turn around. You're going the wrong way, cried the dog as they ran into the cage. Out, 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 with the dogs. Eakins laughed. Dad watched out for the dead end. It's dangerous, shouted the conductor. As soon as the dogs took the dogs to bark and it's like the train began to lift. Ha, ah, who did you tune me up in Eakins? Hee hee hee, ha 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 ha, they're cracking off an evil sort of way. 
<laughs> Mr. Conductor Lumpy saw the dog cage was lifted off the ground, but then he heard Adele screaming for help. Ah! Help! Ah! Ah! Cried Adele. She was stuck in the cage. Adele called Mr. Conductor. Come on, cried Lumpy. Help! 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 Get us out of here! Help! Shield! Adele! cried Lumpy. No, 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 Adele! cried Mr. Conductor. And saw Adele getting away. Dad, I know what to do, as Lumpy ran into the cage. Lumpy, no, cried Mr. Conductor. He quickly grabbed his tail, trying to get him safely. He was using a loading lift. We have to tell all the dogs to run down together, replied Lumpy, to get out of there now, yelled Mr. Conductor, as he tried to stop him. I know, this will work, said Lumpy, and I'm not going to lose you again, he said. <laughs> Dad, there's no time, said Lumpy. It's the only way we can save Adele. I can do this, he panted. Mr. Conductor sighed. He was breathing heavily, trying to run down together. <laughs> You're right, said Mr. Conductor. I know you can. Then Mr. Conductor saw his tail sticking out of the cage. Spike your tail, said Lumpy. Now go. Hurry, he called. <laughs> now I'll get you, Mr. Conductor, you old dad. No, you won't, said Mr. Conductor, because the minute you refuse to believe it, you'll run down and it'll get better of you. You can run, but you can't walk down, said dad. Right, Dad is worse than your papa. Yep, said Dad. <laughs> Dad is hungry, <laughs> papa said. Tell all the dogs to swim down, said Lumpy, as he ran up to Adele. Well, you heard my son. Come on, he called. Adele cried Lumpy. We have to tell everybody to run down together. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Run down, Paul. Run Bella. down! As the train rose up and up and up and high into the air, it was really at the top. Everybody, run down, replied Adele. Come on, you have to run down, <laughs> urged Lumpy. <laughs> you heard my friends, run down, they said together. Run down, run down, said Mr. Conductor. Run down! Come on, Lumpy! <laughs> Look out, Paul Dag, as the Bob Slate run across the metal on track, around the bend through a giant tree. <laughs> run down, run down when Mr. Conductor has to train with trying to on the track. Run! Down! Run! Down! Run! Down! Here I come, your fly card. Stop, Dad! He cries the Bob Slate race to a tree. Yeah! Where's <laughs> <laughs> the cage went high into the air? Lumpy and Adele were very scared and the dogs were barking to run down. Right now, lunch dogs, Chucky Dad. They growl. Don't give up. Keep running, went on Mr. Conductor. Just keep running. Pretty fast for the team, ball, said Mr. Conductor. Far and Dad. He was having a wonderful time. Wind and rain come pouring down at Disney. Lightning and flash and thunder crash. The dogs stay hurting around the bend, but then they notice the points have changed and so they're dead ends. Pretty fast for a pub ball, team ball. Uh -oh. that, that's it, the old Mr. Conductor, and the cage went down to the bottom below. It's working, cried Lumpy, as the crane creeps weaker and weaker and weaker, until the bob stay rumbled closer and closer and closer. Then they notice the sign was sticking up in the air, it says, Danger! A dead hen! Fall ahead! Keep running, keep running, bark the dogs. Just keep running, cried Mr. Conductor. Keep running. Come run, on, Dad. down, run, down, run, down. Great song, Mr. Conductor. That's, that's my dad, Lumpy said. Come on, let's get to the bottom, Mr. Conductor. Keep running, just keep running, just keep running, sing the deal. Almost there. Just keep, keep running, running just keep Mr. Running. Conductor. But then there was trouble. The ropes began to feel weaker than ever. Keep running, yelled the dogs, the crane, butted and jerky. Keep running, of course. Then it creeps and crouched in the rope, then snapped and then it crashed. The cage dropped onto the ground, the broke free from the crane and ran. But then when the others were free, just then they heard a strange thing coming towards them. The metal home bobsay rolling down the track, far quiet, whacked it with his stick, changed the points and went into a dead-end trap. 
Then Dad put it on his brakes and the metal stick behind him with real spark and flew. Real slips and skates, he squeaks and slips. But it couldn't stop. <gasps> whoa, whoa, what's going on? They blast and tear off. Hold on. But then, hold ah! on. They screamed as the bobblades bob fell down the dead end and back wheels began to fall off. Farfall and Dad jumped off the stairs and saw Dad Dad's towel and his teeth grabbed into the crane. Thing. Team ball said far part, then it broke, then it began to creep. Team part quick dad, but his teeth couldn't hold much longer and it broke. Team kick it off! They cried, splash! Lord far call and dad, then the first bob say fell into the pool. Then the monkeys put the wooden blocks behind its wheels so it couldn't fall down. The second bobsay was now secured. Oh well, nice time of year for a crew, said Farquhar, who was laughing to death. <laughs> they went under the water and Dad was dead. <laughs> Adele was very happy to be free from the dog cage, but then Mr. Conductor come back. Oh, hey, she says, Adele, where's Lumpy off, Mr. Conductor? As they saw, the heffalump was missing. <gasps> there, she cried, as she saw Lumpy lay trapped beneath the broken cage. Oh, no, Lumpy, cried Mr. Conductor, as they raced up to the broken cage. But Lumpy didn't move. Mr. Conductor sighed. Oh, Lumpy panted, Mr. Conductor's Lumpy. Is it OK, Daddy? Here's Daddy. Got you whispered to himself. Lumpy was feeling very sorry. But after a moment, he coughed. <coughs> Daddy, he whispered. Oh, thank goodness, said Mr. Conductor. Dad, I don't hate you, said Lumpy. Oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry, Lumpy, sighed Mr. Conductor. Lumpy reached out and touched Mr. Conductor's hand. Hey, guess what, he said to Lumpy. What, said Lumpy. Seagulls and fairies I met. Fairies I met. One and two. They were... 1,050 years old, says Mr. K Mr. Conductor. I said, seagulls and fairies, I met one and two, and they were and they were 150 years old. Oh, 150 years, asked Lumpy. Yep, he said. Curse, Road Sandy Pankton said. They only lived to be 100, added Lumpy. Mr. Conductor Lumpy and seagulls and fairies in test track the two room. Road Sandy Plankton continues to conduct Do you think I would cross the entire Disney not knowing what a Road Sandy Plankton he was 150? That's one he likes and Lumpy laughed and laughed until he felt much better. Who was the Road Sandy Plankton? Who knows everything's wrong, said Mr. Conductor. Where's this thing that just run over the thing? And together they laughed at each other until the lifeguard got to the second bobsleigh down the track until he took it back to Old Key West ready for school. Wow, it's been a very... Later, back in Orkey West, Luke and Joe and Mum and Dad are very sad to pack away. Oh, wow, it's been a very long day. I'm very sad because this day will be over again, said Luke. Yes, said Joe. I know, I'm very sad too. We will come back to Disney again in 2022. Yep, said Luke as he carried on packing away. Coming outside Orkey West, the mouse was trying to find some cheese, but when he saw the strange thing coming towards him, there was a bear from Animal Kingdom walking towards the canal. So the mouse got his big cannon ready to defeat the bear, and the mouse got the cannon ready, and then he shot the bear into the water. Oh, boom, splash, the bear was falling in the water and got defeated. The mouse scurried away to get some cheese.
nostalgic, magical to me, really, I think, because it brings you back to your childhood. And see if you believe it. If you don't come, you don't want to hear it from people. You want to experience it yourself. You know what I mean? Right. There's nothing like experiencing the magic that's here. We've been here um, twice as a couple and once as a family, and I think we'll definitely return as a family again. There are so many memories from Walt Disney World. It's difficult to pick out just one. But just seeing the smile on the children's faces at particular times, like when my daughter met Mickey Mouse, something like that is magic. It's something mums hold on to forever. There is a place where wonder and fantasy still thrive, where families come together, and each day ends happily ever after. is a place where magic lives. The next day, Lumpy was back at home at Old Key West, ready for school. This time, he was with Mr. Conductor. Time for school, time for school, let's get up. Let's go, 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 try Mr. Conductor, so race to the bus stop. Going to win, cried. No, you're not. Oh, I'm going to win, he cried. No, you're not. I did it, cried Lumpy as they arrived at the bus stop, where Harold was waiting for them. Oh, my son beats me, my laugh, Mr. Conductor. Climb aboard, explorers, called Harold. They climbed on board. The second bobsleigh was waiting, tired, to, tied to the ropes, seeing Harold. So Lumpy could climb on board the sled, ready to go. Come on, explorers! Mr. Conductor told everyone that Lumpy was found in the Finding Nemo Hotel. So just then, the street cucumber looks over, and the mole, smallest, and says, Phones like these, who needs enemies? said Mr. Conductor. Goofy Jem, Peabody laughed and laughed. Who's this? said Harold. <clears throat> uh, exchange student, replied Lumpy. There was Rue waiting with the other kids. It was Lumpy's friend. I'm from Test Track from Epcot, dude, said Rue. Sweet, totally, said they said. Sweet, totally, told Rue. All about Tigger, seagulls and the fairies at Test Track by doing the whoopty dinty dance. <laughs> Seriously, said uh, Sir Chuckled, Sir Chuckled Jem Cole. Hey, who do you think these things you like to see? But just then, Scar and Wolfikins passed overhead. They parted, they parted to relieve Adele. Um, pardon me, said a scary voice. Oh, they gasped. <gasps> Hello, Mr. Scar, Mr. Peabody, Roman Relief. Don't be alarmed, interrupted Scar as Adele went out with the three billion, billion, billions. I wanted to, to just, but I'm just here to make sure the member got home safely, said Eakins. Thanks, guys, grinned Adele. Her friend Scar grinned back at her. We will see you next week, added Scar. Keep up the programme, Adele, laughed Morph. Remember, tunes are friends, finished Eakins. Not food, bye, cried Adele, and saw the two villains hurrying away. Well, I'm not fish, I'm fish. Hold on here, we'll go, we'll go to the five heralds. Next stop, knowledge as he took off to the air and his bobsleigh took off into the sky. Hold on, here we go. Let's stop, knowledge. Bye, son. Have fun, said Mr. Conductor. Bye, Dad, called Lumpy. He waved to Mr. Conductor goodbye. Oh, 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 Harold, wait, I forgot something, said Lumpy. Harold hovered down a little bit and the bobsleigh went down and Mr. Conductor had a big hug. Love you, Dad, whispered Lumpy. I love you too, son, smiled Mr. Conductor, happily. And by then it was time to go. Uh, Dad, can you let go now, finished Lumpy? Sorry, now go and have an adventure, says Mr. Conductor. As Harold and the sled went back into the air and everyone waved goodbye. Bye, said everyone. Goodbye, see you all later, dudes, called Rue on the bobsleigh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bunny said Adele. Lumpy says, Conductor, bye-bye, called Adele. See you after school, Adele. Bye, Dad, called Lumpy. Bye, son, whispered Mr. Conductor. And from that day on, Harold, Lumpy and Rue and the bobsleigh flew off in the air and off to school and out of sight. Oh, it's great to be having him back to normal again, sighed Mr. Conductor. As Lumpy was gone, he would remember what Junior was coming to join the version two of Finding Nemo in 2022. Adele was very upset, but she missed Lumpy very much. She remembered what she could come to Switzerland in the story. 
in 2021 or 2022, Adele. Thinks, Mr. Conductor, that Lord Farquhar Dagg was defeated in the swimming pool. You're the only, you're the only one who loved to see Junior at Disney World in Florida, added Mr. Conductor. You were only going to try and trick me. Adele wasn't so sure if she could go back to Disney again. Tomorrow, Mr. Conductor had to tell Adele that he couldn't because he was, she was going to Switzerland. Mr. Conductor told Adele if she can come to Switzerland. Mr. C asked Adele. Yes, Adele, said Mr. Conductor. Lumpy was going to school with Rue, so he can go to Switzerland, Adele added, and she watched Luke, Joe, Mum and Dad going home in the car, who said goodbye to Key West. Everyone got the bags and the boots of the car to take home. So Adele continued, Mr. Conductor, you're allowed to go to Switzerland. You can be excited to go to Germany. And from there and then on, Adele gave Mr. Conductor a great big hug. Lumpy! Lumpy! Bye, Lumpy! See you after school, Adele! Bye, Dad! Bye, son. Love you, Mr. C, smiled Adele. I love you too, Adele, said Conductor. Happy end together. They both come to a happy ending in Disney. <sighs> a few days later, back in the Finding Nemo Hotel, Darren, da Darren Day saw that he didn't understand that both rooms were dirty. Barbara, I don't understand, it says Darren Day. This thing has a lifetime guarantee and it breaks. I just cleaned the room itself and all the dinosaur lemurs out and put them in baskets and Darren Day saw the Nemo rooms were dirty. Where did the dinosaurs and lemurs go, he asked. Then he realised that all the dinosaurs and lemurs have gone. Oh no! There are, there are in the dinosaur and lemurs outside the Art Van Nation Find the Nemo Hotel. I had in the big blue pool and saw Siri riding the basket. Come on, Siri, said Zinni. Hurry, call Pilo. You can do it, cried Zinni. That's it, said Bruton. Just a little, said Crone. Come on, you can do it, said Elgar. That's the shortest white reflection I've ever seen, said Zuri in a basket. Come on, Zuri, grinned Elgar. <clears throat> and the baskets went down and down onto the bottom, and Zuri landed in the big blue pool. Oh, yelled Zuri. Splash. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Yay! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Cheered all the dinosaurs. Yes, it is, laughed Nera. And then all the laughing stopped. Yeah! Now what? Now what? Asked Lot Adadar. Uh, I know, said Zuri. Why don't we play in the pool together? Yes, that's a good idea, said Ema. And look, there's Zinni and Young C playing in the Squirty Park. And they did. Come on, be sure. You the sun. The Come on, Fitch. Oh, ah! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> The two lemurs are now playing squirty fish. Wow, this is fun, said Zinni. Yes, it was, added young Zinni. It's great to be in the Find a Nemo Hotel, wasn't it? Yes, replied Zinni. That squirting water was fun. And look at all the other dinosaurs sitting in the pool chairs. That'd be fun as well, said Zinni. And together, they lived happily ever after. Ah, now up. And the dogs walked away from the Find a Nemo Hotel. Out of the art of emanation. Resort. Resort. Walked across the bridge and down the street and off into the setting sun. Say the end, please, Dad. The end. Yeah, that was a great adventure. Let's hear the end. Credits music. Here we go. Locomotion playing. Here we go. Cast. Mr. Conductor. Alec Baldwin. Lumpy. Carl Stranger. Stacey Jones, Diddy Tom, Adele, Emma Hudson, Harold, Teddy Frank, Scar, Jeremy Irons, Wolf, Jackson Irons, Eakins, Jason Irons, Tiger, itself, Mouse, Artie Small, Bear, itself, Puppies, Mara Wilson, Marion Winston, Arthur Kevin Heather, Kesley, Beth Landy, Rosalina Pitches, Sam Kirk, Peter Dennis and Clive Pierce. Bouncing Clouds, themselves, Aladar, B.B. Sweeney, Ema, Della Reese, Baleen, 
Joey Plow right, Joan Plow right, Earl, John Brown, Mira, Juliana Margles, Megales, Bruton, Pinter Sagasa, Crone, Samuel in right, Pinatore, Paul Fliphack, and Thomas Cretchman. Ditty, Julie Andrews, Pathorosaurus, Madonna Kelsey, I love my bar shades, Paralosophus, Edward Glenn, Baby Paralosophus, Snooty Glenn, City Glenn, mm. Baby Aladar, Theodore Sweeney, Teleferaptors and Raptors, Jason Cigar, Peter Jacobson, Daniel Lloyd, and Joe Matenga, Petrogon, Peter Pernano, The Herd of Dinosaurs, Petroni Dean, James Pacino, Edward Pacino, Henry Rooney, Joey Daddy, Toby Argentina, Kevin Peter, Sam McAllister and Eric Sebastian, Kilo, Alfie Woodward, Yar, Ozzy Davis, Siri, Hayden Panettiere, Zulu, Max Tesla, Young Zulu, Jack Tesla, Tesla, Darren Day, Christopher John, Saskia Mayo, Mayo, Jessica Bloodsley, Sweeper itself, Spider-Man, Toby McGuire, Monkeys, Jeff Cranky, Murphy Stephen, Anthony Crimple, Greg Duke, Rob Fertle, Mark Rogers, Joe, Joey Oliver, Henry Rooney, Duncan Clancy, Harry Jackson, Peter Dennis and Clive Pierce, Falcon, James Wood, Dragons, Jackson Stormer, Mike Eastway, Lukey Oliver, Douglas Blackwell and Arthur Lowe, Tigger, Jim Cummings, Rue, Nikita Hopkins, Seagulls, Peter Boo and Clive Judge, Fairies, Susan Bronte, Chloe Sig, Simon, Jessica Bax, Sarah McCarthy, Sally Taylor, Rosie Quill and Garga Mayo, Lord Farquhar and Dad, John Lithgow and David Kuchner, with the Matthew and Bob Say ride on Diesel 10 by Neil Crone, Quella Reveal, Susan Blankley with her car, Finding Nemo cast with the front people, Albert Brooks, Ellen DeGeneres, <laughs> Alexander Gould, William Defoe, Brad Garnett, Alison Janey, Austin Pennington, Stephen Root, Vicky Lewis, Joe Rand, Geoffrey Rush, Andrew Stanton, Elizabeth Perkins, Nicholas Bird, Bob Peterson, Barry Humphreys, Eric Barnard, Bruce Spence, Bill Hunter, Lulu Eblin, Jordy Runt, Erica Beck, Erica Persullivan, and John Ratzenberger. Goofy, Bill Farmer, Mumphy, Junius Susendis, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, Ty Burrell and Max Charles, Jen Cole, Jack Bob, Pinocchio, Band Danceless, Howard's Pilot, Mark Power, Dogs, Greg Heffley, Steve Wyatt, Billy West, Lindsay Wilmore, Stephanie Holt, Anthony Godball, Keith Knox, Toby Sedgwick, Lisa Roach, Arthur Ferguson, Jack Dean, and Fergus Blunted. First Kids, John Ratzenberger. First Kids. First Kids. Look out for more adventures of Finding Adele at Switzerland in 2021-22, coming soon. Songs. Disney's Ride Greatest Songs, Finding Nemo the Musical Album, Old MacDonald, Working on the Railroad, In the Big Blue World, Beach Boys Album, Water Parks, The Girl from Impania, um, Fandango, Psycho, Locomotion. Look out for Finding Junior at Walt Disney World in Florida based on Finding Nemo version 2, coming soon. Original soundtrack available from Walt Disney Records. Video Game Boy to be sold from Dreamcast. Video Game and CD-ROM available from Disney Interactive. Come to visit, come, come to visit us to Walt Disney World in Florida. Secret Lab. That's it for 2020. Uh-oh. That's it for 2021. Yeah, that's it for 2021. Let's see. Bullseye!
Yes. Ah, oh, problem. Oh, damn. Oh, well done, then. Very good. With it, stuff. Remember, no tunes were harmed in this spoof. Making this movie. It is me. That's it for 2020, yay! Oh, the end!